Previously. Previously. <laughs> Previously on the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. You read a book about, uh, like, Grady, uh, Dion, and... Michael Jordan and why they, they always uh, win for the most part. But that one on the back. Side. By the way, he just never personally met any of these three guys. And <clears throat> I'm sure on Telegram, he's their good best friend. All right, see you later. Get, it, get him to Lummy immediately, please. The, the woman had pizza sauce all over her <laughs> face <laughs> and <laughs> remnants of pizza on her hair. <laughs> pretend like that just didn't happen. <laughs> uh, additionally, the officer repeated, I observed there to be pizza sauce on the walls and ceilings and of the kitchen. Wow. You're listening, you're listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Broadcast rights for the Bubba the Love Sponge Show have been granted to this station by the Bubba Radio Network and is intended solely for the enjoyment of your listening audience. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or any other use of this production without the express written consent of the Bubba Radio Network is strictly prohibited. Bubba the Love Sponge Show. So late today. So late today. Uh, welcome, everybody, to the uh, Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Visually, you can watch us on Rumble. Rumble.com. Now, Blitz, is it forward slash the Bubba Army? Yes, it is. Okay, fancy. With spaces or no? No spaces, probably. No spaces. But spaces when you're searching for the channel. Even when you're searching, you cannot use spaces and it'll find it. Fantastic. We're starting to dial our Rumble world in a little bit. Uh, I love it. YouTube and Facebook. Well, Dan, Rumble was made right for you because you and I could do some after shows and you could totally go off. And uh, the way you really, you know, as uh, as a man, the way you roll in 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 life is kind of rumble ish. Yeah, you know, it's tough to walk on thin eggshells and and thin ice. So it's nice on Rumble because they can. I think your Helen Keller speak. joke would have been okay over yeah. there. Well, over here, I think so. Over there at Rumble, <laughs> over here at Rumble. You're right on it. Yes, Sorry. wherever the hell we are, <laughs> they're here. Everywhere. They're here everywhere. We're mm-hmm. Facebook Live, oh God. Uh, YouTube Live, and Rumble Live. Now in a week. Blitz, I'm assuming in a week we might get our our, our uh, we might get our uh, t- our Twitch back. Yes, might. Are we, are we gonna be like that girl that just goes back to the guy every time he calls her at like eleven? No, we're right, gonna be says, that girl that we're gonna be that girl that's having an affair on her husband and just kind of dabbles a little bit over there. Okay, you know, just kind of <laughs> like. Understand. No, you know we are saying? that girl that goes back, but then one day we do kill him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're we're going to slowly. Like that crazy blonde chick yes. from Florida. No, like that bitch from Colorado. I didn't get to her story. I think I even X'd it out because I got so many stories to get to. But Anna sent me a story from there was this guy. I don't know if he was a dentist or what the hell. Oh, he, yeah, he was a dentist. He mm-hmm. was poisoning his wife. Through protein shakes. Nice. Slowly. Pro- so we're going to slowly poison Twitch through protein shakes. Just, it finally just... worked when she was 97. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Dan, as like, uh, as, um, what is that? What is a person that does autopsy? Um, a, a pathologist? Um, as a pathologist. Or a coroner? Or a coroner, yeah. Yeah. Is it, is it harder to show like a slow poisoning? Is it is that a no, hard... No, the tissue toxicity is there, and if they get really tricky, they can go through the hair and say, oh, look, there's, there's, there's a sign of the arsenic in the hair for, you know, eight months she's been poisoning So them. they can say, okay, she has long... Like, Anna has long hair, and they'd be right. like, well, this part of the hair, you know, half of her hair is is clean, and the other half, they, when, the, when Blitz started introducing arsenic, as you can see, as you get closer to her follicle, the arsenic becomes more intense. Can they do yes, that? Yes, her hair is like a three-year history book. So Blitz, make sure you shave on his hair before you kill her. Oh, okay, perfect. Will do. <laughs> if, if you were to kill someone, what would be the, the best way to do it in terms of like a substance? Like, is there something that dissolves pretty quickly and it'd be hard to detect in 24 hours? I'm not commenting yeah, on Don't that. tell okay. her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tell Blitz privately. Yeah, text, text it to me, but don't tell her. But I mean, Dan, like as a doctor, and, and it's just a yes or no, because I don't want to get into specifics, but like is, if, if, if would there be a way a person could kill somebody smartly and get away with it? Oh, yeah. I mean, like, you know. Like, Easily. Yeah. Huh. Oh. 
Hmm. Oh, yeah. I can't Google it because then, you know, the authorities yeah. will come after me. So I, I got to ask Dan. <laughs> you can't. And it, well, especially if you Google it on my servers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, How Mr. do you tell someone, not anyone find out about it? it? It's, it's probably, Starbucks and Google it. I might have to have Steve <laughs> draw up some paperwork saying that everybody that does Google searches here at the BRN, uh, you know, like. Why, let me use bank. It, yeah, that's right. It's, not, bank. it's not necessarily all what Mr. Clem was looking for. You know, hard telling what Rhett's look. I mean, I'm not into 300-pound African-American women. Mm. And, you know, um, but, but Rhett's got that all over his Google history. Yeah, he, right? he just killed them with sugar, so. He's, he's becoming like a ninja. He comes in and gets the belt so silently. Yeah, I'm just he trying just to take that belt. In. I mean, if you could just step it up and, and stop doing Helen Keller jokes. Why, Dan's coming in on Fridays now. <laughs> Dan's like, I got I to come in on odds. Friday so I can get an extra day of doucheness <laughs> so I can try to get that belt. <laughs> No, I'm happy he has it, but he is silent. I mean, uh, usually he's like, hey, hey. Oh, he's a silent person in general. Because when you start talking, you start opening opening yourself up to attacks. Right. You right. know? Yeah. And if you it's were like to. Just don't make a move, and then right. you can't make the wrong right. move. So you're, you're only stealth <laughs> until you open up your bomb doors. Right. I mean, I mean, no, I think Kevin Hazlett said no innocent man ever cooperated with the police. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, like, what I'm saying is, like, if, if you ever are in trouble, I mean, and you and you potentially maybe did do something. Or even if you really potentially didn't do something, you, you you just you need to lawyer up immediately, and I mean unless it's a no brainer, right? I mean if they if somebody ne- Dan if 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 the next door neighbor from you shoots his wife and they come over you and ask if you hear gunshots, yeah, cooperate with them because oh, you're always, you're obviously not a you know you didn't kill her. First of all, always be polite and respectful to the police, even if you don't answer their questions. Right. Always say no, but nicely. But I mean, like, you wouldn't have to lawyer up on that question. Like, sir, did you hear shots? Yeah, you know, about 11 o'clock last night, I was at the carriage house, and I did hear hear three, what I thought sounded like firecrackers. Yeah, I thought I was was playing Thunderstruck and, you know. You know, but, 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 like, you know. If you happen to be the guy that, you know, was over there helping them, you might want to lawyer, uh, you know, lawyer up. Oh, yeah, I saw nothing. Right. Yeah, nothing. So uh, anyway, tonight the big uh, Bubba one ninety nine. God, it's been two months. Mm-hmm. Uh, Twitch is completely screwed. The last one was Barp. <clears throat> right? Yeah, yeah. You know what, Anna? I think you're right. So you haven't had one in three months, really. Yeah, oh. we got just we just perfectly got suspended. Uh, we were just getting ready to do one for Twitch in February. Suspended. They tried to do it on this one too. And then we were just getting ready to do one. Well, we are. We are. This one has been on the books. Suspended, <clears throat> and uh, and so we started doing Rumble stuff, and Rumble is uh, we can do a we can do a one ninety nine. We couldn't do a one ninety nine like on YouTube. We can't do one on Facebook just for the music. It's just for a bunch of different reasons. Hall of Famer Ricky McGillicuddy twenty five dollar on Rumble. On Rumble, yes. Let me. I got uh, the merch crick. She's um. I have an I have an older. Uh, iPad. Now I don't know which one it is. Jamie from Northern Heat and AC gave me one that's not as old, and then I got like a an hoopty one, and she's charging. It was completely dead, of course, and she's charging it up, and she might bring it over when it's charged, and we're gonna try to maybe set up where I don't know. But what what was our uh, idea for the iPad Blitz for him? So that, so that the, he could get the alerts. Yeah, for Cash App, <clears throat> maybe Venmo. maybe hook it up to Cash App, Venmo. Uh, Zelle and uh, and then Blitz will, or or even PayPal maybe even hook it up for an alert yeah. on PayPal yeah, yeah and then it just you have your little uh because I think there's one computer over there you don't even use isn't there correct the, well, the, it, both these monitors I don't he just doesn't use any of them he just pretends like he's using them well the right. com- <laughs> yeah well I would love to use one of the monitors but the computer doesn't work is the problem he doesn't use it it's not that he doesn't use it it doesn't because, work because both of these chats with having one chat up on the computer would be nice now, so his computer doesn't actually work. Mm-mm. Can we? Can no, we... it hasn't for years. It's a play computer. Oh, should we get him a new one, maybe, or you know, find one, one of them? Well, in... the 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 ultimate goal is to get new computers for the three of them down there because the ones that do work aren't good at all. Mm. Have computers gotten pretty cheap lately? At least for um, whatever application they would need, they've somewhat. They've gotten a lot faster. Right. The price hasn't necessarily gone down. But, but... what I'm saying is, like, we don't need to get them a full blown Yippio. You know, like Gaming one, computer. like one that would you know Rhett would need for video editing and no. things like that. No. Well, they just basically need to sign on the internet, right? Correct. Yes. Maybe just getting them uh, little laptops or something. I don't know. We'll figure well, it out at a different time. Yeah. Honest Bubba One Ninety Nine, as you can see, 
uh, behind us a little bit, maybe behind Anna and maybe behind Dan. Not, not really not behind Dan, but behind Anna. Mm-hmm. You can't really even see it. I'll move my <clears throat> peanut head. There. I'll move my peanut head. And um, we have uh, a little set put up. And uh, we're going to... We're 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 figuring out whether we're gonna pipe the music through the board or we're gonna use the music from the monitors and the mics pick it up with me being able to fatten it up through the board, but we're you know logistically trying to make it really now Anna, it's really kinda I'm not trying to be a dick or nothing, but we're really it's really on you because we've really given you the tools and the infrastructure and the look. Right. It's a beautiful stage. To, to, so I don't mean, F it up is what you're saying. Yeah, like, well, it would be horrible if you went in there and just sound like a train wreck. <clears throat> it was horrible. Yeah, that would be bad. Now, it? is the quality <laughs> music, you know, good, or is it all that EDM, you know, kind of stuff that you like? We got a nice blend of things You got to some play. hip-hop. Do you got some, you know. Are you wearing a furry outfit? No, I'm not going to be wearing Damn. a furry outfit mm. or a marshmallow on like my head. Like, if, 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 if the music sucks... Can I just abandon and go to one of the T Quest deals, or you haven't even prepared for that? Um, I mean, if you just start yelling at me and be like, "Shut it off," then yeah, I'll, well, I'm I'll never, just stop. I never yell at you. When's the oh. last time I ever really yelled at you? I, I don't mean yell in about just like speak loudly to catch my attention. Yeah, you're gonna have to because she's won't well, hear you. Yeah, I won't yeah. be piped into the you mics. Go, you could always do like the unsigned band reviews used to do when they used to come in. We shoot them. Yep. You Man, got all I, don't the new stuff. I, I don't even know. Uh, oh, of which. You got oh, all Christ. a box of. You Did got, you, you got see enough, it? Yes, enough to take out Russia. Did you? I mean, who's uh, who's the uh, the president of Ukraine? Zelensky. A lot of more Zelensky. 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 I got a, a I got a package from Falcon that would make Zelensky uh, 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 jealous. Yep. Man, they sent us Gino and who, I forgot who the woman was on there on the email. Bella was that her name? Bella. Yeah. I might have been or Melanie or Bella. But I we'll have to find out. But we've been in email contact with. Um, with Valken, Gino and Valken Airsoft. We've had it. We, we really, really had some great airsoft stuff, stuff back in the day. And we used to put bands on the stage and they would play. And then if they were good, they got to keep playing. And if they suck, we literally shot them off of the stage. God, Perfect. It's, it's, I, I don't even know if you could do that in today's world. It'd sure be like you can. bullying or, you know, something like that. Just put goggles on her. Yeah, they all had to wear goggles. No, I'm not going to shoot Anna, Dan. Well, you're just coming in a little too hot Ouch. being mean to her. I'm not being mean. I like Anna. No, yeah, well, why do you want to shoot her then? I don't want to shoot her. I'm not even going to be here probably, but... Mm. You, you know, you, there was an invitation for you and your wife. But Did she like come you. without me? Hold on. <laughs> what? That blows my mind. <laughs> now, hold on. We were unprepared for this. <laughs> hold on. Yes, of course she could, but... I would never thought that you would. That's. That, I'm gonna start calling you Soft Dan. I never thought that you would allow that. So you, if if Romina would like to attend without you, mm-hmm. you're asking if that would be okay. This is an option because you know we got kids and we got coverage issues and and things like that. So, and I think she was like a little pouty, like she wanted to like 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 Heather Wiz and not a fan. Those are our friends. To like directly invite her. She said, like, "I didn't hear anything about it." I'm like, "I'm telling you about it." Dumbass. Yeah. Oh, damn, maybe the, maybe the dumbass might have been. What a warm I mean, invitation. Yeah, I mean, maybe the dumbass might have been, you know, she was good until the dumbass. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll take, I'll take a We bit. talked about I been smoking. I hate everybody. We, we talked about it off the other day. Other day uh, Bubba was supposed to pass a message on. It was going to be. I did Dan pass a message. Okay. So. To Dan. Yeah, I, mean, I even said yes. And I talked to her yeah, about it. And she's like, yeah, but no one really, you know, no one called, reached out to me. I'm like. I'm oh, reaching out Jesus to you. Jesus, high yeah. maintenance. Jesus, exactly. God. She's like, we just skywrite it, you know? <laughs> yeah, I probably should have told Ashley that we invited both of you. Yeah, we she probably talked to Ashley, but I didn't think anything of it. She knows nothing about it except for what I well, said. Well, because so. I didn't tell Ashley that you guys are. Oh, so now it's all on you. Have now it's all, all on you. Have them all blow up her phone. Yeah. Right. Who, who's, her, who's her posse? Wiz? Wiz, Ashley. Not a fan. Not a fan. Could be the three. Uh, maybe Anna. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. The yeah. four of them pressure, she's in. If you guys could all blow texts to her. I'll tell her saying, don't be whine. Hey, after just talking to Dan, uh, if uh, by all means, Dan just said that if you'd like to swing by tonight, Without the douche, I mean Dan, <clears throat> uh, man, more more than welcome to have you. Well, ha- tell us what type of wine you like, and we'll wine time you. It's just the wine that starts with the letter W. You, uh, <laughs> your your employees. I was at your place yesterday, and your employees can r- really notice the not smoking being a dick. Oh yeah, I was, they, I was intolerable this week. They're like, 
and not and and nice ass bad attitude naba naba she was like oh yeah he's uh he's quite a handful uh dan i apologize in advance for probably sucking down 500 dollars worth of laughing gas yesterday it's okay did you laugh <laughs> oh my god well first of all so the merch crick's laying there getting morpheus right well, they they actually bring the whoa, whole. Whoa, wait, did she get the laughing gas? No, she did not. <laughs> More for me. No, she did not. Uh, we got we, 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 we numbed our faces, <laughs> and then I'm here's what I'm thinking. This numbing cream takes about really, honest to God, twenty or thirty minutes to really start kind of kicking yeah, in. At least twenty. Yeah. yeah, I agree. So I'm like, I'm gonna I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the merch crick go first, and then. That, your crew was so great. They actually rolled the laughing gas unit right into the right into the Morpheus uh, um, room, mm -hmm. which you know is in two different rooms. Right. So they rolled it in there, and um, they gave me my tubing, and they, they're like, "Okay, well, don't go crazy on this because it only lasts for ten minutes, and I'll give you like a ten minutes head up, heads up when I'm you know almost done with the merch quick." Well, what do you think I did? I started hitting it immediately. Mm -hmm. So, but so, but they don't have the tanks turned on, and they tell me, uh, "What well, other tanks are turned on? Tanks are turned on." And I'm somewhat mechanical, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, "I'm hitting it, and I'm not getting nothing." You and can I'm, feel it right away. That yeah, there's nothing to feel. Not, yeah, I'm hitting it, <laughs> and that's nothing. And I'm hitting it, and it's nothing. I'm like, these tanks aren't turned on. So I'm looking at it, and I see this little tank turn, this little wrench, the little green thing, this little green wrench that's made for the top of the tanks. So I'm like, well, hold on, let me see. So I turn it open, wide open, both sides, righty tighty, lefty loosey, and all of a sudden it makes like a little sound when it turns on. It goes like a little squeal mm -hmm. which, when it's getting pressure. Mm -hmm. Immediately, the watchdog Jen or, Jen or for whichever neighbor, she walks in. She goes, "What are you doing to my tanks?" And I go, "I'm turning, <laughs> I'm sucking them dry." <laughs> yeah, but she she heard the squealing of the tanks yeah. all the way in her office. I'm like. Uh, I'm turning them on because they were turned off. And she's like, we never turn them off. I go, well, you tr you turned them off, and now they're on. They and knew you were coming. And she's like, all right, well, you're the only one that, uh, do you want me to bring in a baby bottle too? Because you're the only one that seems to need this. And I go, I'm sorry. I just, you know, like to feel a little fuzzy when I'm getting this done. <laughs> this is quite, you know, the Morpheus, let's just be honest, Dan. The Morpheus is not a walk in the park. No, it's intense. It's it's intense. But it's <laughs> doing something. You almost have to like, you know what I mean? You almost have to like have a little bit of like investment in, in physical pain to get like a real result. Right, it's like weightlifting. You right. just can't go in there and go three reps on your arms and thinking you're gonna have Jimmy Clevis like biceps. No, you know, you it's really gotta, gotta put, yeah, you gotta, you gotta mm -hmm. you know, be so, Anna, don't they, like, don't you feel like if you're working out and you don't really kind of get the dodge that maybe you didn't work out hard enough? It, sometimes it does feel that way, yeah, yeah. but you definitely want to feel pain when you're working out, that's yeah. the goal. It's right. grit, it's all about grit. Yeah. You right. gotta go past that well, point of comfort. You at least want to the next day to feel a little tender mm -hmm. and, and as you call the Dodds. Yeah. Well, you know, so <laughs> when you're doing plastic surgery, uh, okay, whatever. When you're doing plastic surgery procedures or things like that, I mean, it, it, it you're obviously, you know, lasering and, and, and needling and all kinds of different things on different parts of your body. Well, it's just naturally not going to feel good. If these procedures felt good, there'd be a my there'd be a line a mile long across the street trying to get it, right? Correct. Hey, come to this machine that feels like a feather tickling your skin that makes you look five years younger. Man, you you couldn't keep that machine. You, you know what I'm saying? You couldn't you everybody would right. sign up for that. Right. So, the Morpheus is a little intense. What does it shoot, Dan? Like twenty four little micro needles into your like what? Yes. So the needles are insulated and they have a little electrode at the very end. So at the base, they actually shoot a little electricity, which helps tighten up all the skin. Oh, so they shock you and they stab you. They stab I, you and I, then they shock you. Exactly. You, know, you know what? You know what? You're getting shocked. You're getting shocked, and I'm stabbed and shocked at the same time. Twenty four little micro needles going into your face, mm -hmm. and the the most tender part. Now, not for me because I got a. She doesn't do my lip because of my beard. But for girls, is right on your lip. The That's the upper lip. Yeah, right here, like like right below your nose, like mm. where my mustache would be. Yeah. Um, and since you know, Merch Crick doesn't have a mustache yet. Um, <laughs> she's not Italian. Yeah, she's not Italian. She uh, is Mexican, and so oh, she's she gets so mad when I call her Mexican. Yeah, we both, we both got Mexicans. Mm -hmm. yeah. She says I'm from Spain. 
Yeah. Okay, whatever. Mexico. Not Mexican. from Spain, but... All right, from the so mother country. Mexico's from Spain, So too. the only one that she thought was a little too, like, a little bit spicy was underneath the... Um, uh, the the her the lip, but yeah. I'll tell you for a guy for a guy when you get it the the tenderest part is your forehead oh. because Dan your forehead I don't think you got a lot of you know like I got fat down here that can absorb some of the needles but man you know even fat people have thin somewhat skin, <laughs> thin squ- I mean even fat people have not a lot of der- you know you got a slender forehead yes yeah. you might as well just compliment a fat person on their forehead like, like, man, man you know what your forehead, forehead, forehead looks great you lost so much weight in your forehead yeah so anyway by the time i get out it's about what what would you say that because she does two passes on uh-huh. the on the morpheus machine so it takes probably about 20 yeah, about 20, 25 minutes to, do to the get whole it face. done. Yeah. Well, she told me not to start sucking the laughing gas until 10 minutes out. Well, I'm on it from minute one. Right. The minute I get it turned on and Jennifer comes in or Naba comes in there and sees that I'm not up to no good, that I'm actually doing the right thing, <clears throat> I'm on it. So by the time I, I get up on the, on the chair and I'm laying there to get ready, she goes, How you feel? And this is, I don't know where this word came out of. But she says, how you feeling? And I go, sparkly. Jeez. I feel sparkly. God, you go into the, you go into an esthetician's office and just like you cut your testicles off. Yeah. And so, so Jennifer called me sparkly. Michael Jackson. She goes, okay, Michael Jackson, get up there. And so I go, all right, well, this last 10 minutes and this procedure's 20. So can I have the laughing? Can I just keep the thing in my mouth and just keep sucking? So while she was morpheusing me, I was just going... Just, just like I mean, well, you're getting 50 percent oxygen, so you could theoretically breathe that for an hour straight. Okay, well, I did probably for 30 minutes. Yeah. Needless so to say, Dan, my... what I am saying is, you might want to call Air Gas up or whoever supplies your thing, because <laughs> I think I, I think I sucked to dry. I think I sucked your your tanks dry. We, Jennifer, got, we got more. Jennifer calls them to order new, and they go, "Oh, would a Bubba come in again?" Yeah, <laughs> man, yeah, you yeah, might want to get some bigger tanks trimmed. <laughs> you got the little tanks. I need big tanks. Man, but it does take the edge off. It really does. And it's really fun. And it does go away in like 10 minutes. It's no, gone. And here's like the deal. 10 minutes later, you're back to normal. And here's the deal. Okay, by the time um, when she was finally done, then then Jen spends like, like maybe five minutes kind of wiping your face all down and putting some cleanser on it and like an like a alcohol kicker. And then she puts cream on your face. And, you know, they kind of, you know, it, it's probably from the time they stop stabbing and shark and shocking you, it's probably 15 to 20 minutes by the time you're actually walking out the front door. Well, I was completely fine to drive. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, like Eric goes like, are you sure I don't need to drive? You're so high. I go, I'm not high. I was just on laughing gas. I'd still walk in a park. Shut up. I'm driving. Yeah. <laughs> and just, and How often do you let her drive? Never. Well, well, I did. After hold on. The, uh... <laughs> One time, I let her drive to Georgia, and that'll never happen. Mm-mm. And then she totaled the bends. So you know, she's <laughs> oh, so, so she's off driving no privileges more. now. Yeah, she's no not more. driving. No. I mean, she can drive all she wants when I'm not with her. But I mean, how often do you let Romina drive? I love letting her drive. Yeah, I dude. love unless I'm in a rush, I just sit back and let her drive, enjoy the Cadillac, feel like I'm in a limousine. Oh, yeah, I see that a lot with Romina driving. Yeah, I. How she, about the she, she bitches. <laughs> Come on, dude. please. Come on, she has a vagina. She can't drive that. <laughs> <laughs> the vagina goes on the right side. <laughs> so I will tell you this, man. I will tell you this, that uh, your office is just getting crushed Thank with you. Bubba Army on those Zimpic, and they are loving it. And and and, and I got to tell you, eight 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 four eights and Diacos. And, Dan, I think you're about, honest to God, $100 cheaper than the next guy. And uh, it is, it is, it works. It does. It Everyone's really been works. been happy. It's amazing. You know, I keep getting great feedback from all the people on it. And, you know, the numbers are getting up to close to 80. I got people calling from California and Boston. And I got people calling from all over the country. So thank you, Bubba Army, for calling. You can uh, Try to always become less of a fat ass. Us. Yeah, I appreciate it. We're all live longer if we're, if we're skinnier. And, and it's the easiest. I mean, you do a telemed. It's nothing. You do a telemed deal. There are now some states, I think there's a handful of states that there's an issue. I think Michigan's a little bit tough, Hawaii's, a, and, and we've gotten calls from all of these places. Yeah. But, like, Michigan's a little tough. Jen, Jennifer, 
I got to remember which one's which. Naba. Naba was going through the the some uh, the handful of problematic states as far as getting into them, but you guys have rem- remedied that since. Yeah, we're and, working on. It. I mean, again, you know, a little bit of growing pains. We haven't done this before, and so we're just trying to get to everyone and accommodate everyone to make it as easy as possible for you to start your weight loss journey. Oh, and 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 <laughs> and let me tell you, it works. It does work. I was sold after uh, this past Saturday night. I went to Bouillon or whatever the hell it's called. It, I know that's a bad topic for you, but I <laughs> went. Uh, I went there and I really I overate. I did. It's Saturday. I'm one day before my shot. Would you eat a whole Le burger? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Along with the string fries, along with some French onion soup, along with some shrimp cocktail. Sounds good. Along and with some, cr- some creme de boule, and some uh, mini eclairs, and some bread pudding. I mean, I was, I was physic- like I physically overate. Like, I, I felt uncomfortable. So then I'm like, okay, any time back in the day before I was on the Zimpic, um, I would, because I weigh myself every morning. So Saturday morning, night, you know, and we even had, a, I think I had a little bit of cake. No, we didn't. We skipped a cake. Oh. But uh, I wake up Sunday morning, you know, 9, 9.30, and I go right to the scale after my shower, and I'm looking. I'm like, I know I'm going to be 2, you know, 89. I know I am because I was 286, you know, the morning before. But I had eaten, at, I mean, bread, all the bad things. You know, if you're like on a normal low carb, you know, right, cave, right, you know typical high protein, kind of low carb right. sort of. So, but I think Ozempic does something to you that when you do <laughs> overeat, it doesn't shock your body so bad because it's naturally lowering your glucose and insulin sugar levels so that maybe your body works and churns this food up a little bit better than it does when you're on the standard low carb willy and you shock your body into three, a plus three. I got on the scale and I didn't gain a pound. It's amazing. And I'm like, this is never, I mean, like, you know, this has never happened to me. Where I'm on a diet. I food go out, likes to stick to you, right? Yeah, I mean, traditionally, loves, I mean, look at me. food is stuck yeah, to you. I mean, food sticks to me, kid. <laughs> I'm like Teflon with food. I mean, I can eat everything. It just goes right through. My biggest issue with eating too much food is not gaining weight. It's just having to go to the bathroom a lot the next day. Yeah. Aww. That's torture for me. Yeah, that's great. I love that. I love, uh, that. I six times I love today, pooping. You know? I love pooping. It feels yeah. so good. Oh, yeah. It feels yeah. so good. Until you wow. have a three-hour surge pooping. and you got to poop. Oh, Yeah. But ha- has that ever happened? Oh, yeah. Have you ever been in a critical part of surgery where you just can you know, there's parts of surgery where you could probably step away for a minute to pee or whatever, but are, mm-hmm. there's probably parts of surgery where you can't, like you're in it, like right. you're committed mm-hmm. to, to doing this particular thing, and you got to either poop or pee? Oh, yeah, that happens all the time. Do you just have the nurse, like, bring you, like, a little one of those little urinal, like one of those little, you know, old guy urinal deals? Yeah, open up. She sticks it in there and, and you pee? Yeah, exactly. Holds it for me. I got to tell you, uh, Dan, you I have- I like the Dave Fernandez condom catheter. You, you have <laughs> probably the best looking staff I've ever seen out of your- out of, I've been going to your place for a long time. 20 plus Th- years. This is pro- Emily, gorgeous. Naba, as much of a love- uh, Naba, as much as a love-hate relationship I have with her, gorgeous. Um, the front desk girl, gorgeous. Jennifer, the girl that did my Morpheus, the Hispanic girl, gorgeous. Um, and then there's this other little cute blonde girl that Stephanie. works here. She's hot. Right. And then Asala. And Asala was there yesterday. Uh-huh. Oh, and think, then Nor helps me too. I think um I think I may have overstepped a little bit yesterday at your office. <laughs> Surprise. What'd you do? So Emily was there and she was uh, uh, First of all, I yelled at Jennifer because she made me stay in the waiting room for like 10 minutes. Uh oh. And I'm she like, Jennifer, that. I finally poked my head open. I go, Really? Bitch, you treat me like a jobber. And she goes, You are a jobber. <laughs> and I go, No, I'm not. I'm going to Dan's office. That's where I wait. She goes, I didn't even know you're out there. I go, well, I'm about here. So then they, they make me fill out this paperwork, this legal paperwork, this Morpheus paperwork. And I go, why am I filling this paperwork out? The doctor doesn't even know how to use this machine. <laughs> and they start laughing. So I, but I, I do have to, you do, I do have know to, how to use it. I know, but you're not nearly as, you don't have nearly the finesse that Jennifer does. I'm just going to be honest with you. You've, I push you've, it in real deep. Y- yeah. You're just, I like it deep. And you know what? Here's what I understand. And up. Here's the best machine you have as far as face tightening, as far as really, really, really rejuvenating, you know, 
some uh, your face nonetheless or even other body parts it's probably one of your most versatile cool effective machines would you yes, not agree you can even do it on a vagina yeah you can do it on a vagina you can do it on a on a fat like on your belly yep. you can do it, whatever and you've never done it you've never done it well, my vagina is not you know sagging. yeah but your face okay I will. Not that your face isn't beautiful, Thank you. but you, I mean, why not keep up on it? No, I agree. I will. I will so do it. Emily's sitting there at the reception desk while I'm filling out my Morpheus paperwork, right. you know, like in case I die or something or some, mm-hmm. you know, stuff like that kind of stuff. Shock. And I go, Too hey, deep. Emily, how's uh, the Ozempic going along? She's like, oh my God. She turns around because it's kind of hard to hear the person from the waiting room because you got, you know, you got them all in glass with just that little speakeasy that, hole. That little hole makes a huge difference on sound, too. It's amazing, she that get, little hole. So she goes, I go, yeah, Dan and I were talking about the Ozempic last week uh, on the air and how it's going real good. And she's like, oh, my God, it's going so well. I said, but Dan said maybe a little less vacation. And she turned around. And she goes, did you really say that? And I go, yeah, you really said that. She goes, <laughs> oh. Oh, so I figured I could maybe almost do some of your dirty work for you. you. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Because that's truly how you feel. Yep. So she said, you really said that? And I go, mm-hmm. Yeah, sure did. He did. <laughs> but see, you didn't have to say it. No. I and, said and, 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 you know, Naba didn't want me to say it to her either. Oh, I'm really? Like, well, listen, someone's got to say it to her. I did. Thank you. I appreciate I it. Said, she goes, I go, you're doing great. I know we're getting ready to get like near a hundred patients. She, she's like, "Oh my God!" After I do, you know, yeah. after call back I do all the people that you haven't called because you were in Vegas. Uh, okay, Dan, slow, <laughs> well, slow it down. Come on, get this you guy know, sick. You know, Emily is 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 absolutely a very major part of your office. You don't want her quitting like everybody else does because you're mean to him. So listen, um, she turns around. She goes, "Did you really say that?" And I go, "Yeah, maybe just a little less vacation. You've had enough vacation. Let's get to work." And then Eric, Erica's looking at me. She's like, I don't know if you're supposed to say that. Yes, you are. I go, shut up. Just fill out your paperwork. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> shut up. Shut up, one, two, fill out your paperwork, and three, you're going first so that I can have more numbing time and more high time on the laughing gas. Wow. I just sat in that corner, Dan, literally with that little blue chair and just was like, just like Smoking the crack. Oh, yeah. I was just smoking. I was, on the, I was on the crack pipe like you would. I look like a degenerate over there. I really did. And then Naba walks in. She goes, oh, my God, holy Michael Jackson. I go, shut up, Naba, Naba, whatever the hell your name is. And I said, I'm getting a little concerned as to how close you're getting to one of my employees. And she's like, I'm just trying to teach her how to stick up for herself. And, and, I, and, I, and I said, and be a bitch like you. <laughs> she goes, she's a very sweet girl. I'm afraid you're going to ruin her. And I go, oh, that bitch is not nearly as sweet as you think she is. And she, Blitz has already ruined her. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. That's literally what I said to her. I love your dynamic. I, I literally what I you said to her. You should tape it next time. And then she goes, I go, but you know what? I do love you in a very cynical type way. She goes, whatever. Do you compliment her ass? I did. And I said, good. Walk out slow so I can see that juicy ass. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite, Anna? Uh, of the people that work at your office, yeah, oh, I gotta say Jennifer, of course. Okay. My my She's favorite, so funny. My favorite is sweet, hot, is great hair. Na- Naba, Jennifer the Mexican, and Emily the Botox. So that's my three favorite. I don't know the other ones because oh. the other ones just stand behind the glass. So you got them locked up back there, right? They're doing billing and they're just like fish looking <laughs> out of a fish tank. Yeah, but they're hot. Nonetheless, but the ones that I have the most interaction are with those three, and those are who's your favorite. Uh, well, obviously it's Jennifer. Yeah, it's Nava. Yeah, Jennifer. She's a good time too. She like she's fun. She. I will tell you she something. She came to she's, Barb, you know. She's very mad about something. Mad at well, me? She, not, not us. No, no, at the building. Oh. <laughs> she's mad. Uh, so I go in her office, and she's got this. You know, they have like drop ceiling, and there's just one piece of drop ceiling that's above her that's out. And I go, "Is that your escape route?" And she goes, "Yeah. When he's too much of an asshole, I can just go right through the roof." <laughs> and I go, "What's really going on?" Like I guess she, I guess she had like a like a drip. There yeah, was like the a, window was leaking, and, and so then it warped and it warped out the window. Yeah. And now they're trying to tear the window out. Mm, they're doing big construction there. She, she's like, "I'm so mad at the landlord." And have you had any con- Have you had any conversations with him, Dan? Nope, I'm not allowed to. Because you, you guys will lose your lease. Right. They don't be getting kicked out. <laughs> so she keeps me away from that one. Really? I, have so many, I have so many monsters to fight during the day. That's just one I don't need to fight. Right. You know what I mean? Let her I deal with it, right? Exactly. Yeah, you're way better off. How long yeah. have you been in that building? Quite a while. Oh, my God. Like eight, nine, ten years. Wow. Jeez. A while. 
And this has been your best building by far. Oh yeah, it's by a great location. Far. I like the parking. It's um, you know, it's not far from the house. It's close to the other firm. Your worst office actually was your first one on Habana. That was ghetto. <laughs> um, was it the one in the big tower building or whatever? Yeah, that was that was your starting out office. Like that yeah. was the one that you needed to get to establish yourself. Man, you did some good work and a lot of volume out of that office. Did you right. not? I had three different offices within that building. Um, and then I moved to that place on De Leon. That was okay. Yeah, Did it I, was nice. It was just kind of small. It was kind of small, and I, I think it was kind of overpriced for what it was. Yeah, I like the parking, though, because I literally like, parked right next to the back door. It was covered, and it was it was really cool. Yeah, but your parking now is pretty damn good. Oh, well, yeah. And didn't the, land, easy, and didn't the got... landlord put that covered parking in specifically for you? She let me build it. Oh, you paid for it. I paid for she it. She allowed it. Yeah. Oh, the homeless shelter? Mm-hmm. Who were the other two spots for? <laughs> um, Naba, and then usually Stephanie takes one. Sometimes Emily. So like, our, do, do, it used to be Dad. Do the other landlord? Do it the, was do, Naba and Dad. And do me. the other tenants know not to park in those? Oh yes, they do. Why don't you have a sign that <laughs> says Doctor Dan, Doctor Dan Diaco? No, we just have a towaway sign. Clems. Clem's towing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to the same place your cars are going. Has the homeless guy been back? Um, I don't know. Uh, I haven't seen him in the morning. Blitz, but said he's going... Blitz said he's ready to order you a wagon wheel off Black Hat. Yes, <laughs> if, I mean, I, uh, I, I do want like a few hundred firecrackers at least. Blitz, if you, I mean, no problem. You could find us a wagon wheel of Black Hats, no problem. Could you not? Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, man, he's and going a wagon, to get wagon wheel. wheeled soon. Yeah, man, and a wagon wheel. I mean, I know it's child's play blitz in your explosive world, but a wagon wheel just for the average consumer, if you light a whole wagon wheel, that's pretty impressive. Like, and you throw it on a guy? <clears throat> yeah, if you <clears throat> if you spread it out, it takes forever, too. Yeah. You got to kind of leave it somewhat rolled up. Yeah, leave yeah, it. Do you want the whole thing to just go Dan's off Dan's just going to light the end and, th want... and throw the whole yes. goddamn pancake on the man. <clears throat> or at least I'm not throwing on him, just close. Close. Close to him. Just close enough where it scares uh, the living, you know what. Um, well, now, well, now used to that. Blitz has Blitz has a unbelievable care pack from Valken. Mm -hmm. Go to Valken.com, V-A-L-K-E-N.com. And you can't really shoot homeless people. No, I'm not going to try to okay. shoot homeless people. I got okay. another th well, yeah, group of people we're going to shoot. Next, you know, well, we're well. going to shoot the hubcaps of the Uber drivers. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But don't, don't don't know how to read because they're always over there. Yeah. Still. So and I'm we got a, we're gonna have us a little deer stand out back where I can get in there and get disguised. Blitz is gonna get me a ghillie suit. Whole nine yards. I want to see you in a ghillie suit. I'm not Baba. getting in a ghillie suit. You. So bad. I want to see it. I'm not getting in a ghillie Come suit, on. but we're gonna. I'm <laughs> actually one. Blitz gonna put the Crown Vic over there to, to, this weekend on Saturday. Okay. If you can get a few of my guns running, which I think we got a couple complete guns, did we not? Yes. Brand new ones. Oh, my God. You should see what Falcon sent us. Go to falcon.com. And Blitz, they're now pushing like a new home defense system. Did you see that? I did. I, uh, I, I'm i interested in a few things. Actually, let me. So I don't get too far behind. And let me can get his first break in because let me. It's kind of, isn't it within the world that you live in how, as you break the breaks up? Me not going long on the first one helps first you out. Two, first two are the most important. Okay. So if I can stay a little bit more on time on the first two. That helps your world out. Yes, it does. Thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic. Blitz, I want to go through this Falcon Home Defense System thing. Okay. Uh, next, if we could. The Bubba Radio Network will return after this. Bye, Kenny Powers. Dan, you and I are kind of like Kenny Powers. What's wrong with Kenny Powers? Nothing's wrong with fuck. Kenny Powers is the fucking man. I meant in chat. There's a Kenny Powers in chat. Did you ban him after that? Mm -mm. He said, I'm out. I want to have a good weekend. I can only take so much Diaco Radio. Uh oh. Who said that? What's up, Kenny Powers? Your boy Kenny Powers 01. Fuck him. That was uh -huh. kind of what I was implying. Fuck you, Kenny Powers. Dan so long. I asked Dan to come in on Friday. He did not ask to come in. I asked Dan to come in on Friday. Can you fucking power? It's lucky we don't block you. <laughs> Oh, it's a different Kenny Powers. Than of course, it's a different Kenny Powers. It's well, not. Well, then the one on YouTube. Hmm? The one on YouTube is always on. I guess there's a difference. Everybody be, be on. Hey, listen, I, oh. I, I'm running behind. I'm scrambling. What I'm worried about Honest 199. Why? Don't be worried. Oh, I'm just Don't worried. be scared. I'm just worried that it's. It's going to suck? It's not going to suck. No, I'm wearing Guam The music. I need it to be, you know. It's going to be good. There's no rock and roll in there, is there? 
They got EDM I don't know what the right answer is. <laughs> Matthew, I haven't been fighting on Twitter. Don't they have EDM don't need to. rock and roll? EDM rock and Thanks, roll. Thanks, Bill Parman. Uh, yeah, there's EDM Thanks, rock and roll. Xerxes 69. I'll get right on it. Sure does, though. Oh, Unity's gonna jump on that one, too. Did you feel at any point that you wanted to watch that PBS show? I'm on it. Which one? Dr. Nemnuts? Ouchie. Oh, the one, the whole special, you mean? No, I just saw the one scene from it. It was enough for me to just, like, affirm everything I've been saying. He's an idiot, and... Because they kept breaking it up. Like, they they kept showing little parts of it. So I didn't know if you saw more of it. Uh Uh-uh. I just saw little parts of him driving around. Lynch, and will you send me the, that, the um, one that I the tagged you on? You send me the link the, to the... Uh, uh, handed him his ass. Home, home defense. And just oh, why did they publish it? If you got it, buddy. Why did they broadcast that? I mean, these look so stupid. It, it, it kind of... It, <laughs> he shed tears during the inauguration. He's a fucking asshole. What, when, when Biden got inaugurated, Fauci shed tears? Does Ozempic slow down lipogenesis? Is that something that is really? Yes. Like slows down that <clears throat> Was there a Jim Rittenhouse? A dolphin. Thanks, Texas. No. Good morning, Jay Gator. Ow. What's up, Iggy? Oh. Bill Parman, good morning. <laughs> hey, Dark Match. What's up, buddy? Oh, yeah. But I guess that's What's up, Larry McAfee? <laughs> Oh, eight, yeah. eight dolphins beach themselves in Jersey. A what? Eight dolphins beach themselves in Jersey. Really? They're getting fucked up by the sonar too. Beach themselves. It's not the sonar, Doctor. I'm just asking. <laughs> hey, Xerxes, um, I love the Ferrari 360s. They're so beautiful. Um, I think they're a gorgeous car. Organic Gene, good morning. I'm doing uh, Gary Cantrell. Good morning. So they're just washing up in Jersey now? Dolphins? Eight of them. Yeah, keep building those fucking windmills. Um, dinger. Should be interesting. The crazy thing is you didn't hear about it. No, they don't want anyone to hear about it. So Jim Rittenhouse just said I didn't hear about it. Usually there's whales for Oh my god, please don't call me that. That's disgusting. I okay, care about whales, but not dolphins. Funny face, zero two three five ten dollars super chat. No, I say after the, I think what the first five, then they stop reporting on the, the next. I think there's been nine now or ten. Sorry, country girl. Did you know Funny like face. killer whales are dolphins? Because I only found that out like fucking four months ago. Be right back. It was embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? How did I not know this? And whale sharks aren't whales or sharks. You funny face. I they were sharks. I knew they weren't mammals. God damn it. And whale sharks are fish, you know? They're just fish? Whale shark is a fish. This is a shark. A whale shark? No, a whale shark's a fish. It's built a feeding carpet shark. It's not a carpet shark. But it's aren't all sharks it's a fish. fish? No, because sharks don't have bones. They fish do. Much. So, I thought all sharks are fish, but not all fish are sharks. Dan doesn't really know. Either. Sharks know and I'm, fish are distinct. This I, I can't. <laughs> I can't be learning. Well, sharks are fish. Uh, Let me make sure you get this falcon talk to me. No problem. Our sharks are all fish. <clears throat> sharks are a group of fish with cartilaginous skeletons. I can't be blowing my mind about whale sharks. I swear to God, I thought they were sharks. They're not sharks. Well, I mean, you're the fish man. Help me out on this. Are whale sharks, whales, or sharks, or, or are they, they neither? Mammals. They, well, I thought no, they were it's sharks. Not, it's not a mammal. It's uh-huh. not a shark. I mean, it's not a whale. Yeah. It's not a shark yeah, either. It's, not, it's, it's a fish. It's actually you know whales. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are dolphins and whales mammals? Yes. Okay. You know and whale sharks are, are fish. What? It got its name in South Africa. With a whale shark? Yeah, when it was being har- the harpoon fisherman because of the size of it, so they called it a whale shark. A little bit of whale shark knowledge. Look at this guy. Basking. 
They have giant mouths. Jesus. That's why it's scary when they when you swim with them because they open up their giant. Do they just eat plankton or are they like? Yes, they're. Plankton eating turkey. Live like from the Sun Belt yeah. Rental Studios, it's the Bob and the Love Show. We are slowly working out the visual kinks of Rumble. I'll tell you, the after show on Rumble yesterday, rumble.com, search the Bubba Army. Blitz, is it, is it rumble.com forward slash the Bubba Army? It is. Oh, fantastic. It's even better. Make sure you follow us at, as you're watching. Make sure you like us as well. Now, we had like 2,500 followers when we first signed on. On one account and like 800 on the other. Well, we've had to take, we had to take the 800 account and make it the account. So we kind of lost like 2,100 followers. So please, if you're watching us or listening to us and you go to rumble.com forward slash the Bubba Army, make sure you follow us, please. I think we're at 1,032 right now, which is about as many people as we got us watching. Seems like we have more people watching Rumble than we did Twitch. Remember the first day? What were they like? 2,000? 2,300 or something yes. like that? Yes. Uh, we're working out the kinks on that. Follow us. You can also watch us uh, daily on YouTube uh, and Facebook, both at The Bubba Army. Venmo, Cash App, and PayPal are all at The Bubba Army. That's how we monetize and keep this show funded. And we used to have Zell for one day. <laughs> but Zell... Locked my account out because I got like $250 in one day. And they're like, well, this account's had never had a, a Zelle account, like, you know, ever. And all of a sudden you go to a $250 in one day, fraud. So they frauded me. So, I mean, they, 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 they gave me a fraud red flag, and so I have to call them today. I'm trying to make sure that we have Zelle uh, available for Na uh, Anna's $199 tonight, the debut of Do I cringe when I have to say it. Say it. DJ Hum Sauce. There you go. That's I like, up. I like, and I tell you, everybody that I've asked, I've, I keep getting D D DJ Jew Jitsu. Oh, wow. People love it. <laughs> That's like so hack, though. Yeah. And DJ Hum Sauce ain't. Well, it's not good, but it's better. Yeah, it's, at least it's, it's not good. It's just not hack. <clears throat> it, well, Jew Jitsu. Like yeah, Jew, because you're a Jew. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you got to play on what you got going for you. I mean, right? Yeah, I, I, I get you it, Dan, but also You don't lame. think Dan uses the doctor to his advantage? That's why he demands oh, yeah, that's people the call. the same thing. <laughs> the, okay, you got me on that one. I'm just saying, teach its own. It's very prestigious certification, <laughs> and I'm just a Jew. <laughs> he doesn't walk around saying, hey, I'm Italian, Dr. Dan Diaco. Oh, the hell he doesn't. Look at his, well, look at his gold he, he chain. He acts like he yeah. doesn't, but he doesn't say well, it. Well, he doesn't have to. So anyway, Anna, I mean, DJ Hum Sauce. Did you just one night, like, take a Kalata pin and, like, come up with that? Or, like, what? Like, where where did that come <laughs> I from? I think so last night. Um, it, I think it came from, like, a, a a nickname someone called me in college, like, a few times. And those, like, hey, weren't, those certainly weren't like, good ah. days. Huh? I didn't, I, weren't you miserable in college? No, college oh. was awesome. Oh, okay. Yeah, loved it. yeah. But you never got laid. So? I'm oh, just saying. Got drunk. Who goes, the beach. Who, who goes through all four years of college and doesn't get laid? Losers. This one. <laughs> uh, this I'll, girl. Tell you, I'll tell you who. A woman that goes on in her 30, 30s and tries to become DJ Humsauce. I think I'm going through a midlife crisis. <laughs> right. <laughs> I honestly do. And it all started because you weren't slutty enough in college. That's yeah. where you're supposed to get your slut on. I know. And it's funny because I wanted people to think I was sluttier than I am because I just wanted to blend in. Right. But you weren't. I wasn't. I don't even think you heavily... Ma Did you masturbate back then? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Yeah, been oh, a yeah. fan of that. Your, oh, yeah. Change your you know, as much as we, as <laughs> oh, yeah. As, as <laughs> much as we have diversified you, I mean, yeah. just look at where you used to be in all types of different scenarios when you first started the show and where you are now mm -hmm. from being a... You know, from being a... Uh, uh, what are you? A purple belt? Uh, no, I'm a blue belt. From being a baby a bl blue. Okay, from being a baby. Which you would have never, when you first start this show, you would have never thought that you would actually be a, a you know, a martial arts person. I did Muay Thai for a bit, but no, not. I never thought you I would You didn't think you'd be baby blue. I didn't ever think I'd make it to blue. Right. You didn't ever think that you would be very, very sexually active. Uh, yes, I never thought that. 
And I mean, you know, and, and, and so you, you've you've diversified I've a lot. I've grown, yes. I think there's only I'm a one. DJ. I think there's only one more thing. You're a DJ. I'm well, a DJ. We're going to determine whether you're a DJ okay. or not tonight. <laughs> now, are you are you a little nervous? Because there's quite a bit. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot riding on this. Uh, yes and no. Uh, no, because I don't think it's like. If I want it to be better, quote, I would do less, but I know that I'm going to want to take some chances tonight. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, I'm going to want to try to mix some beats, and it may not sound that great, and I'm a little worried about so that. So you're saying you know you got some good music that if you just played l- if long I just played form it, and mix it at the last minute, it'd be okay. Absolutely. But I but know I'm going to try, try to do to some wiki wikis and yeah. some yippee and, and you guys some... might be like, well, that sounds bad. That's <laughs> okay. But I'm going to take some chances tonight. All right. So Nonetheless, I think really the only hurdle we have have left for you is is the Hitachi right and 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 I mean had, that was a hard no mm-hmm. back in the day a yeah. hard... so you would masturbate but not use the Hitachi right right so I don't yeah. understand that yeah. Why See, not? even Dan like yeah, doesn't make sense probably every one of us guys mm-hmm. from Lummy mm-hmm. to Blitz to Dan to me to Rhett I use the Hitachi Rhett I mean <laughs> have you have you ever met you know seen one of your larger African-American girls <laughs> Masturbate with a Hitachi, or at least heard them speak of such. Yeah. Red, when I, goes right he's, Red, he's, Red, could you talk, un, could you on. understand, lover, that when I speak directly he's to ta- you, he's talking about. Hold on, he, you might have to hit the AB thing because I was messing with your board yesterday. So oh, yeah, I might have done that. Yeah, you there? Yes, yes, yeah. yeah okay, no problem. That's blitz was bad. Go over and smack the crap out of him. No, don't. Yeah, try. <clears> it. Get he's, shot. Got, he's got he's got <laughs> literally fifty uh, Valken airsoft ready. I do. I'm loading them all up. Right 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 the CO2 going off behind shoot, me all morning. Shoot you! Shoot the hell out of you! So anyway, like, have you uh, ever been with a girl that has masturbated with a Hitachi? Yeah. Okay. We all have. Well, I mean, I'm sure Ashley has used them. We have multiple uh, ones. <laughs> <laughs> like, one free room. Actually, yes, it is. Blitz, I know that you probably have been with a girl oh, that, that's, that's familiar with the Hitachi phenomenon. Yeah, millions. Dan, I'm sure you've been with a girl, and if maybe even yes, your sir. and maybe even your wife yes, uh, is familiar with the Hitachi masturbatory phenomenon, if you will. Yes. Anna, you yeah. are literally the only person. You're the only but woman at that Saint I know. At St. Pete Grand Prix, when she saw the Hitachi car, she got excited. She did. Yeah, I, go, I, I know your products. Great work. Well- she sat on the I don't know that the Hitachi, and... <laughs> Hitachi Indy car is necessarily representing the uh, massage clitoral device. Oh, but anyway. Does Hitachi make other stuff? Oh, they make, Hitachi makes everything. Like, from yeah. nothing else important. Just that. No. I, I think they actually sold that that division off just to, like, distance. To, di- to distance themselves yeah. from, from clitoral like orgasms. Stuff too, so what yeah. else do they, they make? They make appliances, Household cell like phones. Blenders. They make, TVs. They make uh, TVs. TVs. Do they make yeah. tools, too? I'll ask old girl. They make oh. one tool. Hey, yeah. Alexa, <laughs> what does Hitachi make? Mm-hmm. It is a Japanese global company engaged in manufacturing a wide range of products from appliances, electronics components, defense systems, infrastructure systems, information and telecommunication systems, rail systems, urban planning and development systems. And vibrators. <laughs> systems. They're like mm. GE. Yeah, they are. They, I mean, they Defense are. Defense systems? Yeah. So, Anna, what I'm saying, yeah, I mean, Anna, what I'm saying is, yeah. I mean, the instrument that you're using yourself to orgasm, you need to know, is also making some type of high-powered defense like, system. Okay, for, Lockheed Martin on the side. Yeah. <laughs> so, would you reconsider a, a Hitachi? Yeah, I, I would probably reconsider. Because the maybe. last time we gave you one, you're like, no! Yeah, you have it back. And then we're like, okay, we'll give you a month. And then she's like, it sat in a corner the entire time. And I would look at it, and then it would make me disgusted. And I would just cut to go put it in my closet. Because even the look at it, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Mm. It's not too far of an. It's like really not like, too is far. That what I sound like? Yeah. Well, that's. I mean, that's that was that was your mindset, nonetheless. That's true. Yeah. Like you were disgusted by. But I'm it. I'm an evolved human being now. Right. Mm-hmm. Like you know why you're riding blitz out if you use that as a kicker. Oh my you think lord. It, it would be good. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. Mm-hmm. I mean, is there a man here that what, that doesn't disagree that like while you're getting rid out, she's uh you know if she uh like you know maybe flavors it in a, a little Hitachi flavor in nothing yeah. better than when you're getting rid out. Mm-hmm. Man, get rid out. Blitz is in full heaven right now. He's loading up all of our stuff. Uh, anyway, my buddy Gino from Valken. Uh, go to Val- literally go to Valken.com. I'm on there right now. And they make everything with regards to paintball, airsoft. Um, but 
Blitz, the one thing that Gino told us to look in particular uh, was their new uh, de- defense protection right. uh, deal, which I don't know what it is. There's a lot of, like, uh, pepper oh, balls. Oh, pepper balls. Rubber rounds. Oh. All that kind of good stuff. Can you imagine if I got a Lyft slash Uber kicker across the wall and, and, and over there and Blitz, they, they, they <laughs> tr- pepper balled them? And I pepper ball them. <laughs> I was kind of hoping you didn't see the link, to be honest. You were hoping that I <clears throat> did. Look at the sawed off shotgun. Oh, wow. Wow. Law enforcement, government, home protection. Okay, Blitz, that's what we're not, that's what we'd have to go, right? With the home protection? Yeah. Yeah, because we're not law enforcement. We're not. And we're not, uh, we think we are, but and we're not. Government. Here we go. Um, we got the uh, Falcon pepper ball, pepper ball launcher. But Steve starts giving you crap. Dan, you could literally, from the carriage house, launch over a couple pepper balls and hit his front door. So as soon as he walked in, he got pepper sprayed. That'd be great, wouldn't it? That would be awesome. Uh, the, the, the Falcon Combat Gray T4E HDS 68 paintball shotgun. Whoa. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Valken Blackhawk paint paint gun uh caliber six eight. The Valken M seventeen magazine fed paintball. Uh oh look at that one. <clears throat> Looks awesome. Pit- I want one of these old school one right here. This guy this this is like a-, a short barrel shotgun. <laughs> yeah. The caliber paintball shotgun. And I believe that's actually a pistol. Oh it is? Oh look at this. Some some green dot. Uh, and uh, Red Dot, and, uh, like, see, why does Blitz got to be the only one that's got dots? Why can't we have uh, instruments that will produce dots? Right, you can. Yeah. A Pepper Ball uh, Launcher Starter Kit, Pepper Ball Compact Launcher, Pepper Ball Compact Rebuild Kit. Can I do a, <clears throat> can I do a, um, a duel with Lummy with a single shot paintball? Yeah. Or not paintball, or even just an airsoft single shot. He and I just got one shot each, ten paces. Yeah, I mean, do we have two pistols? We have. Because uh, I see, saw you bust out a pistol. If we had two we, of but, them, but all ours we are airsoft. Yes, we don't have any pepper stuff. No, no I don't want pepper stuff. Oh, I just we, want like you like, do. Yeah. You do want pepper stuff? If I'm shooting Lummy, I not, do. Not, not, yeah, but he's got to shoot me too. Exactly. <laughs> we do have two of the a- short bear ARs. Yeah. Oh, so but, but those are fully auto. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I don't want to get lit up by like fifty rounds. I want like a shot. Like well, you think, know, he and I each. So you're saying like shot. old school? I old challenge school. you to a duel. I challenge you. D- I, didn't they use back in the day? I didn't they usually? And I throw it down. Now hold on. Oh, did it? But, but did it? But did it back in the day? Like gentlemen would be at like at a at a, at a, at a, a, a gathering and they would disagree and they would say they'd slap him across Dan, the face with a glove and Dan, say I challenge you. I challenge you. <laughs> a duel exactly 10 paces and you get your pistol out and i get my pistol out right. i think you actually have to keep it in the holster yep that's part of it mm-hmm. and you walk 10 paces mm-hmm. and you literally then turn around and shoot the guy yep <clears throat> i think one of our presidents died that way no he got shy he didn't die him and uh what Aaron anyway uh, maybe i could get a hold of uh gino and we get some of this pepper ball stuff i think it, uh, this could get away from us a little bit it also shoots the rub the non lethal rubber balls. So we do mm-hmm. have we do have some pistols they sent. They're not exactly the same, but they're basically I mean, they just look different. They're the same gun though. Are they airsoft? Yes. Yeah, yeah. We don't have any pepper stuff. No. no. Yeah. Ma- not not yet. Dan, would you want a, a pepper ball pistol or would you want a regular airsoft to be fine? A- airsoft. An airsoft pistol I but think yeah, it's guess crucible. what? Dan doesn't shoot off and then he's getting pepper balled. Yeah, Dan. Dan, you know, I, yeah, I don't want to have to call Jennifer and say cancel Dan's surgery I wanted to be today because he got pepper balled in the head. I wanted to be fair. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to have a better gun than him or a worse gun. I just want it to be a fair little, a fair duel. Anyway, a I'm fair, gonna, I'm uh, gonna look through uh, some of this. Val, go to go, go, by the way, go to Valken.com. And whether you're an airsofter, you're a paintballer, or now a pepper baller for home defense. Um, so Blitz, it's it's legal for people to use pepper ball. For, for home defense? I mean, I'm sure it depends on the state, but generally, yes. Yeah, I mean, it's less lethal than, you know, uh, a, a nine millimeter. Yeah. Right? And, man, you could light. I mean, if a bad guy was coming at you, you just light him up with pepper balls. That Ooh. incapacitates him? Immediately. People were people were saying that the gel, the gel blasters, that you might look at those two for the Uber people. 
What do you mean the gel blaster? The gel, they have gel blasters on their thing. What do you mean? Like it shoots gel? Yeah. What type of gel? Like a gel ball that explodes. Yeah, but that's more damaging. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, I pay for the car to get cleaned. and Yeah. You know. If I just shoot yeah, their like hub, these, I'm, like I'm just trying to air soft. I just want to air soft their um their well, Vulcan hub. sells the gel blasters. That's what I was saying. Okay. Well, I'll look into it nonetheless. You don't want to hit a hot window either. No, no, Danny, here's the deal. With these Uber and Lyft people, I'm just going to hit their hubcaps. So when they're in there thinking they're, you know, in the cut, I'm going to have my gilly, my whole deer stand deal, my whole undercover willy thing with one of my fully auto AR-15 uh, Valken Airsoft um, little plastic BB deals. And I'm just going and I'm going to have uh, the Merch Crick prop parked beside them like she's an Uber driver and she's going to be rolling tape. And then I'm just going to unleash about a million little plastic BBs onto their, maybe, maybe their windshield, and definitely their hubcaps. And they're going to, I mean, Dan, if you're just sitting back there waiting for your next Uber ride, cool right across over there, you know, right across the fence in the little bit of the brush area, and all of a sudden you hear, and all of a sudden your hubcaps and your and, and your windshield's getting smashed with, but you, you don't know that it's not bullets, right? right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Wouldn't you pull out of there? Well, especially if you simultaneously threw like a hundred firecrackers over the wall. Well, I'm not going to do... No, the then they hear firecrackers and they hear things hitting the car. No, firecrackers are easily be traceable and like, you know, like they'd, I'd have to get too close. I'm going to be at a very far distance in the shrubbery back where the goats are and be able to get them from a distance with my AR-15 deal. What's this, Lummy? This is the gel blaster? Yes. That's what, what is people... Am I sliming people now? Are we sliming people? They're the same thing as a, a paintball, but I guess it's just gel instead of paint. How, but how far can the gel go? It's, they say pretty far because they're like a paintball gun, which paintball, paintball says guns the amazing gel blaster phenomenon continues to grow as people of all ages discover the uh, just how fun and affordable gel blaster games can be. Blitz is oh, over yeah. there already dry firing some of our stuff. 1911 pistol. Uh, now that gel, bla gel blaster family has grown as well as the gel blaster surge now has a big brother. Uh, the gel ja the gel blaster surge XL. I sent you a video of a, a guy shooting it. Will you send me it to me again because it disappears? Sure. Anyway, go to Valken dot com and find out all this cool stuff. We're sponsored by them. He starts shooting it at about seven forty. So about oh, of course I get a whole oh, screen no. that just left. Yeah, Rhett's brother. Rhett's fat brother with bad teeth. Oh, That's no. Rhett's fat brother with bad teeth is Don't exactly say that. Oh, he's a fellow the YouTuber. Cap off your hopper, so we like tilt your blaster oh, we upside down, and just screw that into the top. Is he trying here? to talk like this or not? Yeah, well, we <laughs> like him. He's a fellow YouTuber. Walks into place. I like this and guy. What did you say, Blitz? 715? 750. Clean that up. I hope you understood what just happened there. That was. He sounds like a carnival bar. full auto at this window and see what happens because, uh, fun. Ah. I mean, that's cool, but it, 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 it looks like it's the same as just an airsoft. But is it shooting it, gel that explodes? It, yeah, it, it explodes in the head. Oh, yeah, if I did that to a guy's windshield. Do you That'd think, be fun, too. Do you think Blitz? Yeah, I might need a gel blaster. Uh, do you think that the Uber will call the cops? Hi, I'm on a private property where they have no trespassing signs. I'm not supposed to be here. The only thing is, Baba, is once they're moving, you can't shoot them anymore. I won't, Dan. I know the rules. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Great point. Um, but anyway, I got enough. Blitz, I think I got enough. Uh, to get to get ready for this weekend, right? I could do I could do a probably oh, a couple yeah. little things for this yeah, weekend. You'll have two of these set up probably soon. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna may, maybe we'll get a gel blaster, Lummy. Maybe maybe we'll get a gel blaster. Sweet, perfect. <laughs> the Bubba Radio Network will return after this. All right, now I gotta get this fucking video off, and then I gotta get my pages back. There we go. Mm. I gotta get these pages back, which is there. Mm. Bam.
Hey, it's bathroom. We'll be back in a few minutes. Let me give me that Falcon air, uh, air check. No problem. You all right, buddy? You're, you're Dr. Dan. You're stretching it out. I'm just stretching it out. Stretch it Are out. Okay? Oh, I'm Poke great. Thank out. you, Bubba. Nug. Stick it out. Good morning. Poke it out. What's up, Rumble? God damn. Uh, of course, eat more coleslaw. Mm -hmm. uh, of course. BJ Click, good morning. What's up, organic gene? Yoko Clem ate exactly. You can definitely tell. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Felix Cat. We don't want to hear that. Yeah, we got you. That's what Dan was saying. Good morning, Anna. It's a smoke show. Well, this hair's always on point. Look at it. Looking good over there. Yep, thank you, one savory character. Good yes, but this hair is on point today. Hair. Looking short on as a smoke show. Thank you. Trickest of knees. Thank you, on his pal what does that say? On his paltry boobs. Pal try? Pal tree? Am I missing something? No. Pal try? I don't know, dude. I don't know what the fuck your name means, but it's probably his fault. On his poultry boobs. What does poultry mean? Mm, something that you have. What is, is poultry a word that I just don't even yeah, know? Yeah, poultry's a word. Yeah, poultry. Oh, it's, small or meager. Yeah. Fuck you. You so piece of shit. You, is it something you have? I guess so. Good morning. It's Brent's Bill. Oh, I just want to play on Rumble, too. Fuck you. It also means worthless, petty, trivial, unimportant, insignificant, inconsequential. That hurts my feelings. What's inconsequential? Just kidding. Uh, my chest. <laughs> <laughs> if someone's so name in the chat say. was pal on his paltry boobs, I didn't know what paltry meant. Means small. Poultry is poultry is opposite not large. Not poultry, but poultry. Poultry is small. Yeah, it's the opposite of large. They said. Yeah. You just it's like a poultry portion. Good morning, Never heard that. Man. Huh? 
Oh, uh, 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 I'm sorry. I heard, I heard Dan. Meager. Well, anyways, I guess you learned something new every day. Yeah, boyish. Thank you. Oh, more Pfizer. Hell yeah. Well, I mean, Pfizer. we're we're helping Moderna out. Yeah, it's, no one wants to dare say anything about them because they sponsor everybody. UCSB, yeah, my alma mater. Maybe we should cut back on that. Greatest university to ever. What's, what, what is Biden's job approval right now? Like twenty something percent. It's like it? almost as low as it's been ever. They thought that, that they thought that Trump had like low approvals. Biden is like breaking record. Vanquishing him in, in disapproval. I think who is the lowest? I feel like if someone I wasn't. I expecting. think Jimmy Carter might have been the lowest. Yeah, I was gonna say who. Um, yeah, I think Jimmy Carter had the lowest when he was uh, getting out of there. I think Gerald Ford was pretty low, too. Approval. I feel like it was someone like Wade. Truman. Live. From the Sunbell Rental Studio. It's the blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm telling you right now, as I'm on it, and I'm on it through Dr. Dan. I'm a patient of Dr. Dan. And his office now offers the Ozempic weight loss gimmick. Available anywhere you can potentially hear my voice. You can do a ton of medicine with his doctor's physician's assistant. And hot, by the way, Emily. Although she's got a boyfriend. Or engaged or something like that. Uh, just call 8888. That's 488888. Diacos, you get qualified and they ship it right to you. Show you how to do it. Unless you're local, then they'll have you come in and like for your first couple times, and then they'll then they'll let you do it on your own. But it's uh, it's it's a little 31 gauge insulin injection, and it literally a mosquito bite is more painful than this. You just shoot it right, like right on your arm or your belly or whatever. It's a paltry needle. It's very paltry, much much like something that Anna has been described as paltry. No, it's not me as a person. It's my <laughs> chest. So <laughs> you can fix that. I can fix that. I yeah, know. I know. Could. Have you now, now, Anna? Have you have, have you changed? Oh, let's revisit this. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I mean we've revisited everything, and then yeah. we'll finally we'll finally close the Anna revisiting box. Okay, if that's, you will. That's fine. Uh, let me, I think we just got a cash app. Cash app, Venmo, PayPal. I don't know where Greg and Amy were today, uh, but Fish on the J is alive and kicking. Thank you so much, Fish we, on the J. See, Anna, we told you that D would make you a better person. Mm-hmm. And so would a Hitachi, mm-hmm. and so would implants. That's right. The, it's, the, I mean, it's the triple crown. Can I just, yeah. can I, can D, I? D, Hitachi, and implants, and well, all of a sudden the whole order? world just opens but up hold on. for you. Were we, were we right about getting regular D? Yeah. We were right about Certainly, that. Certainly, yes. Okay. And we were right about you potentially dating a dating a person. Yes, you're, you're, you're all right. about like that. Mm-hmm. So we're right on that. Uh, and so I, the boobs is the final trilogy. Mm, that's have you the final e- have you even have you even thought like you don't uh, get you you don't no. have to get them jacked like you know the merch crick. You could go in <laughs> with like a like a like a three ten or a. 275, yeah. like something very, yeah, very exactly. conservative. 250 yeah. even. even just um, some. 250 just to really fill that fill that empty empty skin just envelope. Just to break up the planes. I, I understand. Gerald uh, Melton, 100 on the cash app. Thank you. Things no, are flowing I, quite I, nicely I, right now. And I know that this is like the, the antithesis of Dan's business, so, you know, no disrespect at all, but having small ch- a small chest is v- is just it's just very convenient. But hold on. It's not, you're you not going to get any have, attention. You can still have a small chest uh, and have implants. I know, but, yeah, you, but I mean, all you're doing is just filling out that little bit the, of Extra, flapjacks. Yeah, the flat, the flappiness, the the flapjackness of your raisins yeah. are now filled. My paltry ch- chest. Well, it's I like would, this. Let me say this. Did, did any of you, I'm sorry. Yeah. We probably should refer over to Blitz because he is an expert on this. Grouper lips, twenty dollars. I, I mean, I mean, uh, there there isn't any flappyjackness. So okay. thank you, thank you, boyfriend. You, yeah. See, <laughs> For here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing, Blitz. We and 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 you you got to understand. We just have a certain vision of small raisin breasted girls. We have never seen Anna's, mm-hmm. and so we automatically assume they're a certain way. Mm-hmm. Thank you for the correction, if, because if you were, do know. If they were Flappy Jackies, 
You would um, probably be the first one to maybe then, say. Then I'd be more for it, but they're yeah, not. Yeah, I, I also haven't had uh, children and breastfed, so you know right. they're a little more in- they're, intact. They're probably very tight. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, very, I mean, very put together they look, with they light look fine. nipples because she has had kids. With what? Light colored nipples. Oh, it darkens your nipples when you. Yes, breastfeed? it makes it an easier target to see. For, Interesting. for real? Mm-hmm. So you're Even saying that after well, you've I've done been lifting? They lighten a little Blitz bit. Blitz uses after a sharpie on him so he doesn't miss him. In the, I mean, mm-hmm. you, Blitz puts, puts a red dot on him. <laughs> She's got red dot nipples. <laughs> light him up with the laser <laughs> so you can find him. <laughs> All right. So, uh, okay, Anna. Do, so do, may, we, maybe we kind of have yeah. a misconception of your, you know, because we're obviously never going to see them, right. but we do have a person no that, that has expert testimony <laughs> on them. So yeah. now imagine no extra skin, just a small breast with a pink nipple. That's a, a better imagination, right? Uh, that seems right? like what she has now. Like yes. right that's now. what I'm just, saying. That's what I'm saying. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's better than we really out. thought. Yeah, we kind of we thought they saggy. were maybe gnarled up races. Right. No, yeah. no, no, no. The nipples the pointing yeah. straight to hell. No, no. They're, they're, they're pointing at, you know, the, I have, the future. I have, yeah. I have, I have <laughs> seen when you've kind of maybe kind of push up brawled them before. Yeah. And they look, and they look pretty good. Uh, I could dress them up if I wanted to, but I just, I don't know. Right. It's just so convenient. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm sure so a lot of guys with but small here's the penises thing. say they're convenient. Here's the thing. <laughs> I'm sure they here's do. the thing. Your boobs are probably way better than we can imagine because we don't get to see them. Blitz right. does. And we, yeah. He's our boy, and he's saying they're good, so they're good, they're good. You know what they are? They're just, they're fine. But here's the deal. They're fine. We're not going to We're not gonna continue to, 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 to zip yeah. you on this, but I'm just saying, they. it would just, oh, if you just jacked them up a little bit, it would just be yeah. so I mean, hot. who might? Oh, never mind. I'm not going to even finish that. No, they I'm go just... two percenters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Skim milk maybe right as now. you get a little bit older, maybe as you get a little bit older, Dan, do you sometimes see women that like and they're you never had any kids, and as they get a little bit older and stuff kind of starts moving around a little bit, that they might maybe were not a candidate. Maybe they were like Anna at 36. Okay, perfect boobs, small, no kids, mm-hmm. no droopage, no mm-hmm. empty skin envelope. But at 40, 45, at 45, 47, you start getting. Breath- Breast they, tissue atrophy. Well, your yeah, breasts you're just, atrophy. Do you, so, so sometimes could you see a girl like Anna when she's 45, 47, maybe lose a little bit of volume in their boobs just by pure age. Right. Just pure exactly. age. If you stay thin and age, your your breasts shrink. And then she, at that point, she could come in and be like, okay, pump me up a little bit now. Yeah, there, and yeah. if that's the case, then the story's a little different. Right, but right. As of now. Right now, she's young and tight. Yeah. 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 Thank there you go, Anna. You like that? Yeah. How about that? DJ yeah. Young and Tight. Yeah. Why Young doesn't something like that? It's better than way sexier. <clears throat> the yeah. DJ Cum Sauce. How about... D- oh, you what did you say? I just, I just dumped hum, that hum, out, Hum Danny. Sauce. Hum Sauce. Oh. I thought you... You need to go have a cigarette. <laughs> no. Dan, I, the, you know what? Everybody at your off, everybody in your office thinks that you've been cheating. Uh, they can all F themselves. Okay, well, we do too. Oh. So, uh, so at, do, I, uh, do I look like I'm cheating? No, well, not I mean, at all. we don't know what's happening. We, we, don't know. He's not. we don't know what's <laughs> happening in the carriage house at night. We don't know if you're going out in the, ba- the newly fortified ba- yeah. balcony and, and mowing a few down. And we don't know that. And then you can just turn up the volume of the dickness just to, you just know, to be a to, dick. as a beard. Just be less smoking, just to be more of an ass. Be less public about it and be way more under, you know, secretive about it. My mom was a secret smoker for years. Really? Like, yeah, like she, Eddie knew, but she would still sneak. She, I, she'd be a sneaker. I do not have any cigarettes in my possession. Okay, I'm not hiding ball. any cigarettes. No, is there any cigarettes at no, the carriage nope, house? Nope, nothing. Has have you had one cigarette since March 19th? No. Nope. Hello, who's this? Hey guys, it's Track Me. You know, I'll make it quick. I just want to give you a heads up, man. If you do do that paintball shooting and airsoft shooting stuff, be careful. Because I did that with a paintball gun one time, and I got a felony stop. Guns pointed at me, told me they were going to blow my effing head off, took me to jail. It was a big $700 fine, all kinds of stuff. So be careful. Yeah, I'm going to stick with little plastic BBs and shooting the guy's hubcaps. Okay? I, I did, that's all I was doing was shooting hubcaps on cars going down 27, and it was not okay. They but, 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 but can I tell you something? There's a big <laughs> distinction here, and that's why I said moving. You can't shoot a moving vehicle. That's illegal. A and, they're on pri- and they're on private property. They're, oh, they're okay. on private. They're on pri- hold on. They're on private property that's posted. No parking. No, like it's posted. No it's, trespassing, no, no parking. No the trespass- three different signs. Right. No trespassing, no parking. Do not enter. You're, you're, park, you're parked there. 
I mean, maybe maybe I shouldn't be shooting him at all. I do realize that. I'm, I'm t- it's a little bit. I mean, listen, it wouldn't be fun if it wasn't a little risky. You know, maybe we should get a sign at the entrance that says something about this being a live fire area. Yes. You know, that, that way they've works. been warned. You know, if they park here, they're in a they're in a live fire area. Yeah, you're right. Target rich environment. I mean, I mean, Blitz, you can make any kind of sign you want, sure. right? And we can say, listen, you're now entering a live fired upon area. <laughs> yeah, Enter at your own risk. <laughs> yes. Right? Yes. Danger. Yeah, Peligro. Yes. Yes. That's I mean, Dan, if, if and you're what? like, sir, officer, can't you read the sign? It's the number one sign as soon as you pull in here. Mm-hmm. You're entering a live firing area. Now, we're not telling you what we're firing. Blitz right? Live. We don't have to say bullets Mm-mm. or, you know, nine millimeter. I mean, Blitz, our little airsoft B- BBs are considered, we're firing them off, are we not? Yeah. yeah we're projecting them from a, gu- from a gun. <clears throat> that works. The last thing is, Dan, you can quit smoking. My dad did it a couple times before he passed away for fight. But anyway. But a couple I'm times under- means he quit and then he yeah. went back on the wa- off the wagon. Well, he, like Dan did. He knew he was about to die, and so he just picked it back up. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's true. Yeah. I mean, Dan, if they came to you and said, hey, Dan, like, what is it, pancreatitis, like the worst? Pancreatitis. Pancreatic cancer? Yeah, isn't that like they say six, six months, pretty yeah, much. Like, that's yeah. like, if they came to you and said, Dan, point, you, have stage, well. you have stage four pancreatitis, you probably got six months with us. I'd be doing heroin, everything. Everything. I mean, I'd be just like, why not? I'm calling Hunter Biden. Well, I'm this 100, 115 days sober today, guys. Y'all have a good, good job. Thank you, buddy. Oh, good job. Track me. Dan, oh, you're, uh, what are you? Uh, out. Nine. You're fi- you're you're five days uh, cigarette free. Four, five. I guess. Yeah, five, yeah. I mean, it's the nineteenth. Today yeah. is the twenty fourth. Well, like four and a half. I like that blitz. I'm gonna maybe have uh, um, uh, Rainbow Rick make me. Uh, you're entering a live firing zone. Yeah. Ca- caution. You know. Caution. Caution. Peligro. Enter. <laughs> enter at your own risk. You're entering into a live firing zone. No trespassing. You could be fired upon. And then at that point, you'd be like, officer, look at the sign. Mm-hmm. There's a no trespassing. There's a no parking. There's a no nothing. And then there's a sign that says you're entering into a fire zone. Yes, officer, I shot him with my Falcon Airsoft BBs on his ha- hubcaps to get him out of here. Keep we're tired. Morning. We, we're tired of these people parking here, being a bunch of pigs. Just coming and going as they please, you know, and the, and they're throwing trash on my property. You know, yeah. What, you think the cop tells the guy, hey, listen, buddy, you know, live firing zone sign there. Or is he taking me to jail? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Dan, we might want to get a hold of Steve and tell him to be on, on ready to come bail me out. We always are. All right. <laughs> Here we go. We watched, we watched actually a little bit of this yesterday. Uh, on uh, on the Rumble show. Boy, I really, really, really enjoyed yesterday's After Hours Uncensored Rumble show because we were able to get into LeBron James's uh, um, uh, foundation and how he, how his, the foundation and how he specifically uh, only helps African-American children from the inner city. And I had a guy arguing me, arguing with me about that, and I don't know necessarily that I could have had that conversation. Yeah, he called you a moron. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I, I don't know that I could have necessarily had that conversation uh, on Twitch uh, or on uh, Gloria Zach, uh, Lummy. How about some female money up in here, nice. buddy? 25 on the cash app. Thank you so much. Maybe. It's weird because we had uh, a heated argument uh, between our bowling team yesterday about the same topic. Oh my I might God. have uh, inched them forward because uh, two of them listened to the show and they couldn't believe how someone was taking LeBron's side like that. And then we had two other people that uh, were backing LeBron and they really? got heated. Yeah. And, but but it, it's what was refreshing, Blitz, it was refreshing to be able to play like a live breaking news feed from PBS. Mm-hmm. That we usually can't do. And then it was refreshing to be able to have that discussion on how I truly feel about LeBron only taking care of African-American inner city children and that not all children are considered to be able to be able to take care of. I couldn't I can't get into that long form discussion uh, on on Facebook or YouTube or certainly not woke ass Twitch. But I was able to on Rumble. And Blitz, we didn't wake up this morning and say that we'd been suspended for hate speech or a protected group. White kids are, I'm sorry, white kids are a protected group, whoever, whoever we were offending. So you feel like every charity 
ever should be um, available to to every type of person? No, not necessarily. Okay. I mean, a lot of charities are specifically for one little. Th- well, but when, but let's when you're in, bar but, disease. But but when you're but when you're involving children, mm-hmm. yes, I think that. If you have a foundation that's trying to help inner city kids, Mm -hmm. poor inner city kids, Mm -hmm. and you're only allowing African-American kids to be helped, I got a problem with that. There's a lot of other kids. You know, adults are are one thing. Poverty doesn't see color. Yeah, it doesn't. And, uh, you know, uh, if, if, if you're taking care of only African-American kids, I, I find that to be a problem. I see, Baba, you know, this, this really— and we probably can't get into this too much here. We, can we probably get... need to move on quickly, but mm-hmm. go on. I, I think that one of the problems with society today—and I'm speaking, I'm, I'm speaking very calmly, I'm going to speak very intelligently. Well, that's to be—I mean— you have the ability to speak intelligently, <laughs> but you also have the ability to throw a lot of douchiness and get us in troubleness too. So you're an intelligent man that uh-huh. sometimes speaks not so intelligently. Sometimes I try to be funny and make jokes, but here I'm not. The real the problem that the the media and the politicians keep telling us is it's a race problem. But it's not a race problem. We don't really have the race problem that has been touted in America for the last 14 years, really since Obama ran for president. He's been, you know, they've been beating the drums of, of racism. That is not the problem. The problem is poverty. The problem is there is a huge, poor population in America and that nothing is being done to help them. In fact, p- public policy today. Josh Warner, $10 for Dan's mm-hmm. Munsters. Uh, ca- cash app, Venmo, PayPal, all at the Bub Army. Go ahead, Danny. Today's economic policy is making it worse for the poor because our massive inflation is really stressing out households that aren't able to absorb that 5, 10, 15 percent inflation per year for two years in a row. The average household can't afford $9 eggs. They can't. They also can't afford $4.5 gas. They also can't afford increase in rent. the increase in rents. And, and, and mostly, and what's really happening is they can't afford loans. So when we have kind of acclimated and, and become accustomed to low interest rate loans, and I understand that some people say, like, we've been artificially keeping them low. Well, maybe a little bit, but that was really helping a lot of people all across the board because almost everyone in America that's an adult has something financed, whether it's your phone, your car, your house, or that pair of shoes you're trying to get from the store. Almost everyone has debt, and when debt increases just because the interest rates increase Mm -hmm. and money becomes more difficult to get, that becomes a problem mostly for the poor. The wealthier people can absorb it. Now, I'm not trying to brag, but I'm not poor. And I'm still feeling these increases. Sure. I'm still f- noticing that it's it's hurting. My power bills are going off the, off the roof. Yeah, your supplies. My, my supplies are going through the roof. Your it's insu- unbelievable. Hold on. Your insurance. Insurance is cr- increasing. And there's no reason for the insurance to increase except for DeSantis is changing insurance law in, in Florida. Oh, and he's pissing and a lot. He's got, Tom, he's got Tom Bean's full hot. He's Tom going, Bean likes uh, Ron DeSantis, but he's... Full hot on his new insurance, Willie. Yeah, the, Ron DeSantis. I mean, took a pill or something. I don't know what happened to him, but he's he changed. completely changed over the last three, four months. And what he's doing now, now you know what in, he is? in Florida, he's gearing up for a presidential run. Right. So he's trying to go as far right as he possibly can. And yeah, speak, but, but he's an attorney, and he just completely <laughs> hosed all of the attorneys in the state of Florida. And you know what? In three years, he's just going to be an attorney again. He ain't going to be president. He ain't going to be governor. He's just going to be some ex-governor like, like Charlie, Charlie Crist. Crist working at some firm for some show salary. And he's going to understand what it's like. That he just shot himself in the foot because he'll never be president. The kid can't debate. The and Trump can. will eclipse him on any stage this run if he tries to go against Trump. Well, it's he didn't going to even. Be, now listen, I'm not. I'm not trying to go. I'm, not, an, I'm, I'm not, not trying to go anti DeSantis here because of, of the two, I like him better than Trump. That's fine. But hold on. I, I, but I, I hold respect on. that. Uh, hold on. You're right with regards to a lot of Americans 
such as U.S. Americans, a lot of such as U.S. Americans really, really sometimes determine that if they're on the fence, uh, the debates are what kind of <clears throat> determine who, where they go. Right. And I'll tell you right now that Trump's good when he's not being Johnny Douchebag and he sits back and lets it happen. You know, I thought he debated Hillary good, but he debated he did debated uh, um, Biden horribly. He was really much. One of them was bad. And and, and, and here's the deal: <clears throat> um, DeSantis will probably get killed. Charlie Crist gave DeSantis a run for his money on the debate. He made him look stupid. He made DeSantis look like a high school kid. It, it also wasn't quite fair because the audience was certainly in favor of Charlie well, Crist. They're always going to be like that. Yeah, but the they, they, did, they, they put a bunch of uh, rules in there, and Charlie didn't have the follow the rules. Still, but just, I mean, just the, the ability to engage and fire back, Charlie owned them. It, right? Yeah, but— And here's a, a bubble. When, when Trump was going through the primaries and the general— Every single debate was stacked against him. They would open up with a salacious question. They would they would not let him finish his sentences. They were all left leaning uh, moderators, and they tried to make him look stupid every single time. And despite that, he became president. So when when this happens to DeSantis, he's going to fall apart, start sweating, and, be, 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 and sound like Biden today. Has he really? Biden won. Is this latest <laughs> insurance thing that he's passed? Is it like what what does he pass that's really really? He's, he's destroyed Pip and he's changed the burden of 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 fault. So in the old days, if you were in a not car, in the old days, like like today, six, sixty days ago, today. If you're in an accident and someone says that you were still 51% fault, but the other person was 49% fault, then you would still be able to collect 49% of the damages. Now, if you are 51% at fault, you pay it all. You get zero. Oh, you, I'm, I'm sorry. You, you're the, you're now the guy in trouble. You're the guy in trouble, right? And so that's to, that's going to destroy the personal injury attorney. They're going to try every case. They're going to take it all the way down. Let a jury decide what the percentage of let the jury decide. Oh, it's going to bog up the fault. system. It's because gonna... cause Jay could, you know, in a case when you're negotiating a case, like like we'll say like the, the kid that got hit by a motorcycle, and Jay was Jay was it was obvious the other person cut him off. It was obvious. Is that, is that Jay, over now? Yeah, it's oh, over. Okay. But when Jay talking guys do, to the did guy. Did you guys do good on it? He did pretty well, All yes. Right. But when Jay was negotiating with him, he said, okay, let's assume it's 50-50 fault. Then let's. Then here's what the number is. And when you're doing negotiations, that's, that's that makes sense. But if you say, let's assume it's 50-50, then the insurance company says, well, no, let's assume it's 49-51, and you get zero. So they're going to take it all the way. The other problem with the new laws that, that DeSantis is promoting and is going through committees and getting passed is that they're going to destroy PIP. Personal injury protection, no fault insurance, which means you get in a car accident, you just can't put up your insurance card. Because, you know, a lot of Floridians, if they don't have car insurance, then you're covered. Yeah, thank you God. Because the woman, the girl that hit me on 75 that worked for Kemper, you know, delivery services had no insurance. But your cup. Co- but I had, un- I pet. had, I had no, whatever it's called, un- uninsured motorist insurance. That's different. <clears throat> I, I had. Well, it, I'm talking about the first 10K. The first $10,000 is PIP. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. Instead of sitting it and fighting it out in court, you get $10,000 to go can, to the emergency room, get you, get treated, get taken care of. And most people can do that for you know mild to moderate injuries for under but $10,000. But, no but isn't he just removing the requirement? You could still buy PIP if you want to buy it. But no one's going to have it, and the, and the whole system changes. And so now, if you're poor and you don't have insurance... Um, and you have to go to one of the doctors. It's they get a different rate for for taking care of you. So what's going to happen is so right now pips poor, required. Pips required. Pips everyone required. Takes it, 10, and everyone 000. gets treated equally. So now they're going to shift it to BI bodily injury. It's going to take. It's not a trigger automatically. It's going to take having to file a claim and wait two or three months. And if you don't have if you don't have good insurance, then it's going to mean you have to go to a crappy doctor but if you still have two want, different pay tiers if you still want a ten thousand dollar pip you can still buy that i don't though. think i think it's gonna be completely gone no all right but I hold think on it's gonna be completely let me destroyed. ask you this i'm gonna and throw the, you the final I'm gonna throw, not out yet i'm gonna throw you a curveball and you're gonna completely i don't know if you're gonna like it or not but if you just sit back and listen and just absorb what i'm saying it looks like now 
that this might be good for the J.D. Akos, who loves to go to trial and is not afraid to be in front of a jury, and because those type of guys are going to be able to persuade a jury or a mediator um, that their client is not at fault, they're on the lower end of the fault deal, and uh, people that like to litigate and are good litigators are, will litigate and get favorable responses. These guys who just settle to and well, there's a rep. Hold on, there's a there's a group of attorneys here in town or just globally that have been to the court. Well, I'm the one of the most famous. I'm not going to mention any names, but there's a very famous law firm here that has a ton of billboards and a ton of commercials throwing their business card. And they've been to trial one time. At least the article that at the time that I read the article, right. they had been to trial one time and lost. And they lost. But they settle, 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 settle. To me, it sounds like this would be somewhat favorable for the litigators, like because people know when people fight Diaco Law, when the insurance company is fighting Diaco Law, they do their research, then they're like. Hey, this guy uh, is not afraid to go to trial, mm -mm. and his last four verdicts were this, 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 and this at trial, didn't settle. Meanwhile, they can do their research on the other people, and they're like, these guys never go to trial. They always settle. So you get treated accordingly. Don't right. you think that maybe perhaps this law, if, if, if it goes through, maybe one of the silver linings, although you hate it, a potential silver lining would be for a good litigator like your brother that says, bitch, let's roll up our sleeves and go to trial, because he does really well there, or mediation, that that might favor a guy like Jay? Yes, but it screws the, the person getting injured, because instead of getting to make this case go away in four to six months, it's going to take two to four years. Yeah, it'll, it'll make the yeah. attorneys work harder for the same amount of money. Yeah, you know, my case went away in six months. Right, it won't take six months now. It's going to take a couple, three years. Oh. So it's going to back up the courts. It's going to, it's, it's a disaster in practice. And Can he veto it? Practice, it? Yeah, he won't. And in practice, it's going to be racist because who, who, more African Americans who brought this bill? Who, brought this bill? who brought this bill up? The, the Republicans. Republicans in committee. And it went through. Yeah. Well, so far. So far, it has, it's, it's, it has it's, not it has, passed yet. It's gaining. It's got a lot of steam. It's basically the same bill he vetoed a few years ago. But now he wants to let it go. So it's it's it really really hinders. And it does discriminate against African Americans it, it, and Hispanics and lower income people. It discriminates it against the poor. It hurts the poor, and so he's not helping the poor people in Florida. It doesn't. It only helps the insurance companies. I don't understand why he's changed his alignment, and it's frustrating because I really, really, so this really is pro big. Him. This is pro big insurance. It's pro State Farm. Oh, Jake from State Farm is going to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> will Will insurance rates go down because you don't nope. have to carry that anymore? Uh, -uh. it's going to go up. Well, and, and your health insurance is going to go up because they're going to now, instead of taking the PIP, they're going to try to hit up the health insurance. But those people that don't have health insurance, it's going to go to the state. So then the Medicaid is going to go up. It's all going but, to go up. But Let's, isn't uh, like isn't the PIP thing like an easy ten grand for any, like any accident? So the, like attorneys quickly go after it and get it. Yeah, but the attorney doesn't get it. The client gets no, it. No, I, well, I know that. But the, the, client, the like person that's injured gets it. The person whose car's damaged gets it. The person whose 1999 Toyota Corolla gets totaled because if it has seven dollars damage. Why are you making fun of, of Gus? Because, Who's the Camry? I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Put some respect don't call, on my name. Don't call my car a Corolla. No, my a car Camry. is a goddamn Camry. He's a 20 Upper crust. I wasn't talking about her car, but who, I know. Who, who, what's with the paint all over your car? It looks like you just got like a, it was a porn movie. What happened? It's got white paint all over. Yeah. Over spray well. There was a no. neighbor, and we just washed it. Too. We just went to the car wash and washed it and brought it home. And the neighbor decided, yeah, it's a good idea to cut some concrete and get concrete dust all over. Oh, this car's not paint. No, yeah, but that blitz that might be harder. You no, might. It's, it'll come around. We wiped it's, it off with our fingers. Do you need my easy, pressure washer? No, no. It's like just it'll, it'll it'll use rain it. soon. It's just, a, it's just a powder, but like still, it's like it's come annoying. On, dude. It was loud. Yeah, concrete. Well, <laughs> at least say, hey, can you move your car because I'm gonna be cutting concrete right here. Yeah. That's such a dick move. It really is. And cutting I'm, I'm concrete, there's no it. way to even for that not to be messy. The no, smoke and the water, dust, and all the stuff that comes up. The TikTok CEO. Uh, uh, in front of, well, is that a congressional inquiry hearing? Like, what was he, was that a Senate hearing? 
What was he in front of yesterday? Let's see. It wasn't just Senate. House committee. Of, yeah, from house a house committee. committee. Yeah. Is that how the nonsense start? They 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 bring you to the uh, to a house committee. Is that when they Dan? Is that when they first start trying to put you on the railroad tracks? Yeah, is but they this put- is a dog and pony show. Nothing's going to happen to this or TikTok or anything else. I, you know, I get so irritated by people getting dragged in front of Congress for just the show. And and then maybe five percent of the people that lie their faces off because they're all lying. Every one of them and is lying. None of these lawyers, I mean, none of these legislators really know what they're talking about. No. They're reading from Demons. prepared, you know, whatever their pages and inter- and and un- you know the people that work for them have prepared and the data and what have not. But they really don't know what they're talking about. They really don't. And you know, th- there was a there was a congressional hearing on immigration and the border, and none of the Democrats even showed up to it. So it just shows you what a joke these hearings are. They're yeah. useless. And I would useless. say that probably most of the people on TikTok and get their living, you know, making content on TikTok probably don't give an F about this committee right. hearing. They're, They're not going to be watching the news. The girl, They're doing dances. Right. Mm-hmm. The girl that, you know, is making and 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 blitz what I mean, let's say a girl's got a few million followers or something like that. She's probably making her and there's a bunch of them on TikTok ranging from, you know, Country girls that ride, you know, side by sides to hot thirty-five-year-old women who work out. I mean, the the, the array of of content and the d- different people and personalities on TikTok is uh, a melting pot of all of humanity. But there's got to be the, the, a lot of people making quite a bit of money on TikTok, right? Yes, and do you know what we're not doing on TikTok? We're not sharing nuclear weapon secrets on TikTok. We're talking about 17-year-olds making stupid dance videos with their best friend. And so we're so worried that China's going to get their information. And honest, and right. None of these people like care. Justin Bieber more than they like, you know, Van Halen. That Who 20, cares? That, 17, that 21-year-old girl that's wearing the booty shorts working out at the gym that's got 1.7 million followers, she doesn't care what you get off of her phone. Nope. She doesn't care if you... I mean, she doesn't have any secrets that's going to make our country less strong. She doesn't care if China is selling the data to somebody to somebody else to 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 you know possibly potentially sh- show ads that she could be potentially interested in. Right, and no, you know, w- with these crocodile tears, no one's bitching about Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. I'm sorry, not TikTok. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitter, taking data and repurposing it and selling it, or repurposing it for advertising. Blitz does, does it's been doing it forever. Yeah, AOL, because none, of, because none of those Google, work for the Chinese government. The, whatever. So they work for the Russian government. They work for the US. English government. They work for the U.S. government. Mm-hmm. Everyone's spying on everybody. We have given up our privacy through smartphones. Right. We have we have signed it away literally on all these user agreements. And so we give None our of us information read those agreements. to all these companies. We just want this app so bad that we hit yeah, yeah, but, yeah, 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 but yeah, weren't, yeah, yeah. But weren't we talking about the data extraction not only being from the TikTok app, but also bleeding into other yes. aspects like photos, text messages, things like they that. Do that. They want access to your photos. They want access to your microphone. Well, that's what they I'm want saying. Like, if the CCP contacts. is getting information oh, yeah. so, from... So, so is all the European Union. So right, is America. Right, but China is one of our biggest but adversaries. But when's the last time... Yeah. Really? It's, when's yes, the la- yes it's they? a big issue, are man. They? But yeah. hold on. When's the last time <laughs> that you saw some chick, 18-year-old chick that made a sent, sent her boyfriend some, you know, kicked out wide pics, but She's also on TikTok, and the Chinese government got the kicked out wide pics, and now they're using the kicked out wide. No one cares about that. No one cares about that. But you said she's got a million followers. Okay, but what I'm. What if those guys are business guys that have TikTok installed on their phone? And then that's the issue. Yeah, I don't. And then it's not it's not the eighteen year old girl kicking out wide. It's the pervs watching her. Yeah, Yeah, or on TikTok. So how do they? What are they? What 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 are they susceptible to? Stealing all their data. They see who uh, is following her, and then they go look into him, and then they, you know, start Are able to stuff. extract. Yeah, I think that's the issue. Not that the, it's the user data from TikTok; it's that it's bleeding into. It's other not the ninety-nine percent of the people on TikTok. It's the one right. percent, even less. The, the nuggets. Yeah, the it's gems. the small ones that they, they want to go after. But, but they all do it. They all do they it. They don't all send it to the Chinese government. They don't. Yeah. 
Well, it's amazing how scary, how scary we, how scared we are of the Chinese government. But meanwhile, they own us. Yeah, no, they, they don't. Japan has a, our, our, our debt. The right. thing with China is, no one talks about what China's doing. They're literally going all over the world and making allies and bringing people together. And we're literally great. sitting here arguing. It's great for over, them, not for us. Yeah, it's great for them, not for us. And soon, in about five years, we're going to go, go. Oh, well, China just took over the whole world. Whole world. Everything is going to the Chinese dollar. Yep. You know, they're making peace in the Middle East. Saudis and Iran- Iranians are making peace with China. Sounds like China's something we should have been doing. Chinese, China's but we're making not. Ports I know, it's what I'm saying. Hold on. They're winning it's the so- economic war. It sounds like it's something that we should be doing. It sounds like it's something that we used to be. But we're and, fighting and, with each other. We're worried about this stuff. It's perfect. It's their plan. I understand. So TikTok. we need a leader to bring us saying, listen, guys, let's stop worrying about China and let's become better than China. We had a leader like that. Yeah, and we voted and he him got out because he said, mean tweets oh yeah that's what i'm saying but like i've been saying and that what i've been listening to a lot about uh the chinese demographics is that it's not going to be good for them in the next 10 to 15 years because of their aging population and no one's re- not that no one's having kids but they don't really have a lot of people to replace all the people that are working and, and contributing to the to the uh the, their gdp right now so all and these didn't people china are, used to have a rule like if you're uh, well, the one if child you had a policy ki- if you had a ki- well, first of all you can only have one kid Right, and then a lot of times, if it was only if it was a girl, I'm I'm not trying to get in trouble or not, but didn't they sometimes kill the baby girl? Yes, female infanticide. It happened. The only place it happened more was in India, but in China, it was as recent as when. As recent as when? Ten years ago. 2015 was when it was outlawed. So very recently. So. So eight years ago. Yes, you could only nine, have one not, kid and they all wanted a boy. So then you also have to think that the sex ratio is all effed up, too, that there's too many men and not enough women. And a lot of people aren't having man, kids. If you're a girl wanting to get laid, go to China. There's a bunch of men's <clears throat> over there, right? Mm-hmm. Sure. But it, it's not good for them because they have a they have an aging population and they urbanize too quickly. They industrialize too quickly. And when that happens, you go from having seven, eight kids on the farm to having one or maybe zero. But that's why they're also going around the world and they're, <clears throat> they're going to. Sure. But they're going to have a lot of problems in about 10, 15 years when they have all this giant old population and not enough people in the workforce. And a lot well, that's of guys. Why that's, but that's why they're also going to be good. That's why they're going to Africa and South America and building these ports. Let me go. All these different roads. Let me go. And that's words. why they created COVID so they can you kill all the old people? What? All right. What? And, and <laughs> Did you just say what? Huh? And, what? And a, what? Bunch, and a bunch of guys. Not, hold on. Penises. Now they're blaming COVID. Now they're blaving COVID on some raccoon dog. Did you guys see that? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, I said over the weekend, be like, hold on now. It wasn't, it, it wasn't this pangolin or whatever the hell it was. No, it was a raccoon dog. And it wasn't from a lab. They got, mm-hmm. I thought it was just fairly recently that the U.S. government finally recognized or was honest with the people and said, we think that this came from a lab leak. Yeah, then they backpedaled. And now, then, the FBI then, said it with low confidence that right. they think it came from a lab. Then all of a sudden, it's a, it's a raccoon dog. Looks, it looks cute as hell. Now, how does a raccoon dog give you COVID? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, you're a doctor. You're a doctor. How does a raccoon dog give a man or woman COVID? It doesn't. They're trying to argue that it was the, the vector, the, the animal vector that, that allowed the virus to jump from the bats to the human. Like it went from the bat to the raccoon dog. So this bat was flying on a guy's shoulder and he just like, you know. Raccoon dog to a human. That's bat to raccoon dog to human. Interestingly, though, the COVID-19 was most likely developed in America, in North Carolina, shipped over to Wuhan, and then <laughs> accidentally and maybe purposefully released. But you can't say that in the media because everyone's sponsored by Pfizer and China is the protected class right now. But to be honest with you, it's impossible it is impossible, based on my science, based on my, I'm sorry, education, training, and experience, and my ability to understand research, genetics, and scientific papers, that it is impossible for this to have happened without man-made intervention. These things do not happen in the natural, in the wild. There's no question that we absolutely were Subject to a man-made virus that was intensified, weaponized, made more dangerous than its natural virus. There are parts of that virus that do not belong in there, that do not happen in nature. They were actually put in there to make it more dangerous for us humans. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Monday will probably only be on Rumble. (laughs) 
Bubba Radio Network will return after this. Doctor said, Doctor Dan, head finally canceled. Broken. Hmm? He slammed it down. I was like, <laughs> I thought they were going to pop off. <clears throat> yeah, China's is going nowhere good. <clears throat> So far, no indictment for former president Donald Trump. This is a fucking joke. Bliss's birthday is on Sunday. So we're celebrating it today. And tonight. It's gonna be a good time. DJ Humsauce on the ones and twos. Wiki, 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 wiki. I love Fauci. He's the best. Dr. Dan is a hero. On his dried up eggs. What the fuck? Um, yeah, it's bad. It's bad, it's bad. And then you also have to take into consideration that China's a very homogeneous society. You know, they're trying to eliminate the Uyghurs in the north and stuff. So they don't want a bunch of immigrants coming in. They want to keep it pretty much, you know, uh, ethnically Han. So they don't want a bunch of people from Africa and Asia, other places from Asia and other poor places around the world, people working for them. They want it to be exclusively Han because that's kind of what the CCP wants. So they're going to be fucked in about 10 years when everyone's old as hell and there's not enough people in the workforce to support the economy. So sorry. Oh, thanks, Nizik Slayer. Always put them on display. Oh, happy birthday! Yes, Seminole Snowman. I don't. You're probably just tuning in, but we got a 199 on the ones and twos. 8 p.m. on Rizumble. <laughs> Thank you, Honest Dried of Eggs, exactly. I'll be about 10. Okay. Thanks, Sister Girl Tease. I'll see you tonight. It's going to be fun. There'll be some snacks. Bring it to me before. Just before I do it. No, just hand it to me. If I look at it. Yeah. Well, no, we're not. Yeah, yeah. After it's charged and trade, just bring it to me. Finally, the coffee's kicking in. Trying to... Is that going on? Block the adenosine? I don't know. Uh, good morning, Canada Mark. I need to make your own next break. Oh my god, the show's halfway over. <coughs> yep. Hum. The hummest? Eh, I don't know. I kind of want to do something like with my initials, but I don't really have like cool initials. Like DJ BC. Like How about a DJ? I can't think of a cool name. That's too long. Oh, okay, whatever. What you eating, bud? No, I don't think we need any... Well, if you want... Hey, listen, if you want to bring alcohol, bring alcohol. But I think there's some in the fridge, but I ain't going to tell you to not bring alcohol. Good morning, Nick the Gun Guy. Thank you again so much. Mitch Marv, what's up? Oh, my God. Greg from Canada. Yes, we can. I saw that last night. Holy hell. Thong Willie. So sweet. Ass in your face. Have you seen DJ Maria Mom Guatemala's Mom. latest picture? You got candy. Do I have candy? Yeah. Oh, my God. Are you really, like, needing a fix? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I, I, I don't, but there's going to be some shit tonight if you can hold off for 12 hours. <laughs> Dreidel Hummel. These names are getting worse. I'm like barely Jewish. No, I'm not gonna be DJ Matza. Thanks though. <coughs> yeah. Passover's probably coming up. DJ Matza Ball? Matza Well? When is Passover? I always find out on Facebook when my aunt posts some dumb shit. Let's see. Um, coming up. April 5th to April 13th. Uh, I keep missing a Head Dr. Dan's dish. crushed cigarette pack. Good morning. Nick, good morning. As many times as I want, Carlos Clem. Fucking mind your business. Guatemala. 
Good morning, Marie Guatemala. I, I very much appreciated the photo that you shared last night on the Insta. What show me? I think you'll no like smoke. It. Sister Girl Tease, good morning. What's up, Thin212? What's up, Bitch the Mark? <clears throat> DJ Hello. Debate. Maria. What's up, Seminole Snowman? Guatemala. I mean, it's a pretty solid photo. It's a, uh, What is Dr. Dan structure. Really? Strong. Strong. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll slap a like on that. <coughs> Just did. It's a mark, a mark. It, looks like, it looks like she's looking for something behind the couch. Yeah, what can I show you? What, what are you looking for? <laughs> lost something. She did you lose something? You dro I must have dropped a pen. <laughs> Jeez. Strong. My new favorite country in Central America. I'm going to Guatemala. <laughs> Guatemala. I'm going to Guatemala. Yeah, Guatemala is pretty bad. Not as bad as El Salvador, but pretty bad. I've been to El Salvador. Guatemala has some. Good Not fishing. recently, right? Um. Live from the Sunbelt Rental Studios, it's the Bob of the Love Sponge. Four or five. Uh, Dan, before you leave today, oh, by the way, strict instructions, Dan, from uh, Nabob, and that you got to be in your car by 9.10. Really? Yeah. She texted you that? No. She had a face-to-face conversation with me yesterday, which was more effective than texting. As she's handing me my laughing gas, I have pretty much agreed to anything. <laughs> <laughs> You're a junkie. She could have said, make Dan leave tomorrow at 7.15. I'd be like, keep the laughing gas coming, yeah, bitch. Yes, yeah, here. No, but she's like, when Dan leaves like at 920, then one, and and, and, it, and listen, just back off a notch. I don't want you to put the, I'm the boss, I'm the man, I call the shots. I don't want you to have that hat on. I want you to have a a responsible, um, I when I'm late, I put my office staff under a, l a little bit of a pressure, and <clears throat> I want you to put that... Um, Caring and loving hat on, please. That you've that's really stored in the back of the closet. Right. That doesn't as come you're trying right. to quit six. As you're trying to quit smoking. <laughs> right. Good luck. <laughs> she came to me and said, "Listen, I told her. I said Dan's going to probably as often as he can start coming in on Fridays. You know, because I because I kind of want I kind of want you to start doing that based on your availability, and so, which will be probably more more often than not. Correct? Yes. Okay. So I told that to her. That didn't go too good. Then she said, well, can you just do, and then she wasn't a bitch about it. She was super cool about it. But she said, can you do me a favor? Because she knows when to work. She knows when to be nice and when mm -hmm. to be mean. And she said, can you do me a favor? 
can you just maybe try to get him out of the studio by like 9, 10, which will make mean that he'll drive a little more responsible to work and that he'll probably pull in right at 930, which won't, won't put the office behind. When he leaves at 920, 925, then he drives very erratically and he gets here and is all, you know, shot out of a shot cannon. Out, shot out of a cannon. And we're automatically, as a group of, you know, workers starting 15 to 20 minutes behind. And, and that doesn't that make, I mean, all for, you know, 10 minutes. It's a 10-minute difference. So can you kind of understand where she's coming from? Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's when only not to fight it. Well, I don't want you to fight it, but can you just understand, you know. I understand. I rather, don't necessarily rather than agree. Take... <laughs> I don't like necessarily going to take orders from her. You're not taking I'm orders not, from her. You know, so you're taking orders right. from me. Okay. Fifty dollars, Greg from Canada, in memory <laughs> of my dog Haley that passed away. And Braden, Braden, fifty dollars, PayPal, happy birthday, Blitz. Now hold on. Happy what birthday. Am, what, about a, what about a dog Haley that passed away? Uh, what? Greg from, from Canada, Canada. fifty dollars, uh, PayPal, in memory of my dog oh, Haley. Oh man, now this is worse. I mean, we're all tore up of our. You know, I had Pookie die. Blitz had Colt die. Dan, I don't think that you've had a dog a dog death in a while, have no, you? It's, well, Jay had his dog die. Right. It's just oh, my dog's takes still a, healthy. <laughs> and takes an out in. I had I, you had you had your father. I had my stepfather. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's been Which a tough. Like it's been know. a tough one. Happy Friday. Anyway, Dan, as 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 your Happy birthday to me. as your boyfriend, yeah. <laughs> as your, <laughs> dying everywhere. Is today your birthday? Sunday. Well, Sunday is Dan's. That's over. I mean, it is uh, Tom Beans slash Nancy uh, Pelosi's. Nancy Pelosi's yeah. with a. Crisp, That's why we're doing a one ninety nine with a crispy check birthday party. Yeah. Have we ordered a cake? The, everything is taken care of. Oh, look at you. Thank you. Because realistically, that kind of... Boy, there's a lot riding on you tonight. You're the... Oh. You are. I, I know. I started prepping on Monday. She boy, brought balloons in. That's why I got your, balloons behind it's me. It's your boyfriend's birthday. Yep. And you're the main DJ. Like, I'm the you're main the, event. The, the, I'm the, the headliner. The, the, you're the headliner. Yep. You come out of a cake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not going to ruin this cake. But Dan, so what I'm saying is, as your boyfriend, your best friend, the leader of the show, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, getting you out of here by 9:10 will, like Dan, when you leave at 9:25, do you not drive really, really quick trying to get there? But I always drive really, really quick. I was going to say, when do you not drive quick? I drive. Uh, yeah, it's very, but I'm an assertive driver. I understand that. <laughs> but you being an assertive driver at 9:15, getting you there at 9:30. It works better for everybody than you being an assertive driver, maybe more assertive, assertive plus, getting there at <laughs> 940, and you're now, you know, at, I mean, you know, you got, you already okay. got, a, you already got, you know, you're already backed up 15, right. and you fight that all day, don't you, to try to get mm, ahead? I usually get caught up by 945. You're so stupid. You're just saying your first two customers you can get caught up. Well, I mean, usually they, you know, they put like two or three people in there at 930 that are post ops. And so, you know, I make those rounds. It takes me, you know, five minutes to check right. on everybody. And then there's no one there till 10. So even if I get there a little late, I'm still sitting on my thumbs for a little bit. So it's it's not a big deal, Bubba. I'll leave it like a quarter after probably. All right. No problem. Is that... You know what? Here's the deal. We're not going to tell you when to leave, but just know that your office is I, it, it, it functions better when you're more on time. And yeah. then. I'm the one that I kind of, the, the reason why you're late is because he was on the Bubba show. And then mm. it kind of gets a little bit of heat for me. Not heat because they all love me. They have to love me or they'll be fired. But <clears throat> but nonetheless, maybe some disdain that they don't want to, some inner disdain that they cannot show. But Bubba, you did your part. You 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 relayed the message. Will you tell yeah, exactly. will, you, will you be my witness and tell I will Naba? be your witness to hey, Naba, I'm gonna, my I'm new gonna, best friend. I'm going to be Naba, and I want you, can, I'm going to be real cynical too, and I'm going to, yeah. I want you to explain to me that Dan, that Bubba did try, okay? Okay, I'm so just So anyway, right? anyway, let's, I just want to let you know, uh, Anna. Yeah, Je but, Jennifer? Uh, yeah. She's just, from like the, she's from the you, valley. Just want to let you, <laughs> just want to let you, know. Valley oh, yeah, she's, oh yeah, she's really calm. And yeah. Polished. I just want to let you know. Yeah. That uh, Dan, um, got here at 945. Oh, he did? Yes. You know what, Jen, yes. let, let me tell you something. Bubba told him to leave at 910. He uh, told him to leave, and Dan refused to leave. Really? Yeah. So Bubba did his part. He really, really tried. Were, but, you, you, know. were you there? Did you see it? Uh, yeah, I was there. Was it on the air? It was on the air. Okay. Yes. Can you get me an air check? Because that fat ass lies a lot. <laughs> sure, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that would be something she said. Oh yeah, yeah. She called me a junkie yesterday when I was on the laughing gas. She goes like, "Holy!" <laughs> Michael. I called you that she's too. Like, she's like, "Holy Michael Jackson!" Won't t- k- k- slow down. I go. I go. Well, first of all, Naba, Naba, whatever the hell your name is. You made up a name. You can't decide what it is. It, yeah. It's, it's your name. It's a hard dude. A. It's, it's a hard A. Naba. No, it's na- Naba. Naba. It was Naba. Is it Naba? Naba's okay. nice. Naba makes more like sense. Anna, and then so it'd be Naba. Mm. So I said, "Listen, Naba." First of all, you guys gave me one for the first ten minutes. I've been sucking on this D. It's not even been turned on. First I know. Of all. I'll give you like a blank yeah. gun. So I'm sitting here <laughs> and I'm telling the merch crick, man, this should be kicking in. I should be getting a little lightheaded. I should be feeling pretty good right now. And nothing. Nothing. And it would have been way better if you acted high and then they came in and by, go. By the way, it's off. Yeah, uh, I'm not a fake. <laughs> I'm so messed I'm not up. a fake higher guy. <laughs> right. Like a guy that smokes a joint and he doesn't really take a big old you know mm-hmm. ripper and then he acts like he's high. Like yeah, Clinton. yeah, like Bill Clinton. Oh, hey, I didn't inhale. Ooh, How wait. do you not inhale? Uh, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I mean, he does. He is a cigar guy. I, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, buddy, they tried. To, Dan, they tried to keep me off the laughing gas, but because I'm somewhat mechanically inclined, mm. and I saw the little specially made wrench for the top of the yep. special, I'm like, bitch! I did, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Yeah, this thing's full tight. I need to loosen it up. Like a baby to a teat. And boy, did I get on it. Mm-hmm. I set fast time. There's no more gas left. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Brandon the Quad. Be hold on, you. Brandon the Quad. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to blow your mind. I'm going to give you some information. I want you to shut your mouth. I'm going to give you some information, and you're going to be like, oh, my God. Bubba really knows what he's talking about, and and you're going to – be probably pretty bummed out as well. More USFL stats? No. <clears throat> God. So, Lee, Lee, the 125 guy, 122, 125, could have been the fifth or sixth guy. We talked about him on the air. When we were talking about the NCAA wrestling tournaments coming last weekend, we talked about you were on the air, and they're like, there's two guys, I think one from Penn State and one from uh, Iowa, that could be like the fifth or sixth or sixth or seventh four-time NCAA champions. Did we not talk about that? Yes, yes we did. Yes, sir. So I, I'm watching. I actually specifically found the on Friday night the NCAA semifinals, and it's Lee versus this guy, Lee, 125-pounder, like 900-0, and 0, never been beaten, three-time NCAA champion. He's just got to beat this stupid guy from, uh, from Purdue who's like the five seed, and no big deal, <clears throat> and then he'll be – he's well on his way. Lee chokes, chokes the biggest choke in NCAA hi- uh, wrestling history – Dan, the guy has never lost. He's a three-time in, champion. In the tournament. And in the he, tournament. Dan, and not only does he lose, he gets it's stuck. It's incredible. Yeah. And his and mom goes viral. His mom goes crazy and snaps her glasses as if <laughs> yeah. somebody told Dan Diaco somebody just hit his brand new uh, uh, pista. Now, yeah. was everybody talking about, was that not one of the biggest chokes in NCAA wrestling history ever? Yes, it, yes it was, because... Oh, a lot of a lot of the people I know around where I live at, they went to bed mad, and and I actually I wasn't surprised that it happened. Why is he has he barely been skating by this year or what? Because because you could just tell that he didn't have that good of a he he he's just that Donovan on top. Man, the move the move like, that this kid made. I don't know if it was like a. Like like it was a full like a half Nelson step over, but it was kind of a freestyle move. Let me find me the Lee verse. I don't know the uh, the one twenty five. I found Did, the mom, but I, I'm, I'm finding the other thing. Here's too. the mom. First off, the Lee's mom. Lee's mom <laughs> has never really, um, you know, like as you as you become a parent of an elite athlete. Now we're talking about you're not the parent of a kid that's playing intramural and maybe scored three or four touchdowns. We're talking about you're the mom of a three-time NCAA champion, soon to be four-time. You know, you're this, and there's only been how many of them now? There's been, there's been five now. Because the guy from Penn State won, right? From Cornell. Yeah, from Cornell. From The guy from Cornell won. So you're yeah. the mom, Dan, of a, um, a guy that's won three NCAA champions. I mean, like, losing's not an option. Right. Your, your kid never loses. He's, you right. know, and so watch, watch what his mom does 
when when her kid loses. The an alternate for the U.S. Olympic judo team. This is her right here. And her glasses did not survive that match. Oh, watch and that's this. Unfortunate. That's unfortunate to see, oh. but this is the what? this is what? the. This She's is what psychotic. Here. Jim, She's so crazy. Much yeah. Here. She oh, is. I mean, that is crazy. Yes. Oh, my God. First Just of because all, your kid loses. One time in college. One time. One time. The guy's one of the well, he greatest got, he got wrestlers stopped. that school's ever seen. One of the He's greatest chokers. Great, a, and a great collegiate career. And his mom's yeah. got to act like, 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 what? What? like a little immature see, oh. bitch. Yeah. This, is the, this, is the, this is what happens here. Look at you, crazy so mom. Stake here. Uh, crazy mom. Just as like, she, works at the, she works at the cancer place where my, my mom goes to get her treatments. So I told my mom she should take her take her a new pair of glasses and say, here, you want these new pair of glasses since you broke yours? Yeah, that's going to go She sees real <laughs> tragedy go every day. Oh, my God. Now, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I want you. I, now, now, Blitz, are you familiar? You're, are you familiar with wrestling? I mean, I'm familiar with it. Right, sure. Right, right. Dan, you I high school wrestled. You, I did you high school, high school wrestled in college for a year. You wrestled in high school. Anna, you you're I'm familiar. actually not really familiar with it at yeah, all. Yeah, but, but you you understand it, yeah. you know like the ground game of jujitsu and yeah, stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, overlap. <laughs> Let me. You're familiar with with folk style. Yeah, folk wrestling. style and the rules. So now watch. Yeah. Now the league guy. There, by the way, it's the last period. Last period. Thirty eight seconds left. Okay. And just to make everyone know, understand that's watching, wh which color is which team? The black is the Iowa, the, the, and, and the guy that wears the No, hold on. Let me just, let me, let me the just black say is this. The, no, the no, loser, no. Right? Yeah, yeah. The black is Iowa. Yeah. The, the guy on his knees, Dan, is the three-time champion. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the guy uh, on top with the red bands around his ankles is the Purdue guy. Gotcha. He's down by two. But they're right now in a neutral position, okay? Because <laughs> Lee started on the bottom, Okay. And so there's 38 seconds to go. All Lee has to do, he, all Lee has to do is just hang on. All Lee basically has to do is just not exactly what happened. He can just literally hang on. He could even take a stall point at this point. Couldn't he, Brandon? Yeah. Can you choke people in wrestling? No. no. Oh, you have to have an arm. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got to have, have an arm. Sorry. So now, 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 now they're in this, they're in this, they're in this neutral position. What Lee should have done, Brandon, is stand up. Exactly, because the only thing a guy does on his knees is, you know, a guy. A guy yeah. oh, but hold on, a guy that's <laughs> right. a guy that's it? this season, a guy that's a three-time NCAA champion in Which the semifinals should be off his freaking knees and away from the guy and not on his knees. And, and really, in a you say it's neutral, but the guy on his knees is a disadvantage. Well, not only that, but he's not deep enough to shoot a double or single. No, he's just sitting there with his head a, down a, on his knees. A, like a waist lock a, is nothing but a recipe for disaster. Exactly, he's like a little yeah. prostitute there. He's got I his mean, arms around the other guy's waist <laughs> and he's on his knees. Now, Brandon, what you am know, I going to do? I mean, you know more about wrestling than we all do, but a guy that's got a waist lock on a guy that's sprawled out. You yeah, are that's, not, that's, that's never good. Dude. Never good. Watch the Lee guy. I mean, watch the the the, the Ramos. Ramos guy, the guy from Purdue. He lowers his hips and sinks in a half, and it's absolutely brilliant. Watch this. Yeah, it's like a cow catcher type of deal type of thing. So he, he he oh yeah. Now this guy he's doing it to isn't some fish, isn't some fourteenth ranked guy from you know, was <clears throat> Green Bay, Wisconsin. <laughs> That's not, this guy's a f one of the greatest of all time. Get, I mean, Brandon, he kind of got stuck in a fish move, did he not? Yep. Like that's like a that's like a the, the cow catcher, like the uh, a little kid could do a cow catcher. Yeah. So watch this now. <laughs> now at this point, now he's screwed because this guy has at least a four point no fall. A four. Yeah. I mean, a, at least well, a four point. At least a four point. Uh, near fall, and that so that puts it at. Well, that's a six-point move. Yeah. So, so at, 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 at any time, if and if Iowa, if the Lee guy gets the riding time, which he would, he would have gotten eight points. It would have been scored had he not gotten pinned. He would have lost eleven to uh, to eight. Right. Yep. Yep. Check this out. Now, meanwhile. He's. This didn't happen to some fish. This is a three-time, nope, nope. three-time NCAA champion getting caught, Dan, with 29 seconds left. And oh my God! Is it an injury to fall it out after he lost? He what? 
He yeah. injured to fall out of the tournament after he lost. Yeah, he, he he finished sixth. He he uh he forfeited every match after this. He didn't he didn't wrestle anymore. Oh, he didn't go to the wrestlebacks. Nope. This. I think he was a sore loser. Kind now, of. Oh, now, definitely. Now. I mean, look at his yeah, I mean, look at his mom. Yeah. Now, this was his last year eligibility too. And he's screwed now because <laughs> right now when the guy's side hipping him, the guy can't get his. His, he can't get the pin because the guy, uh, the guy from Iowa can lift his, you know, lift his arm up and keep his shoulders off the mat. But then the guy from Purdue takes it to the next level. He steps over the body and goes chest to chest, and you're done. You're done. Watch. Mm-hmm. Yep. He's looking for the fall. If he just holds him yeah, here, he's, on it. he's going to pull one of the biggest upsets in NCAA wrestling. This is the bit now, Brandon. You know NCAA wrestling more than I do. I've been wanting to talk about this <laughs> since, and I, but I was going to wait for you to call in. Is this arguably one of the biggest upsets ever? Besides Dan Gable losing his last match in the in the seventies. Yeah, but hold yeah. on, Dan Gable didn't get pinned in his last match. He lost by points. Am I right? Yeah, he lost by two points. I mean, losing by two points is one thing. Getting yeah. stuck yeah. is a whole nother level of chokeness, is it not? No, now, 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 Dan, watch this Purdue guy. He's like, oh, you know what? If I step over, I can get I can get chest to chest pressure, which is more evenly proportioned. Watch this. One would have expected this. Oh my! Now, he, if he just stays to the side here, he's good. He's mm-hmm. he's winning this thing because they yeah. haven't even they haven't even given the near fall points yet. It's seven to seven, and he hasn't even awarded the four near fall near fall points. Goodness, he's not going to get off his back. Now watch the watch the Purdue guy. Watch this. Steps over. Now now you're done. You're done. Ready? Ready? Bam! Bam! What it do? That's why wrestling's one of the most fun sports to watch because you never know what's gonna happen. Oh yeah! This guy stud. But that, by the way, Ramos went on to choke. He, he went on to choke in the finals. Got yeah. he, he, he lost in the finals. He, 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 didn't he lose in the finals? Yeah, he did. To the guy from so Cornell. Guy from, from, from Princeton. From Princeton, yeah. Finals. Yeah. I've never seen but, anything but like this. What I was, what I, what, what I was calling about is, I want to say happy birthday to the Blitz, but my mom will be 55 tomorrow. Your mom's going to be 55 tomorrow. Oh, wow. Happy birthday. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Hold on here. Hold on. Yeah. Is on yeah. Their feet. Now, is all of Iowa talking about this? Like, is this like, you know, because Iowa, yeah. all there is is that's all you guys got is wrestling, period. Yeah. Mama's not happy. I'm spending a little bit of football. <laughs> hey, well, no, but, but I do have season tickets, so I go to every. Man, Brandon, I wish we could install a landline into you or I something. Know. <laughs> yeah. You got the worst cell phone ever. And just because you're, you know, you're banned in the quad, I let it, I let it fly. But the average guy driving on down the road, I would have been gone, you know, years ago. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we're on the we're on the edge of town, and the towers are very far away. Yeah. <clears throat> have you yeah. already? Uh, have you already? We'll mas- send Todd you up there to put a new tower. Have you already there. masturbated today? N- nope. Why? What a sore losing and at the end of the, bitch. At the end of the day, Brandon, you know he would have breezed through the wrestlebacks and gotten third. You know right. he would have. Yeah, and, and plus, well, we did get second place, but the, if we would have been, like, in third place trying to get team points to get back in second, that would have really screwed us Yeah, over. I mean, kind of screwed the team over. I mean, it wasn't even close. I mean, first of all, Penn State, you guys, nobody had a chance against Penn yeah, they, State. They dominated the but I mean, there was such a dis- there was such a difference between second and third that P- that Iowa really didn't need his wrestleback points to get to a secure second. But it, let's say that it would have been a little bit tighter between first or second or second and third, and they could have used those points. Yeah. You know, Iowa could. I mean, he really screwed his team. Yeah, they say it was because he had bad knees, but I think it's because of the eagle. Bad was knees, bitch! All he had to do was stand up. Even if the guy gets a two-point takedown on him, 
that that puts it that puts it seven to uh, to six, and Lee had the one point riding time. Now 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 yeah. Lee wins. You know uh, the only thing Lee that cannot happen is he can't let the guy get a near fall on him, let alone pin, pinned. let alone pinned. Right. Yeah, First comes pin. the near fall before the pin. You you know you right. have to have the near fall to yeah. get the pin. I mean, what a choke. Dan Gable, when he lost his last match to be a four-timer, didn't get stuck. Yeah, that, I mean, that getting stu- isn't getting stuck like the ultimate fish move ever? Well, especially when, you, when you're do- when you're dominant and you get stuck in the move, when you get stuck like that. Yeah, some, some real crazy exotic move that nobody can ever, that you can literally only get a fish in. Most really experienced guys don't even ever get caught in that move. That's why you never see it. Right. Well, most guys aren't is- trying to win from their knees. I need to get Eric Grahalis on. I'm going to call him this weekend and see if he'll come on on Monday and, and let me know how much how much this guy fished out. <laughs> he fished out real bad. He should have been in the carp pond. Yeah. Yeah, he should have been should have been in the carp pond. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you one thing, man. Cornell's got one hell of a. I mean, you who would think Cornell, which is where Nick did did his undergrad. Yes. Cornell. They're team. They they're like, they were third or fourth, weren't they? Third. Third. They're like a. Uh, I think they won it a few years back, didn't they, Brandon? No, they they got second. They got second one year. No, does a team like that? Do they have what you call fish? Like, is there any fish on no. that team? No. I mean, a fish. <clears throat> I mean, there's. If we you're, have fish if, on a J. If you're if you're making varsity on the collegiate level, you're not a fish. Oh, okay. So yeah, but fish fish is just kind of are you like a guppy? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> What? Like fish is just like kind of a jobber, like in high school. Kind yeah, of. Yeah, a bad get, I mean, yeah, like okay. it's a fish is a bad and, 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 a a bad ba- and a good wrestler, mm. a really good wrestler, could have a fish moment. Right. That's yeah. what the, this was. Like yeah, Lee's not a fish, but he he but got he, filleted. Right. Exactly. He got caught on a fish type deal. Oh. Yeah. But like but, Gordon, because usually Gordon in Division Fisher. One, they're all, the the backups are like two or three times state champions. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I mean Eric Grahalis went to Michigan. He was a four-time state champion, like three hundred and fifty and zero, and he never won the NCAA's. He was, I think, a two-time All-American, and that's it. It's yeah. hard, man. It's, that's I mean, it's level. a whole other level. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Brandon. The quad. Anything else? Wanted to tell everybody. I wanted to tell Blitz and well, Hey, but hold on. W- were you impressed that I knew this information? Yes, but I knew you. But I knew you'd be watching it since I called in and told you that it was on TV. I Man, I, 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 there was a bunch of like, March Madness. It was early on in the tournament, Lummy, mm-hmm. where, like, you know, I think the only upset was Purdue got beat by no, no name university. Yeah, like, Dickerson. yeah, that was really the. I mean, there was a couple other well, upsets. Princeton up, uh, upset too. FAU's. But FAU still But, but yeah, NCAA. That coach is from Terre Haute, in, Indiana. Who? The, the FAU coach. The it's, FAU, it's a non-team in the world, is it's already a, yeah. in the Elite Eight. Yeah, he was. In, he's a number. Was a number it Florida nine. Atlantic? Yeah, Florida yeah. Atlantic. And their Owls. coach is from Terre Haute, Indiana. Yeah, Terre Haute. Thank you, Brandon. Happy birthday to your mom too. Yeah. All right, B. We got. We got to go. Right. Love you. Bye. It's, it's right. Eastern Eastern Green. Well, listen. The NCAA wrestling men's wrestling tournament was only Friday and Saturday. I missed Saturday. So March Madness. I don't even really start watching it till about now. Till about the Elite Sixteen. Yeah, that's it's now. crazy. The first weekend is so many games. Yeah, I can't even keep up with them. Yeah, so now, now there's yeah. Now, so now there's eight left. No, no, we're in sixteen. They're in sixteen. Yeah, they started uh, yesterday. I thought you said that the FAU made it to the Elite Eight because they won their game yesterday. Yeah, they, oh. play, they started yesterday. Who they you play s- yesterday? Uh, Tennessee, which was the four seed, um, and, and they were what was uh, FAU nine, nine, and so now FAU. Where's that located? The Boca Raton. Great Florida Howard Atlantic Snellenberg- University. Yeah, great <clears throat> Howard Snellenberger, football coach. Oh, yeah. They've been in the NCAA tournament twice in the last 30 years. Just the tournament. Just the tournament. They probably never made it past, you know, no. 32. I think nope. the last time they were in it, they uh, lost in the first round. Yes. Yeah. Bunch and, of fish. Is IU, did IU get beat? Yeah, IU got beat by Miami in the f- uh, second round. Really? Yeah. Was the biggest choke, though, the Purdue loss? Oh, of course. I mean, Fair Dickinson wasn't even. They didn't totally, win. He totally fished Fair, out. Fair Dinkum. Fairfield Dickinson or something like that. Fairfield Dickerson. They actually didn't even win their conference championship. The, they lost in the conference championship, but the team that they they lost to wasn't eligible to uh, make it into the bracket. Tara just... was so mad on Saturday night when we took my mom to the. Why? Because she fished out? Because, no, she goes to. Oh. She's a Purdue fan. She's a graduate uh, from. She's a Purdue. Uh, mm. <clears throat> she's, she's Purdue. 
Hmm. And she watched it and like was sick to her stomach. I'm like, man, I don't know. Come on, I guys. Had, I mean, I mean I you went to college 20 years ago. Who cares? Yeah, well, you know, you pull for your team. Yeah, but to make, it, you to not, make yourself on. physically do you sick. Not yeah, pull for, do you not pull for Duke? Yeah, when they lose, I'm like, eh. I mean, she wasn't. Phys- I shouldn't say she was physically sick. She was just mad. She's but, like, they totally choked, and the bi- they looked like they were just totally unprepared. And the big guy, look, what, who was usually dominant, looked like he was lazy, and the whole nine yards. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, when people get all like hell bent over college sports, I'm like, guys, I mean, come you on. actually hated Duke, did you not? I I liked Duke. I when I was there, I didn't appreciate how lucky I was to be there, and I still root for them in foot and football and basketball. I know, but, but hold on, you didn't. You were not nearly. As popular and over at Duke as you were Florida. No, because you're just a dumbass. My under, last because all the basketball players will roam around. They're King Kong at Duke, are they not? Yeah, but there was like seven of them, and so I, I was number eight. And in my senior year, I did great. You know, I had, I had I had a really, really, really fantastic senior year at Duke. I, it was awesome. Did you ever have any, like who was the hottest chick you ever dated at Duke? Uh, Caroline is it Sumo Teal and Caroline Kasky. Hot. Oh. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Top three. Crazy, all, though? Both of them are in the top three. Top three are crazy, too? Both of them are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Yeah. All hot chicks are, yeah. are crazy. The, the hot crazy are, matrix. The hottest are. Yeah. The hottest are, right. Mediocre yes. chicks are okay. They're normal. Mediocre chicks might be actually the ones that are best for you. They are. But we go <laughs> cra- But the crazy bitches... One, get us in trouble, and two, we go after them. I know. it's. it's but that problem. mediocre girl on the side, man, she's the best ever. She takes care of you. Mm. Hold on yards. She's, gonna, she's not going to hold you up at gunpoint. No. No. no the hot ones do. <laughs> like, like the Austin Wolf guy. She's not, gonna, she's not going to slice your elbow wide open and then have makeup yeah. sex because you don't file charges. That's <laughs> awesome. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So jealous. Here we go. TikTok facing tough TikTok. questions from lawmakers today during an office. I'm so over this. This is such a dog and pony show. TikTok said it's going to bring all of its stuff over here to Operation Texas Yippio, and they're going to be based out of <clears throat> the American version is going to be on U.S. soil, ran by U.S. people, U.S. such as U.S. Americans. <laughs> and so what's the big deal? Tense hearing about the There's safety. And- Zuckerberg, believe him. Zuckerberg, you know, he's collecting your data. Uh, Elon's uh, uh, collecting your data. Insta, Google, Bill Gates, they're all collecting your and data. And you don't think any of them share it with any company that has any kind of Chinese ownership? Come on, Please. guys. Everybody's owned Come by on, Chinese. man, like our president would say. Popular social media app. Come on, man. Members of both parties grilled Shochu about the company's ties to China Shochu. and harmful content pushed on children. The future of TikTok here in the United States, along with its 150 million U.S. users, remains up in the air with the Biden administration threatening to I mean think about this one third of, of our of our population has or uses a TikTok it's amazing isn't it one how yeah. third. Is? if you take that away yeah you, you thought the George you... Floyd riots were bad just yeah. wait till you take away TikTok yeah all these hot bitches in booty shorts and yoga pants protesting TikTok outrageous. I can't get that I'm gonna can't dance that, about it I can't get that fast enough yeah. hey Blitz what are you doing tonight hey let's go down to the TikTok protest <laughs> a bunch yeah. of hot bitches down there yeah. mad about TikTok we'll 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 we'll, uh, we'll film videos. them and put it on our YouTube channel <laughs> the whole TikTok rally the entire thing a total combined IQ of maybe 100 sure that's great and we love dumb hot chicks yeah, yeah please dumb crazy hot chicks 61% of Americans support that ban 61 per, yeah yeah 61% yep. of Americans that yeah, come on 61% the other of the such as US Americans say that they propose a band among those who've heard about TikTok. A yeah. lot of people don't even CBS know. News is Nicole Killian was at the hearing, and she's going to start us off tonight from Capitol Hill. Good evening. I should, That's have, a tainted I should, pool. I should have Jane Janie Cake start a TikTok. Good evening, Nora. This was a grueling hearing that lasted. It wasn't more than- grueling. Kind of was. Five yeah, it hours was. As TikTok five CEO hours. God damn. In his first appearance on Capitol Hill. So, Baba, what? We Here's do- a theory that I just saw that makes sense to me. Do you think these American companies like Zuckerberg's Facebook and Instagram and TikTok are combining forces to force, I mean, I'm sorry, um, and Twitter are combining forces and strengths to try to chase TikTok, who is a competitor, out? It's a, different kind by, of, it's a whole different kind of platform, though. Well, I understand that, but there's there's absolutely people, you know, 
TikTok is crushing Facebook. Facebook is struggling. No one cares about Facebook anymore. Yeah, Facebook it's is becoming for baby. a boomer. It's yeah, becoming it's, a boomer it's thing. But you know what? It's advertising. Is a massive amount of the population. I know, but it's for Arlene and Janie cakes. It really is becoming <laughs> okay. that. It, the young kids don't do Facebook much no, anymore. No, not at all. They have Instagram and TikTok. In fact, young kids like your daughter. She'll right. if you go f- Facebook, they laugh at you. She doesn't have it. Just no, no, no. I told Instagram. you they they laugh yeah. at you. Yes. They're like, oh, yes. God, that guy's eighty. Yep. Yeah. Kind of like my AOL account. Could mm-hmm. Facebook make something like a TikTok then? Then it's, then it's Facebook TikTok. No, it's not. Just, it's not it's Facebook. It's, it's not TikTok. Instagram. That's called Instagram. Yeah, right. Instagram's owned by Meta. Well, then, but then why did Instagram not is not as popular as TikTok? Or I think is, it is. I think it it's is. more no, popular. No, 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 no. They're, they're comparable in popularity. I don't know the exact numbers of which one's more popular, right. but I do understand that TikTok is competing with Instagram. So I can so see where some of these Facebook politicians. Facebook them out. Well, yeah, you can see where Meta, right. you know, would be like, listen, we got to get, t- if we got TikTok out of here, these 150s don't have a lot of places to go that are TikTok-like, right. and they're be... going to come right over here to Instagram. Exactly. Now, More most of them already Insta. have Instagram. Most of them have both. But, but they go back and forth between the two, but then suddenly if one entity is dead, then all right. of your time is going right. to be on Instagram. Because they are right. competing for attention. They're yes. uh, eyes, competing for eye time. time. Which, yeah. which, yeah. which at the end time. of the day, then... If Instagram has less competition, that's better. I mean, what are they in the business? They're in the business to sell advertising and make money and mm-hmm. click throughs and things right. like that and grow. Well, now they're like, listen, you know what? The time spent watching our, uh, you know, Instagram people have now spent double the amount of time on Instagram because they cannot split it between that and TikTok. Correct. And now you're getting better advertisers, better advertising rates, yeah. the whole nine yards. They're the ones that are probably behind this. Zuckerberg, this is probably, should be called the Zuckerberg bill. It may be. It may be. You know this 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 false this this false outrage. This. Have, Blitz haven't the most of the people. Fake outrage. Hold on, most of I think there are the the most Congress. I think the most people from I think California. Mm. There were more people from California, politicians from California that I think there were three from California that spoke. I, th- I think uh, the majority of this uh, is uh, Republican. Yeah, oh, for sure. I understand, but I, the, of the people that spoke yesterday, I know one guy was from like North Carolina. I remember, he sounded like Hank Hill. Yeah. <clears throat> and then we had some. Uh, oh, uh, that we watched. You mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, because a lot are the spoke. You know, the other thing is they want to show the Republicans attacking him, so that when you're mad at Congress, you blame, for you blame TikTok, the Republicans. You blame the Republicans. But the Democrats are all signing on, uh, all signing on. I think this this is a bipartisan effort. I mean, I I don't think this is a one way or the other. No, it's not. But I would say the Republicans are more hawkish, uh, you know, towards China. Embrace American values. From the beginning, Shozi Chu, the CEO of the most downloaded app in the past two years, faced intense scrutiny. My time is up, and if this committee gets its way, TikTok's time is up. Hold on, let's see. TikTok's time. Hold on, let's just see if indeed Dan's theory, or maybe Blitz's theory, whoever, that they show more Republicans fighting this than Democrats. Right now, we're at one... Well, they're leading the charge. I understand. Oh, uh, oh they are? Yeah. The Republicans are, for sure. They're the majority. So I think it's 28-23 or something like that. The TikTok executive tried to reassure lawmakers with a commitment to safety. There are more than 150 million Americans who love our platform, and we know we have a responsibility to protect them. And he insisted the video sharing platform is not an arm of the Chinese government, despite being owned by parent company ByteDance, based in Beijing. Has ByteDance... Republican Florida. Republican, who, what was the other guy from? Iowa or something? Texas. Texas. We got a Republican from Florida and Republican from Texas. Citizens. I don't think that spying is the right way to describe it. Chu said the company is working to build a firewall dubbed Project Texas to store and protect user data in the U.S. I have seen no evidence that the Chinese government has access to that data. I find that actually preposterous. Uh, Democrat, Democrat, California. Speakers also pressed Chu on harmful content aimed at younger users, from buying drugs on the app to dangers of some TikTok challenges and videos promoting eating disorders and suicidal behavior. (laughs) Man, let me... Turtles. Puts a TikTok of me flipping at the chili bowl, and we get like a user ban, mm-hmm. you know, <clears throat> YPO, but yes. we, you can, you, you know, suicide and other things, no big deal. Nope. Our kids are at risk. Democrat Minnesota. So, so far, so far they're kind of giving us a balance to CBS's credit. They're giving us a balance, two right? Two. We're at 2-2 two two right now. On your platform. 
The Nazca family attended the hearing. Their 16-year-old son died by suicide after viewing disturbing videos served up on the platform. I, would I mean, couldn't they uh, show just as many kids that killed themselves from Facebook? Yes. yes. Or Instagram. Yes. Or like Twitter. Harassing yes. text messages from friends. Like. Right. Remember the one bitch from Massachusetts that told her boyfriend he was in the parking yeah. lot of Home Depot with a generator? She's like, do like, it. You do won't. It. You're a pussy. You won't do it. And I think she's serving. I think she's. I think it's only she, like two years or something. Still, only like. You go do two years in, in, in prison. It's Get better than me. a lifetime. Stopping um, of, of promoting these types of videos that my son was getting. President Biden has banned the app on government devices along with at least two dozen states. Does this put TikTok closer? To, oh, so two dozen states have banned this as well? For government. For, yeah. Oh, employees. for government employees. Yep. And a lot of the EU countries have as well. Do a complete ban. Absolutely. I think it was pretty clear that the Congress is unified uh, in terms of opposing TikTok. Well, I think TikTok's done. It's done. It's pretty unusual. They've been saying that for two years. And it's not going story. anywhere. It's never gone this far. Yeah. No. Well, <clears throat> nope. It's never gone. It's never gone this far. This is when they start putting you on the on the on the tracks. They're TikTok they're they're gonna just nation. they're just going to shout and scream and nothing's gonna happen. Why they're never gonna ban tonight. it. The company accused the House panel of political grandstanding and warned a ban could violate the First Amendment and hurt the livelihoods of millions of its users. Nora. Yeah, it's so interesting as Utah today became the first state in the country to restrict how and when kids can use social media. These stories were going to... Hold on. Utah came up with a law mm -hmm. yeah. about kids? Mm -hmm. So many hours per day. <clears throat> like, and do they, do, like, do you have to, you have to re like, register your yep. device? Mm -hmm. and then, parents have to sign off on it. Did we get that story? No, I didn't. Try to find that for me, Anna. Yeah. We'll yeah. come back with that if we could. <laughs> Radio Network will return after this. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Washington Post always fucked oh. up. Oh, maybe not. Oh, no, they did. Fuck you, Washington Post. Dan, yes, sir. you got a sign right here, buddy. Is it your This flag. Oh, yeah. There's no weird to be terminated with bombing. Oh, well, well, you need to be right there. Top, top me up, Ron Willie. All right, Bubba, it's set. It's set, it's set. Thank you. Thank it's you. set, it's set. Thank you, bro. Also, uh... Thank you. If you just want to read that, and then you do whatever you want. Last message. The last one. Okay, perfect. Just letting you know. Thank you, Honor. I'm not going to do it. Thank you, Honor. Home sauce. Yep. Right here. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. You need to come up there? No. So. Oh. Okay. I must just take that one. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. know? Yeah. That's like 1955. Oh. If we want to get. It's bigger. I guess bigger is not always better. I'm going through your instructions here. Thank you. Um, is it Doug C? Uh, not 50, I'd say. 40, 50, that was the guess. You might guess great from Canada. Thank you for the 50. Sorry about your, your pup. Probably sucks. Don't lose one. Good morning, 25. Is the biggest nurse to say in Redneck 25. Good morning. What's up? I gotta call you the police. 
Corral. Who? Bam, my boy. West Tampa Mike. See, there you go. You figured it out. You got on. Welcome to the Rumble. For what? They killed a contractor and injured. Oh, I didn't see that. In Syria. Oh, really? So then he bombed them. Really? It's not really making much news. No. Biden's a tough guy. Sure did. It's a tease. Hmm? No, I'm saying it's not making, it's not making much news, which is weird. Cause you would know. think they'd blow it up because they're trying to make him a tough guy. Yeah. You know, because he shot down those big balloons. But you did, like he's that, a tough guy. He's like, hey, he's we're fan TikTok and shut down the balloons. It, we were telling because an American got killed, but it's like nothing. Because I, I only found out someone said it in chat, and I looked it up. And I didn't hear anything about it. Was it. Kind Zero. Of, it was kind of buried. Zero. But now people are going to say I'm, well, whatever, but it, it is the number of sort of Fox. But when I went on CNN and MSNBC, I couldn't find it. Hmm. Surprised they haven't given Joe Biden a Nobel Peace Prize already. Yeah. You want a DDP for life? I mean, I'm not hating on Trump either or anything, but did you see him talk on the teleprompter the other day? Mm -hmm. He's like, let me start over. The county and country thing. He's struggling. What's up, Big Lauren? Like, you can see, as, I mean, are they giving, like, I mean, in your opinion, as they position. Are they giving him something? Because some days he just looks like a, a million bucks. He's on all kinds of stuff. Aged Ward, what's up? Did you send me um, Romina's number when you get a chance? Mm-hmm. Okay. DJ Humdog Millionaire. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. That was funny. What's this new fungal infection deal? Exactly, What's up, Dr. Drew and Iron Maker? What's up? Big. Dr. Dreidel. Big Mathoc. Sister Sissin Redneck, good morning, Dr. Match. Yeah. Yes. Sister Girl Tease. I believe Dan's on the top. Group of Lips. But Moderna needs to be bailed out about. When he was here. Blitz is the man. Jake Papa. 850. What's up, Cervix Bruiser? I love that name. Thank you, Canada Mark. Oh, Canada. DDP, C. King. Unity, good morning. Tonight on Rumble, have we hit 2,000 and all today on Rumble? No, we got we, we 1,700. Been, yeah, we we've been in uh, 17, 1,800. We're getting there. Uh, tonight on Rumble at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, DJ Hum Sauce, horrible name. Great skills, hopefully. Yeah, we'll make her okay. debut on Bubba 199. We will have the likes of Big Red, his wife, Creatine Travis, just off the top of my head, both Nashes. Their young boy, Mitch, Susan Poitras, uh, Heather Wiz. Tease. Tease. I think Mar Mar uh, Guatemala. Maria, was it Maria Guatemala? Oh, yeah. We yes. need to talk about that pick that was posted. And did, you, yeah, did, did, you, did you mention Mike Bellagio? Mike Bellagio. Well, uh, yeah, creatine Travis oh, Mike okay. Bellagio. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, he's vice so president of uh, Target. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Sam. I may have missed a few, but nonetheless, uh, a, 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 a huge house tonight. Oh, and Maybe even Dan's right. wife by herself, uh, Romina. Wine time. Woo! <laughs> It's going to be an interesting vibe because we've never done it this way. We've never had a, a, a live DJ on 
the stage where we're piping the music through Rumble and various other places and also through the room as well. It's kind of an experiment. It'll be yeah, a lot of testing will be going on tonight. Yeah. Anna, you uh just I think Blitz may have told you, but I'd like to just reiterate, I need you here at seven thirty. Yeah, I was planning on being here at seven. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and I'll get here about seven thirty just so we can just do like maybe fifteen minutes yep. of a little run dress th- rehearsal. A little dress rehearsal run through, Willie. We're undressed. Might be able to do it for a minute right, right after the show if you got a second, Bubba. Oh yeah, we can yeah, do that. We could do. Point. We could Perhaps. actually do if we did that, Anna. Then you wouldn't even have to be. I'm still gonna get here around seven. Yeah, but that way we can figure out a couple of things going cool. forward. Perfect. Cool. So that's tonight, cool. uh, Bubba cool. one ninety nine. No, I'm not familiar with the pic. I heard you guys I, saying I, something I, about a Maria Guatemalan picture. I can only oh, text. Walk it up there. Walk, okay. walk it up there. I want to hear this one. Now is this? This is Maria Guatemala, the girl, the 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 Bubba Army girl. Now, Bubba, say it in unison with me. Wow. God damn. That's her. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's for no for. Daddy like. That's her. <laughs> the girl that's gonna be here tonight. Yeah. Okay. That's her. Yes, yeah, her. I God mean, damn. That, if that face matches that ass, then that's that's her. Wow. <laughs> that face fetches that ass. That's her. What I'm saying that's is, funny. if that ass is attached to the face, I know what Marita Guatemalan's face looked like. So, because she was a barp, and she kind of got she kind of got screwed out of the. I'm not hope the girl that won the Diaco contest doesn't get mad at me, but Marita Maria Guatemalan was winning it hands down, and then all of a sudden, I think the girl went and uh, got a hold of Blitz and got an Indian click farm. And then, like, out of nowhere, she won. Mm -hmm. So Maria Guatemalan got a hold of me. I'm like, yeah, you know. But if you were like a hot chick, you would be living the life of a billionaire right now. You'd have everyone so you'd be on the front page of Twitch. You'd be you mm-hmm. would be a billionaire. Oh yeah, you'd be better than Kardashian as far as financial. And one if of the biggest. Had a, if you just had a V. One of the one <laughs> of the biggest arguments that Fabrizi and I got into was when we own scene together. Okay, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I wanted to make it. It was always a line to get in, and we always, you know, we always gamed the system by having, like, as soon as some hot chicks would walk in, you know, we'd automatically rush them right to the front of the line and get get them run on in. That's a good marketing strategy. That's, that's, like, all my door guys had, you know, always had, like, a black, like, black jackets on with black pants, and then we had, like, this big red stanchion. And, you know, when a club's new, for, like, the first three or four months, you you get that line factor where there's actually a line to get in, Mm -hmm. and you can kind of be... Studio 51-ish where you kind of 54. pick and choose. Yeah, stu- yeah, Studio 54-ish where you can kind of pick and choose. Now, what we did have, that, like when Evan Longoria used to come and some of the Rays used to come after the ball games, we had this warehouse right behind scene that was literally like, um, oh, my God, it was like, uh, it was, you, well, you could put, you could park 25 cars in there. Right. And so, and it kind of came with, I think it was like maybe four or five hundred bucks a month to rent because the same person that owned our building owned that warehouse and there was nothing to do. They didn't have anything use for it. So we would like if you're ultra, ultra VIP, we would have you park back there in the in the warehouse. And then there was a secret door that got you into the club yep. from there. Oh, and all the all the celebrities loved that idea. Yeah, it was cool. So. I came up with this eye and we're sitting in Fabrizi's office one day. I go, Fabrizi, because I was on the radio and I could I could really advertise what we were doing at scene, you know, ladies night, hospitality night, you know, blah, 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 blah. Mm. And um, I said, Fabrizi, let's on Fridays and Saturdays, let's have a promotion where we pay all girls get in free. All, all girls. All girls okay. get in free. Yep. And the hotter you are, the more will pay you. Pay you? <clears throat> and it's from it's from zero to ten dollars. So if you're a ten, 
You, you get a ten bucks. You you walk in and we give you a ten dollar bill. Now you set aside like you know a thousand bucks. Uh, you, you set aside like a thousand bucks, but you got your door guy out there or somebody. And when a girl walks up, you have a girl. You specifically have a line for girls only. Mm-hmm. And you literally, as they're walking in, you give them a couple bucks or not. I mean, you know, <clears throat> twos would get two bucks. <laughs> But what you know, a horrible way fi- to start your night. Fi- fives <laughs> would get five. But I mean, you know, oh, no. you, you know what? what hey guys, I got a dollar walking in. <laughs> but I mean, if <laughs> every, I got ten. <laughs> and ten walking out. But, but still, but still, I mean, and he was like, "Well, oh my God, I'd be like, but it's gonna be a gimmick where, like, I mean, Anna, like, it, let's say you walked in and a guy gave you six bucks. I will happily take a six. And so okay, yeah. even as mm-hmm. as bad as you think it is because you didn't get eight. You got your first nah. drinks paid for. But how yeah. many? How many of those fours think there are nine? Yeah, true. Yeah. That's exactly what Fabrizio said. Yeah. What if you get a big girl that didn't, you know, that you told just to give her a dollar? Mm-hmm. Now she's got a chip on her shoulder, and she's never coming back because we think that she. Well, you know what? You um, just give her ma- chicken nuggets. Ma'am, ma'am, excuse me. Uh, you owe me two dollars. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> those are not two dollars paid for. And, oh man. And, and my and my <laughs> idea, my you. my idea, uh, uh, Dan to to Richard was yeah, good. The girl that I need, you know, the, the ugly ones we don't want in there, and so then, but, them. so but if you're Anna, if you're a, yeah. if you're a, you know, eight or nine or ten, and every time you go there, we pay you eight or nine bucks to get in. Where are you gonna go? There every time. Yeah, because and then what does that create? A whole bunch of hot chicks, right? Yeah, yes. but you're gonna do that forever. Like, no, no. What about would, when you stop paying and then? Well, I mean, your clubs only have a certain uh, promotion. promotion. It's, a, it's a promotion. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a promotion. I, I get you. I get you. It's it's you know to get people. Hot the, I don't know what I would call it. I would have tried to actually sit down and try to think of a name. Yeah. You know how hot are you Fridays or just whatever, and you know, I I Richard shot it down. What, what was you, his reasoning? Just because it costs extra money, or no, no, just because it's discriminatory, and uh, I'm, I'm like, oh, life is discriminatory. Mm-hmm. No, for real. Bubba breaking it down and, with the facts. And he's like, I go like, okay, let's say we don't pay girls to get in. The hottest chicks, they're not paying for drinks anyway, anyway, because all guys are paying for their drinks. Right. So it all evens out in the wash anyway. The hot ones end up getting their asses kit, kissed and their drinks paid for. And the and the uglier girls are in the corner wishing they could get their drinks paid for, you know, long, uh, ordering, you know, Miller Lights. <laughs> I don't know. I think it would be a great idea. You might ruffle a few feathers. Dan, Dan, Dan how, cool, on that. how cool would it be to be like, hey, Dan, we're going to this new club, and supposedly they pay the hottest chicks. They give them a $10 bill. Uh, it's the way <laughs> I would run my club, right? Today. Today I would do that now. Yeah. yeah. And, and fight me on it, because ugly is not a protected class. <laughs> And that's Open that would, season and Dan, on ugly. Dan, you could do your you could do your commercials just like that. Yeah. Come to Club Diaco where only the most beautiful people hang out because ugly isn't a protected class. And not only do girls get in for free, <laughs> but I will pay you based on how hot you are. Yep. That's how your commercial goes. And, 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 every, and, as, and as offensive as it is, it's it legal. would be like it would people would just it, that's all people would talk yeah, about. But here's, it's legal. Here's the, here's the deal. A lot of times, not all girls, but a lot of girls work in packs. So you, if you have one fat friend and you're like, "Come on, Cindy, you you look great, everything's okay," and she gets a dollar going in, you know, you might piss off her whole group of eight, and they're out of there. You know what I mean? Weird. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Back. Then they can take that well, annoying chicken lever. If home I'm the other weekend. seven, I'm be like, "Hey guys, let's not invite Cindy to scene tonight because uh, she's bringing the party I down." I don't know. <clears throat> and uh, let her be fat and go to the other place across the street. Yeah, because ugly ain't protected. Hot dogs stand next door. Yeah, she can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a food truck. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> See you <laughs> for four hours. Freezy, listen. Let's get uh, start. Uh, uh, start uh, get, buy a couple food, a uh, couple of hot dog vending uh, things. <laughs> food trucks. <laughs> and the big girls get free hot dogs. There you go. Right. And you could, what you could do? <laughs> if you is, score you can, under a five, you get a free hot dog at the hot dog. And you cart. could give girls a dollar for every time they order a drink. You probably. I mean, there's oh. so many different yeah. ways. Here's Giving women dollar, money. Baby. G- women getting money. Women love money. Oh, they do. They and love. they hate digging into their wallets. <clears throat> yes. Women are the tightest. <laughs> Listen, yes. screw all the stereotypes of people, that ethnicities and groups of people that are supposedly tightwads. I'll, I'll break it down right now. Women are tightwads. Yep. 
Well, what? especially with the hot ones, when you never have to pay and Dude, then, then you, you do, refuse to. you're right. just like, this right. is unacceptable. So if you're a hot chick and they paid mm-hmm. you, no pockets. T- and they pay you and they paid you ten bucks to get in because you're a ten, right? And then every time you got a drink, we gave you a dollar back <laughs> on your drink. <laughs> You're That's like, awesome. I mean, as that 10, are you going to any other club ever? No, no. man. I'm getting paid to drink, bitch. You're like, hold on, man. I got 10 bucks and every drink. And you maybe we even do free drinks. Free drinks <laughs> plus you get a dollar back. No, you get but they're dollar not the ones buying drink. the drinks, but, but hold on, though. Here's, yeah, that's true. Matter. They're not going up and, and ordering drinks. It's the guys that are getting the, the bottle service so buying them drinks. It, you need to give them money back? Yeah. No, no. The, the guys guy, still pay. No, the but guys if a girl need comes up single and orders a drink, it's like, here's your drink, oh, no see, charge, and here's a dollar. Oh, I see. You cute little... Bunny rabbit, you. So then yeah. Just no guys will buy drinks. Exactly. Just tell the chicks to go buy them. Exactly. Then you want the guys to pay money. Catch a guy doing that. Hey, you kick him out there's on the some, street. There's there, blitz. There's some definite flaws that well, we're gonna have to work you know, through I here. I mean, the hot chicks. You know, you give them the ten dollars. You only have, allow them one free drink, and then obviously the guys are gonna be in there, and they're gonna start buying them the drinks because the girl's yeah. gonna have her one drink. Plus the girl, go, I need a drink, and there's guys gonna. Plus the girl, I mean, no drinks more than ten bucks, right? This is what you do. You have like a glass of champagne give them a glass of champagne walking in the door and that's what i need to do now they already have a drink in their hand they're happy they're already getting a little loosey-goosey and then you just let it let it eat from there that that happened to me one time when i went to a club in san diego and it was it was fabulous you walk in and and you're fancy you got that you got that little flute they hand you one of those little i got a little flute yeah you're walking made of real glass i was feeling good feeling good (laughs) feeling great now but on but think how good you would have felt they would you know what ma'am here's seven dollars well, yeah, I mean, yes, because I'm cheap and a Jew, and that would make me really happy. But nevertheless, I don't think that's a free necessary. free champagne flute and seven bones? But Come I on. was already, I wasn't planning on leaving after that flute. You know, you didn't you didn't need to give me the extra seven, but. I don't know, Dan, I think we should get back in the nightclub business and open up. I you think know, we should. That should be just, you know. I think it's a great yeah, idea. There's a lack now of there's, now there's no there. more COVID, and clubs are open and free. And, and there's a lack of them, too. There seems to be a lack of good clubs, and let's just make, a, let's just make the best club. I, I actually wanted to. Let's do it. When I was really, really making a lot of money. I wanted, I wanted to open up a club at the very, very top of one of the, like the Bank of America building or something like that, mm-hmm. and to call it, I think it was Elite, and it was like entertainment, I, it was called, I, I forget, Peak. Oh, it was called Peak. It was going to be called That's Peak. Cool. It was It was performers, entertainment, and I, it, I forget what how, how I had it the, ph- phonetically you know laid out, but it was going to called called Peak. And it was going to be um, it, the very, very top. And you park, you know, at the certain, you know, you, you, you and, and so the parking garages are going to be empty when you're open. You know, you're not, you're only, you're, you're opening as a club. So you have club hours. So, you know, cause, cause Steve and Jay used to have a building, had a room at, at uh, Bank of America. Right. They had an office there and their parking garage right. is across, like connected by a sky bridge. Right, right. So you make, you make. You make uh, contact with the parking garage and like, you know, we need X amount of floors for, you know, these these nights that were open. You only open up on Friday and Saturday nights and it's the you have to be given you have to be given a black card like American Express black card. You have to be given one or you have to buy in and it's like twenty five hundred a year to buy in. And then you just go down and you just go find the get a hold of Matt Heller to staff it. And, and you just make it the who's who of like no matter how much money you got, you you know, and you then you go and you cert, you go to all the hockey players, you give them all free cards. You go to all the the Rays, you give them all free cards. You give the cool bucks free cards. You give all the swing and D attorneys, all the swing and D doctors. You know the the, the swing and D's of town. They get their first year. You know their their cards are comped. They get in free. And then everybody else has to pay twenty five hundred a year membership, and you make it super super you know uppity, and uh, that was my idea. I don't know if that would work in today's world or not. You know, but what do you think? I mean, well, I think that's a great that idea. You know, there, there's a uh, you might exclusive yourself right out of the business. Yeah, there's a place um, right near my where my house on Bayshore, which was a, a house kind of similar to mine on a big lot, and then they they bought it and they built like three more buildings on it. And now it's just this real exclusive older person's club. And the uh, same people that did, I think, um, oh God, what's it called? <sighs> Some of the clubs downtown, I mean, in, in downtown near Hyde Park, um, 
did this and it's really nice the stovall house and it's it's really really nice and it's loaded and they have mem memberships and there's founding members the problem is is that you don't want really old 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 guys to be the only ones that can afford it so you know so you make it 500 make yeah Make it 500 mm -hmm. because 500, you know, a guy that's, you know, a good looking guy like Austin Wolf can afford 500. Right. It's not going to kill him, but he, he'll he pay that 500 if he wasn't given one because he knows that there are nothing but straight tens that work there and go there. Oh, and you give black cards to every hot chick in Tampa. Right. The only problem, again, is also you don't want it to make it too, too far away from the beaten path because no one's going to want to go. You, you know make, what I'm saying? You make it right downtown. Like, yeah. It's got right to it's gotta be easy to get to. What's easier than pouring into a parking garage? Uh, I think Going that, up a set of elevators to the to the top floor and, <clears throat> and being there's this big ass door with your logo on it and two big ass uh, maybe one hot chick with two big security guards. They run. They, you give them your card. They run it. They they see all of your information there and they allow you entry. <laughs> No, and you I can, and you can even it. use your card if you wanted to. If they backed their card with a credit card, you could almost back it where it was cashless, and they used their card to pay for everything. Kind of like, a, con kind of like right. a country club. Yeah, perfect idea. Kind of like a country club right. where you send them a bill each month. Jay's right. Here. You know who? Uh, Jay. Oh, Jay. My, 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 my bad. Hello, Jay. <laughs> Good morning. You, you he, know, he might want to get in on this. Uh, yeah. Uh, idea. Peak performers. I'm sorry, players, entertainment, and cool people, and you spell it P E A C. Dan Peak, and it's <laughs> it's at the, it's the top of the building that Jay used to have. You know, be a, a, I'm, they're probably giving space away right now up there, aren't they, Jay? Or no? Yeah, they can't get people to come to work. Yeah, you can't get people to fill those big bank buildings anymore. They're not giving them away though. No, no. They will how be much, soon. <clears throat> Jay? How much would the top of the Bank of America building? You know, let's say well, there's a six, club there now. Oh, is there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what's that club? The Tampa Bay Club? Yeah. Tampa Club. Tampa Club. Now, is that the same premise of what I just walked through? Except, minus Except for the, the cool part. And minus the cool people. Minus the cool people and the hot chicks. Now, we were members for years when we were young lawyers, and we would go up there for lunch probably two or three times a week with all of our young lawyers. But it was, so is it more for people it's in stuffy. the building? It's for people in the building, people in downtown. You know, it's one of those kind of rites of passage when you're a young professional and you're coming up and you want to see the people that are important in the city. And you'll see the mayor and you'll see the police chief and you'll see, I mean, you see everyone. When right. You're at those and clubs. what was the membership of that back then? God, I don't remember. Steve was paying the bills. Yeah, Steve doesn't even remember either. No. Steve was Lori fine. would pay him. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, exactly. So, I mean, yeah, I think maybe that should, maybe, maybe Dan, you don't put it in the Bank of America. Maybe you put it down in the Waterside Channel Side yep. District, you know, and up, you know, like, you know what we area. have? A place exactly like that called Union. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> it's going to be yeah, here. Dan wants Planet Dan. All right. Planet, Planet Dan. Dan. <laughs> That's Planet Dan. <laughs> That's worthy. Oh, my Dan's, God. Dan's my club. Oh, man. my. Let me, honest to God, did you come up with that by yourself or did you get it from Chad? Oh, I came up with that. I thought you were going to All by yourself. Oh. Oh my yeah, god. Crap. Oh, that man. is. Oh wow. <laughs> it's pretty good. Mommy, you didn't get that from chat. You got that on your own? Yes, you yeah, did. I thought, oh, I thought damn. Crap Planet Dan. I took it off Planet Bubble. Planet Dan. Oh. oh. Rhett, bring that piece of oh. hardware right on back. <laughs> oh, I think Dan's about to punch me. He really wants to do that duel now. <laughs> yeah. Dan's like, well, well, hold it. on. Dan's like, the joke is about me. Exactly. And so why don't I get it? No, <laughs> Planet I don't know. Dan. I'm happy for me. No, no, Danny, here's what you should see. You should see that the, at least the belt's back in the room. Yeah. It's visual. Right? It's back. It. It's yeah. back in the room. And the, that's closer. closer to, you know, it, that, that belt is, you know, four feet away from you at all times, Danny. Dan yep. knows it's easier for me to mess up. I can smell it. And, you know, Dan will set Blummy up next week on a mess up. <laughs> and a piss off Willie, and Lummy will lose it. How how long was Rhett's win? I mean, how long was his run? A couple yeah, weeks? 22 Two weeks. Days. 22 days. Oh, that's pretty Ready good. On, uh, Rhett, first. that's pretty damn good. That's very well, good. Hopefully yes, Rhett's not mad. Only person really gets mad on shore guys, like the rest of the Diacos, and, <clears throat> and Bob Lucarini, and Jay, and Dan. Did Steve rap in it? No. I didn't rap in it. 
You no, didn't rap in no. it? I thought you said you had a part in it. No, he I didn't did. rap it. I was just in it. He was just I'm in just it. I'm just in it at the end of it. He just he doesn't like the way he <laughs> You were just one of the hangout portrayed. boys? I'm just hanging out in the back. I'm one of the hype men. Okay. One of the hangout boys. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. One of the one of Danny's entourage, nonetheless. Yeah, exactly. So Dan, uh, Dan Diaco and uh, what's, what's the guy's name? Bob, Bob Lucarini. Bob Lucarini do this rap. And this rap song that's on video that Jay or somebody has, and Dan wants to play it, and oh, and both Jay and Steve, Steve doesn't care. have come. I've heard a hard no from Steve. No, Steve doesn't have any Ask, any skin in the in the game. Really, except that he likes to preserve you from being a cheese ball. <laughs> I'm just getting ready to say he has no Dan, skin in the game other than Dan's. You other know, than your, as, your this legacy. is this is urban cowboy. He yeah, doesn't need to do it. It's absolutely. Whatever, it's, what is the gain out of it, Zilch? It's Lats. it's awesome. Yeah, Hold at on. his expense, Danny. It's not at it's my part expense. Of, it's part of Planet Dan. Say it. It's part of Planet Dan. <laughs> no, you know what? He probably <laughs> likes the way he looks. All all like, he probably planet. thinks I, he's, I he like, hasn't look, even heard the rap. I look like I look in that picture. Dan, Who cares? Dan, what oh, was the rap? Why. That's what, when you were a pineapple. Dan, what was the rap? I'm still pineapple, bitch. Dan, what? My world. Dan, Planet Dan. What? What was the rap? Um, it was two. Peter Piper. It was Peter Piper. Run and, DMC. Yeah, yep. and for all the soccer MCs, perpetrating the fraud. Okay. Rock box. I can't see this fast <clears throat> enough. Yes. Uh, no, Jay, has, Jay has ex uh, executed an executive hard no order. And, and and am I not right, Jay? You have, you have. You are correct. And Steve, although maybe to your face, said he had no skin in the game and didn't care. Originally, he was with me. Privately, he told me, I don't really want you playing that video. He didn't say that. Okay. You're making that up. Okay. You want to... You want to you Confront him with just like he loves your uh, topless, you know, pogo stick. He didn't like that one either. <laughs> he sometimes, sometimes you go a little over the top in a bathing suit. It's not like I'm topless in church. Well, Dan, I, the weird, the way that you video, Dan, Jay. <laughs> 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 You're supposed to say it's all part of Planet Dan. It's all part of Planet Dan. <laughs> oh. It's my planet. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, Lummy. Where's I gotta find my Planet yeah. Bubba? Welcome to Planet Bubba. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. We can do. I gotta find Welcome to Planet Dan. <laughs> Welcome to Planet Dan. About to get mines. Oh. Yeah, listen, hold on. I don't know that that Dan could necessarily use this language because I was just a fat radio person out. He actually has some pretty important standing in this community. I think that's what Jay is trying to tell you is the fact There's that. There's nothing wrong with the video. They're being overly sensitive. Uh, I don't know. He's being overly sensitive. What's worse, uh, the Diacos or. Oh, the Diacos is way worse. Yeah, and I can't way get that cheesier. either. Jay is way giving me cheesier. a triple. They're all, they're, both, they're all cheesy. But that's okay, Jay, because the, the, the truly because confident. What? Because what? Truly, because what? Why, truly, why, why do you want to show your ass? Because the truly confident is not afraid to be funny, even if it makes them look a little silly. Yeah, but it's when the you're... reason that, like, okay. some of the True professionals best... try to stay professional and yeah. try not to be an ass. Hold okay. on. Or a clown. Ladies and gentlemen. Now just just substitute plant. I'm not going to be a clown. Just plant. You just su substitute. Oh my God! You hear that, Bubba? Under Dan. his breath. Dan, Dan. Dan. remind Dan. me of that. Dan. Remind me of that next month. Dan, that's not the clown cool. over Dan. here. I'm 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 We're Barnum and Bailey is what I am. No, well, I run the I run the circus. This yeah. is great. And it is. I own right the now. circus. Dan, you need to lighten up on Jay. He's the one that writes the resedge check. I right. should. And he wants to keep your brand. Now, just substitute Dan for Bubba here. On behalf of All You Can Eat Records, we welcome you to Planet Bubba. Planet Dan. Here at Planet Bubba, we will be experiencing a multitude of audio techniques, which we have perfected for your enjoyment and entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, shortly... I, I, I think I gotta get to my where I rap. Where, <laughs> where I, where I, where where is the, the climax? Uh, uh, welcome to Planet so this is Dan this rapping. Is Danny. Welcome to, Welcome Planet, to Dan. Planet Dan. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Planet Dan. When you know. Welcome to Planet Bubba, so you know it's time for me to get loose and kick a funky rhyme. I'm gonna go for mine, so won't you clear the way? And if you don't wanna move, your ass will get sprayed. So Dan, so far, I think we're pretty much. He could just do the same one. It's yeah. awesome. So hold on, and this is exactly how Dan rolls. Listen. Just like a spare tire, you'll be found in my trunk. <laughs> Dan, that's right, cause I make the rules. This is my damn plan, I ain't got time for fools. Dan, so far, it matches up perfectly. Perfect. Perfect. Doesn't it? Here yep. we go. Just hoes and hoes, bitches and sluts, with tit old bitties and big old butts. Dan, so far. <laughs> so you know what's up, I'm the king of the place. Now chill for a second while I drop the bass. <laughs> 
goddamn plan. Just, just change. I work on Tiggle Bitties and yeah, <laughs> yeah. Instead of I like big Tiggle yeah, Bitties, I, so I like I'll tiggle... give you some Tiggle Bitties. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put some. I'll give you Tiggle Bitties. I need the background music. I'm gonna get this song out to uh, Dark, Dark Match Steve, and we'll do Planet Planet <laughs> Planet Dan. <laughs> <laughs> And from now on, Dan, you can completely diffuse all family disputes by just saying, Planet Dan! That's, that's, that's two words. I mean, Planet like, Dan. no matter Dan. who says what that you can't do it, you can say, you don't understand, Arlene, Planet Dan! <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand, Steve! Planet Dan! It's perfect. Romina! God damn it, Planet Dan! You've created, it, Dan. <laughs> You've created uh, a no. monster. <laughs> <laughs> Bubba Radio Network will return after this. All right, Nine, Danny. ten on the dot. Danny's gotta go. Nine, ten on the dot. Have a cigarette. Have a <laughs> cigarette by Dan. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding. kidding. I'm I'll text Romina. Ten. The ball. My planet, Dan. Oh, God. Oh. It's just adding electricity to Godzilla. You're right. <sighs> Good morning, guys. You gotta make Dan. I know. He's, he's, not, he's not too. He's not. He's not, he's not happy. I know he's not, and so we gotta placate him. I didn't right let him move the trash can right here because he was chewing candy or doing something. He was, he, he needed a fix. He said something in his mouth the whole morning. I've been okay. listening to a meeting. Yeah, he's gotta be sucking on something. What's up, everybody? Friday. Night Rider, JBJB. Jamie Sorry, bad Jake. Ba 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 boo. You're moving the planet down? I've been in it for too many years. Yeah. From 212. Yeah, What's up? He's trying to get out. He's trying yeah. to get out. We still can. <laughs> a planet Dan. Ooh, just rhymed a little bit. <clears throat> Welcome to Planet Dan. Because you know it's time to get funky and release some funky rhymes. Good morning. Steve, what up? Sister Girl Tease. Oh, my God. Yes, I did. Hey, Blitz. Thank you. I Is that you? Wi the Bubble Radio Network Wi-Fi password. What's up, Marcus and Mark? Maria Guatemala. This, um, <coughs> iPad. How's everybody I, uh, doing? Have you seen her new picture? We're, we're, we're sharing it. Who? Uh, Maria Guatemala. Oh, can you? Check my tires during the Blitz, next break. Can you give me the password? <laughs> Good morning, JBD. Before what music will I be playing? What's Tampa Mike? Something more? It's gonna be a nice blend. Shit, you'll um, like it. Or maybe thank you, you Holy Joe. But then you'll have Holy Oak Joe. And that'll make you happy. So Passwords. appreciate you. Everyone wins. Falski five. This, um, Whether it's good. I'm setting up this. I am hearing trains Whether about the rap video. Bad, it's like Michael and the Godfather. Because then you can talk all the shit. Geobug, what want. up? Big longer. I'm about to get mines. How's everybody doing? No, you gotta say mines. I said that. AJ. AJ I said Edward. with an S. AJ I'm about to get mines. Just sure, okay? What's up, buddy? I Hello. said that, blah, blah. Yeah. Carnivorous. God. Blah, blah, What's up, Lummy's Chip? Jesus. Do, 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 do,
Morning, Big Red. What's up, Red? How you doing, buddy? Bubba Brass. Weather's beautiful down here right now, Brian. 65 in PA yesterday. <laughs> You had five or six hundred on YouTube still at the same time you got one three here. Bubba. Did he leave? What's that, buddy? You have like one three on Rumble right now, and you had about almost six hundred on YouTube a minute ago when I was on my way in. Forty degrees. Oof. All right, let's get Romina here tonight. Got one too on his dried up eggs. Just not driving it today. What's up, the pack 69? Delray Beach for three months sounds awfully nice, Brian. I can't wait till I'm at that point. <coughs> Organic Gene, morning. Walker loves the Bubba Bubba song. She put it on the TV and I guess Walker started dancing to it. Well, if Blitz could give me the motherfucking password. 12 in North Dakota, He said he was texting huh? it to you. My dog came from South Dakota, and they had snow in the background every time they videoed. He's been awesome. Uh, Ripley? He's He's unbelievable. He's so sweet. IPad that has all the really obedient videos. dog. I mean, he's really he's already a good great. Boy. He's a great He's a great little boy. And it's so nice to come home to a house that's like, there's someone there to greet you. You know, uh, I just love having a dog. I always have. Yeah. 12 degrees. Whew. All right. Sent. Let's try to get Romina. Motherfucker. I love Gene Lasker. He's my buddy. Live from the Sunbell Rental Studios, it's the Bubba the Love Podcast. Gage Bratz, 25 on a cash app. Lummy, I got this iPad over here. I'm trying to get all set up for you so that all, all, you, you, all you just have it over there in Lummy land and, and all the cash app, Venmo, PayPal, and soon to be Zelle just all flashes up on your little screen there. Oh, perfect. I'm working on that right now. Thank you, uh, Cage. This is the second uh, uh, the second verse of Planet Bubba. Just substitute Dan. That's all I gotta do. Asshole. That's right, bitches to the left, let us take your ass home. Cause every girl on the planet you know I'm gonna bone. So don't get jealous, that's the way it goes. I think Dan has become Bubba circa 98 Rock. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta have you hoes and more hoes. The more the better, the coochie gets wetter. See that girl over there, man? Go to sweater, cause later on tonight she'll be riding my jock. And if she's not, she's gonna hell a long walk. Back to earth, she knows what's up. About nine o'clock, I'll be slapping that butt. So puck her up, bitch, you never find another. I'm the only man that rules playing in bubble. <laughs> like I think, perfect I think what a gentleman. Is that perfect about... enunciation? Every word was perfectly <laughs> yeah. articulated. I don't know if we can come up with another in Bubba. But we're going to have to come up with a next to last little sentence, something that rhymes with Dan. The man. Yeah. So that's right, bitch. You know who the man? Welcome to Planet Dan. There you go. Wow. We are, we are creating a monster. You did pretty good. Too Today late. I'm going to get a text from Steve and I'm going to say, really? I'm like, what? <laughs> really? The planet Dan I'm like, what? You know, you've created a monster. Now my brother thinks that he lives on planet Dan. You're going to say, shut up, unicorn. And uh, Stay in your lane. I'm going to say, no, no, he's no, not no, the he's unicorn. The he's, he, well, or, no, he's not the panda. He's so the, he's the unicorn still. He's the wolf. wolf. He's the wolf. He got oh, back okay. to wolf status. Yeah, I'm like, I can't deal with a panda. Bend, You're bend, a wolf. Bend. Dan just most recently graduated from a unicorn to a lion. Although the cowardly lion. <laughs> Jay's always been the cobra, and I've always been the gorilla. No doubt. That's the way it is. Dan's just happy that he finally got tiger slash lion status because for years he was the unicorn and he was so mad about Didn't it. Didn't that get over to uh, pond on to Steve after the roller skating deal? No, nah, temporarily, but you can't put that on Steve. Mm. 
he'll just eventually wear you out and kill you. So you just give him back <laughs> his. Just give him what he wants. Just give yeah. him his wolf status. Plus, he did a very much a wolf thing a few about a month ago up in Boston. Yeah. He had a wolf situation. Super wolf. And he wolfed out. Nice. So. What would he do? Uh, can't really talk about it, but it was very much a, even Chris texted me. That's how me, you know it's something real. Yeah, wolfy. it's so can't wolfy. Can't talk about it. It's so wolfy that you can't talk about it. Mm -hmm. Like I can't even say, yeah, let me tell you something. You know, Steve, uh, God, Dan was in a jam, uh, and uh, Steve came in and got it all worked out and everything. Which there's about fifty five of those, but this was a situation uh, just that he had to come in and really wolf it, and it was one of the hardest. I bet his wife told me. That it was one of the most difficult wolfings he's had. I agree, having witnessed it. Yeah, like it was. Whew. He's still got it. He does. <laughs> little son of a bitch. The little Harvey Keitel <laughs> guy. He's just like him, coming in in his little tuxedo. <laughs> it's 20 minutes, I'll be there in 10. And the thing about it, Steve, is he can be mother effing you, but still has that little gap to smile going about him, does he not? He does. He'll be giving you some really crappy news, like how it's really going to suck for you if you go the other way, yeah. and how things could be really difficult, or we could make this easy, easy while he's got his little sh crap eating smile on himself, right? Yep. Have you ever seen Michael Clayton? That movie's very similar, and it's a George Clooney flick, and he's a lawyer, but he's a fixer. And so, like, the first scene is this really rich guy who's killed somebody in a car in a DUI, and and George Clooney shows up at his house, and he's asking him all the questions. He's like, why did I hire you? And he's like, because I know everybody, basically. And it's, and it's one of those guys. That's the George Clooney character in the movie. It's a really fantastic movie. Um, but that's Stevens, Michael Clayton, too. He described himself as a janitor. I'm now a janitor. Is, is Bella taking over the big, the big sprawling Oceanside deal? Is Bella taking that over? In probably a year or so, maybe. Really? Yeah, maybe. Wow. That makes you the only Diaco never to live there. <laughs> <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Yes. That is such a beautiful house for her. Oh, my God. Steve's renovating Daddy Joe's, is he not? Yes, sir. Yeah, he told me that he'd already had, like, somebody come in and do the plans and stuff like that. Yeah. That puts him super close yep. to here, which is good, but yet sometimes could be bad. He could be here in a minute. Well, Steve Dan has needs, his Dan needs to be around. Dan needs to be most worried about that, that Steve's that much closer to the studios. Yeah. Well, right. what I think is amazing for him is that his children want to come back and be near him. You know, if you're really rich, I think that's something where your kids want to be around you. And, you know, my father-in-law, he's got four kids. It's, they all live around him. And I'm like, that's very, very rich. I, I want that. Now, I want my kids to come back around around me. When now, at the older. end of the day, aren't you guys kind of posturing for maybe Bella and uh, maybe your cousin or somebody maybe kind of folding them into Diaco Law? Kinda? Absolutely. That's the whole grand scheme for I hope for I didn't Bella. give any secrets out of nothing no, like that. No, no, not at all. Not at all. I mean, that's, you know, she's my, she's my blood. She's my goddaughter. She is so smart, so she's articulate. So cool. She's got swagger. She's got the thickest skin, which lawyers today are not going to have thick skin. She does. And yeah, there's she's not going to be well, anything that you can say to her that's going to upset her and make her feel like she needs a timeout and needs to sit in the corner and feel bad for herself. She's just going to brush it off. If you can deal with Steven or the Diacos, then you can deal with any judge. <laughs> you think so, Trey, right? Trey will want to go in that business? I think ultimately he may. I mean, I'm not pushing it, but I think he sees that you know, you it think? provides you a certain level of respect, and you, you have to work hard for it. Yeah. But you know, you earn it, and I'm trying to explain to him that when you work hard for things and you earn it, it's worth it. It's better than things that are given. What to do you. you think will end like up? Like a new car. When do you think? Will end up? <laughs> <laughs> what, where do you think? What like a where, new used one? <laughs> what do you What do you think uh, uh, Nick's end game is? Or is it even hard? Is it going to like be some scientist or yeah? Like I mean, like what? what where's Nick's end game? You think? I think his MIT program maybe as long as six years, and that's in I believe composites or materials engineering, some kind of really amazing uh, form of engineering. Will we and all I be think, living off one of Nick's patents one of these days? Maybe that's what Steve <laughs> keeps trying to whisper in his ear. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you know, Nick's going to invent something someday, some kind of material that is a lifesaver and, you know, some bio. He's, in, he's very, very smart. He speaks on a whole different level than me. Yeah, Mandarin. Yeah, he that can, too. He can, cuss, he can cuss you out in Mandarin and you don't even know what's going on, right? Correct. The whole family doesn't know. He, Nick could get up and just co told the whole family to F off and nobody uh -huh. be like, well, I don't even know what Nick's doing. <clears throat> well, ask Steve what Nick does. It's the funniest thing. He has no idea. He's oh, paying for it, but he has no idea. Actually, Nick's <laughs> getting paid for it now. So now, where, now, where do you see like Sophia? Um, 
You know, she, I don't. We don't know. Well, she's a very social kid. She gets good grades, and you know, she's just a freshman. She just started in high dating, and this Dan's freaked out on the deal. Oh, uh, did they go on a date? Another one? Well, there's been a couple mm-hmm. dates. Yeah. Oh goodness. Dan met him. Mm-hmm. Dan met him. Oh, he the did. Head. See, yeah. we know we know stuff He's, that you don't know. You know, Dan my kid's met a mop him. So I get it. <clears throat> yeah, and very Dan, different experience and, with uh, having a boy versus a girl. Oh, it very is. much. <laughs> Tra- <laughs> like Trey's a walk in the park compared Jay's to you like, know, up, play up. the fields. Now wait yeah. till wait till your daughter gets fourteen, fifteen. Oh, it's and, already and, it already hurts at eleven. I know. <laughs> so is and she, she and the boys <laughs> now? Um, not really, but the girls are so mean. But she, they're mean. What do, you, what do you mean mean? Like, uh, what middle is to school, be what is school. to be mean to her about? That's what I keep telling her. Nothing. Like she's pretty. Nothing. She comes from a good family. She's, you know, not. Well, it's like she's not just stupid. brutal about whatever. Yeah, that especially age. at that age, they better when hope you get that... to 10, 11, 12, 13 year old girls. They're really sick. Like the mean girls face. Yeah, Bubba, you always say bowling is a good thing for kids. It is. It makes them tougher. Bowling? Boy, ho- bowling. Bo- bowling. Oh, bowling. But these little bitches with that go. What, what's what's your, be, what's your daughter's make, name? You know what? Br- Blitz, it will make her tougher. And it that's does. what I'm going through right now is explaining to her to have a thick skin. And then I say this phrase, protect yourself at all times. And that means don't tell these little girls what makes you happy or what makes you sad because they're just going to make fun of it or exploit it. And she's just a, she's such a sweet person. She doesn't want to lambaste them. So Trey would always be able to ignore and then respond. And he would respond Kinda very like you. well. Kinda exactly. Like you. And I taught him how to think about it the day before because people are going to do it the next day. Well, if your daughter is anything like your wife, she'll be bringing a switchblade to school. Hell and yeah. She yeah some, if she can get some of mama's responses in her. <laughs> now, what's your daughter's name? Brian from Philly, $20. Super Sage. Top. Page? Sage. Sage. Well, if if the little bitches that are giving Sage a hard time knew who, how Sage's mama rolls from her roots, mm. man. <laughs> right? If you could get some of Candle's tenacity and upbringing into sage you wouldn't have any problems she's because candle might be your wife might be one of the toughest hottest chicks i know well i appreciate that because she came from a phone like she kind of grew up urban uh, i mean i'm rural. sorry rural. rural she grew up rural no doubt about it uh was it from plant city uh lutes i mean she wore the ag vest she showed a goat at the florida state fair yeah Actually, I mean, she was no, a farm girl she farm won girl. excuse me she won the florida state fair she was a farm girl slash kind of a tom girl yeah beautiful Made her way through school working at bush gardens beautiful and like you know she's a farm girl and she can whip some ass i absolutely whip some she can hold her own too bad sage didn't have a little bit more of that in her she does no, she does. She's just at that point where, you know, your 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 innocence is broken at some point. And then you realize that you have to protect yourself and that life is a bit difficult and you have to be resilient. And so she's just getting to that point where I'm explaining to her that, you know, you'll deal with these kind of people your whole life. And that I still deal with those people as a lawyer. And that my mom still deals with those people in her little church group. And you're going to have bullies, and you're going to have people that treat you poorly, and you have to be able to respond to it and deal I mean, with it. Part and of, that's just life. Part of, part of you know, Mr. Wolf's mission was the fact that you know Nick was having a little bit of a romantic issue, and you you, know, you just deal with people that sometimes you know are not in your best interest, and you know, just want bad things for you. I and I feel I feel badly for those people that have kids that are getting picked on that they have a problem. That would be I mean this is breaking my heart and. You know, my daughter's not perfect, but I think she's perfect. But, sure. you know, it's like little things like she got a new pair of glasses and contacts. And I'm like, well, which are you going to wear tomorrow? And she's like, it doesn't matter. I'm going to get teased either way. And I'm like, <laughs> with or without glasses? I said, you know, I don't want to tell you what I really said. Um, but is these, that how, screw is these that little how picky? Bees, is screw that how... these little bees. And who cares what they think? You look beautiful both ways. Yeah. So do whatever you makes you happy and not what make you think makes other people and happy. tell your mom who made fun of you so she can slash their parents' That's tires. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Car line. Let, let us Car- know the name, <laughs> by the way. Candle will have an ice pick, and she'll go down to each car and put a, a, a hole in their sidewall, uh, and they'll have to have a hard time getting home that night. Some of the kids will be late to school tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> None, nonetheless. So Utah bans under 18s from using social media unless parents consent. Good luck so, with that. So, like, how, how are you going to be able, like, Blitz, how can they enforce that? Oh, I'm sure when you go to sign up and it says, oh, are you in Utah? Click here if your parents say it's okay. <laughs> and then the kid just clicks there, right? Yes. That's awesome. So, I mean, place. literally the kid just clicks, uh, you know, my dad, my mom, dad said it's okay. Are of you course. over 18? Yes. That's how it's always been on the internet. 
I mean, it's like you know when they you go to a, when it. you go to a liquor or a beer uh, website, they tell you to type in your birthday. Well, mm-hmm. you know, twelve year olds and thirteen year olds can figure out what they need to type in to if be twenty one. Math, yeah. yeah, right. Is this just is this window dressing at its finest? Yes, yes. <laughs> you know, and and, and it came from the governor, I guess. And 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 the governor is he going to be able to pound his chest now and say, but, I am proactive on. On, on saving our children from the from TikTok and various other bad things. Well, I mean, fr- from a parent who tries to be involved in their child's life, good luck banning social media from your child till they're eighteen. Oh, I guess what good it luck is, doing it when they're at fifteen. It, it and has you're to, just mod- monitoring. It's it, important. It has to be under a parent's account. <laughs> oh, well, that's so, a, like that's a, a little bit. A parent more. has to have an account, you know, and the then they have to add my, their their kid to it. My kid's name yeah. is Joseph Diaco. He would just forget the number three on the end of it. <laughs> Joseph yeah. Diaco with my birthday. Yeah. And he's how, how is that going to work on all the social media? That doesn't support having accounts under your account. Yeah, so. yeah, we got thrown off of Twitter for that, <laughs> right? <laughs> We're having supposedly multiple accounts is one of the issues. Blitz, don't usually most cops are super super duper like extra careful. And handling firearms. I mean, most supposed cops are super cool about I, it. I don't know if I'd say most, but yeah, they're, they're supposed, supposed to. to be. Dateline, Greenville, South Carolina. These two uh, these two deputy sheriffs from the Greenville County Sheriff's Department. There's been an investigation. They were at the shooting range because, you know, the sheriff's guy's got to go like every couple months with a qualified, mm-hmm. or, you know, so they can still shoot good, which is something they need to do. Mm-hmm. And they were shooting blanks at, 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 on, and during a controlled exercise uh, in an industrial park. Well, after the training exercise, deputies went to, to secure their equipment when one deputy fired a blank round from a simulated gun at another one in an act of horseplay. What, you got a rust situation going on here? Yep. <clears throat> the other dude, the second de- de- deputy, responded by firing back, but he forgot that he had already switched back to his active duty weapon oh, no. and shot the deputy in the foot. <laughs> He did a good fellas. Joe he Pesci did. Dance. He made dance, bitch, yeah. dance. And he shot the guy in his foot. Blitz, probably the guy. Well, they're probably both in trouble, but the dude that really, really is in trouble. I mean, are they? is it both as serious as a crime or is the guy that technically, actually. Technically, yes. But, I mean, the, the guy that actually shot the real gun is the one that's more in trouble. Could yeah. he? I mean, if if the dude that got shot told the chief or whoever or IA during the investigation, listen, I totally forgive the guy. I don't want to press charges. I don't want, you know, I guess I it probably doesn't really matter because it's, because it's an agency issue, right? It's a policy it's, issue. It's not up to that guy. It's a policy issue. Not There's up to the, a policy. Not even if it was Larry Plummer, from. my best friend, right. but like, I do not want to press charges. Chief doesn't care about that, does he? Mm-hmm. The only thing funny is that he shot him in the foot, but think this thing could have happened. He could have been pointed at his head. This is one of those reasons why you always you never point a gun at someone's head. He made a joke. He pointed at someone's foot. He shot his foot. If you do the same joke, point at someone's head, you blow their face off. Right. You think because it was a joke. They both blitz. This does this cause like are they both going to be like on meter maid uh, bicycle duty? I would hope so. Siberian <laughs> meter maid. <laughs> blitz says, "I hope take take the guns away from these two dudes immediately." Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> the Bubba Radio Network will return after this. <laughs> So Dan's first date was at the Armature Works with his wife. Where did, where did he meet the kid? What was date number two? I think it was Hyde Park Village. Really? Okay. Yeah, like uh, apparently Sophia was with her girlfriend, and then the guy joined, it? and then the friend left. So it was just them two, and then the I parents picked messages. her up, and they met the guy. I see. Yeah. All right. What grade is he? I think he's also a freshman. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. That's, that makes it better. Let me yeah, just say that. You don't want a, no, I don't want like some junior senior with my freshman daughter. That would make yeah. me very uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah so that's fine. It's you know, pu- my my son did that. It was puppy love. They yeah. didn't do anything. Well, I don't you know. even know if she's there. You know, like your son. Do you know everything your son did? Well, it's for different people. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's like you know, I don't want to. It's, it's yeah, yeah. You, right. You're aware of like how far he took it. Yeah. Oh, okay. No. Yeah. I flat out asked him. Yeah, okay. Damn it. Yeah. There's no time to be doing that. $20 super chat. 
Yeah. I'm too young. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like you're too Stanley, young. the sniper. Like, for a girlfriend, I'm like, no. Florida no. Stanley. Okay. Yeah. Too young for fucking. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So and and he. Uh, Here's like Brian five. from I mean, Philly. Like, Twenty dollars. Every time he wants me to buy him, condom. I think just so he has them. Yeah. You know, but yeah, he's you know he's just hanging with his Thank buddies and doing lacrosse right now, so it's good. It's been okay, a very good. healthy transition good, of like good. you know this is the way you want it to go. Yeah. yeah Hasn't had his heart broken too badly yet, so it's all good. everybody oh yes good morning unity 17 is your name booba come on yeah, the irony, Sister Girl Tease, he gets it for talking about Dan. So I Dan know, wins either way. Gary Cantrell. What's up? Gary the Cantrell. Gary the Cantrell? Okay. NSS Pro Lake 17. Pro Late. That late model? Really? What, 25, big, big ass nose? Bad Jake? Ugh. What's up, Stop and Go Steve? How's everyone doing? No, no. Stop and Go Steve. Dark Mash is always there, I love it. Mm -hmm. Okay. You pro racer? I'm pro racer. I wonder if you know my, uh, my father-in-law's got a kid racing for him, Davey Hamil Hamilton. He's kicking ass, number one in the nation right now. Trigney, yeah, Davy, Davy, Davy. His dad was a Indy driver, and he is a. He drives everything. Davy. What's up, Grouper Lips? D Rock. Big hands, medium hands here. Dr. Dan's Crush Cigarette Pack. I like it. I like it a lot. I do. I like it a lot. Oh, okay. Very cool. Be safe. Enjoy it. I love it. Thank you, Maria Guatemala. My wife thinks I have big hands. Big hands. I know. I'm so excited. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What's up, Travis? Oh. I got you, buddy. Choco taco. To drug areas? Um, you know, in Costa Rica, there's always been a little bit of an element of that, but it's not like prevalent. It's not. It's not something that you really have to worry about. But it's like any kind of like tropical place where there's not really much to do there's always a local element of people that are going you know involved yeah. in drugs which is Can sad I help you cocaine there's some crack that goes on there cocaine. and then you know the city how much do you love cocaine um do not do you, you love it good, right? no i don't i do not love cocaine but i don't really care if people have, it. have had it cocaine cocaine love me cocaine the song i love the song cocaine a great song by Eric Clapton. Yes, it is. Cocaine. Cocaine. What's wrong, booby? Ten cent, fifty dollars rent. Happy birthday, Blitz! Thank you. It's his motherfucking birthday weekend. Oh, I brought stuff. I brought glow sticks. Yeah, you guys doing tonight? Tonight, it's tonight brother one night. Tonight, when you become one, yeah. Uh, you got glow sticks. You're gonna have like some. Uh, I brought this. Pacifiers guy. and. 
Some Vicks to blow in your eyes? Yeah, my son passed. I remember bringing some glow stick gizzles. I'll, I'll put one in front of everyone's seat here so you guys can glow stick along. Should I have a caviar tacos or somebody lummy that does graphics come up with a Planet Dan shirt? Oh, of course. Ten well, cent, fifty dollar rent. Happy birthday, Blitz! Thank you. Happy birthday, Blitz! Tonight is Bubble One on Nine. It's our first one on Rumble, but it is also celebrating the birthday of one Blitz K. He is Woo! officially thirty-seven years old. Yep. Uh, this Sunday. Uh, it, D- DJ Hum Sauce. DJ Hum Sauce. That's me. We'll be, we'll be on the stage. Be on She's the ones and twos. On the ones and twos. Yes. In and a a absolute studio full of people, mm-hmm. ranging from the Nashes to uh, Maria Guatemala, Who's and, and everything in between. Well, it looks very nice. Speaking of which, Guatemala. That's in Central America, isn't it? I yes. believe so. Yes, now, is, is that yes. one country up or down from Costa Rica? It's up. And it's a couple up more more than a and, couple. Like so, why can Costa? Now, isn't there parts of Guad? Isn't there parts of Central America that are bad, really yeah. bad? Yeah, yeah, like yes. most of it, like bad. Yeah, yeah. but Costa Rica's not bad, right? No, but Costa Rica's what, not bad. At so, all. which if if you had to Isn't rank, there like a big drug problem there right now. Um, there's a big drug problem everywhere, but I mean, no, there's not where where I am. I mean, it's it's you know, <laughs> if you talk about fortress. Hawaii or if you talk about any of these island kind of places, and there's really no upward mobility for people, there's no jobs, then there's going to be that type of an environment. And so, yeah, there's people that you know, you know, have been there forever that are strung out on cocaine, and there's but there's not like a big drug culture in my little area, my little sleeping, surfing, you know, fishing Now, are village. you on the Pacific side or Gulf side? The Pacific side. Oh, okay. So there's a little city that's maybe 35, 40 minutes from me, and I know that, you know, if you're a 20-year-old and you wanted to get anything you want, you could go in there and get it. Someone's calling on the hotline, too. You get anything. Oh, could be dear. Could get be women, Hello. You could get, you know, whatever. Oh, dear. Hello. Let me in, motherfucker. Well, you Whoa. can't cuss. Who, uh, y- who, who is that? It's uh, Ty J. Oh, somebody go no. let him in. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you can't cuss. What's up? You can't cuss. Are you high? We're live I on the air. I know you're on the radio. Yeah, we're on the air. You can't say mother effer. So, <clears throat> we're, we're, He's pulling in right now. All right, we'll we'll, we'll take care of you. Come on in. Is he, uh, did he already I start? think this is Ty J from 93. Monday morning, Ty J. Yeah, yeah. So, like, what's the worst country in Central America. El I mean, Salvador, probably. Well, Nicaragua, El Salvador. I mean, Mexico's got a really, really bad drug problem right now. And I mean, drug cartel problem where they well, have, yeah. she, like, there's no huge drug cartel in Costa Rica that's, you know, threatening tourism and uh, tourists and the government and controlling parts of, this, of the country. That's happening in places in Central America, not Costa Rica. Costa Rica is a very, very Now, why safe... isn't it, ha- like, you know, they're... They're literally hooked onto each other. Why isn't there problems in Costa Rica and there is in El Salvador or Nicaragua or whatever? It's probably multifaceted, but one of the reasons is they've got a very strict immigration system. And they don't just let, I, I'm not, I can't be a citizen. I've had a house there for 30 years. Uh, it's not like I can't just go across the, you know, the Nicaragua and the Costa Rican border and become a Costa Rican citizen. It's not happening. So they make everyone who's a non-citizen leave the country every six months for three days. So they know every single person who's there legally and illegally. They don't let illegal people stay there because they have a, it's a social democracy where they provide a social safety net. It's free, free medicine, free health care. And so it's a different So if you're kind a Costa Rican, you get free health care, free medicine, free everything? You get free health care, but you also get $3 an hour. And then the health care you get is, you know, elective epidurals for, for delivery. When my uh, property manager, a very close friend of mine, Georgina, was going to have her baby, she, I was like, well, what about the epidurals? I'd include it. And she's like, no, it's $500. And I'm like, well, I'll, I'll pay for it for you. She's like, no, I'll just do it. Ty J, just wa- Ty J just walked in. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Ty J. How you doing, buddy? How are you, buddy? Coming, coming in a little hot today, huh? Yeah, well, you know, I must have been on a delay because I saw you in a break. That's why I did that. I'm sorry. I think you're on a delay in life, uh, Ty J, no, but buddy. we're not going to get into that. No, no. I'm How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic, man. Droning every day. Every Living day life, I'm bro. droning, droning, droning. Every day. 
<laughs> Loving it. Yep. Like you just do you just drone around your house or do you drone around No, I'm a subcontractor for insurance companies. I do claims, I do underwriting. Really? Yeah, man. So is that what you're droning? Every day. For, for the insurance company. Every day. A lot so, going on here with property, right? Yeah, man. Has that has the drone uh, technology changed? It's probably really, really changed the insurance game, has it not? Yeah, you know, back in the day, they would have guys climb up on uh, the house with the ladders, and it would take them two or three hours to get, you know, the inside interior and the exterior done and the roofing done. I can do all that within an hour. And dangerous. Think about it. yeah, people climbing on roofs and falling mm-hmm. off on roofs, and now he's you know he's he's working his drone from the ground. Correct. You think Fabrizi with handyman roofing? Is, do you think they drone the roofs? They should be. They should be correct. Well, you know that's what uh, Colton's doing now. What do you mean? So he's doing a lot of roofing down at Fort Myers, and he drones the roofs. He so he drones them. Yep. And then gives that gives data them. back to the insurance company, and then they can look at the assess the damage far better than putting some schlep boy on top of a roof to, right. to, walk, to walk it. They yep. use it for bridge repairs and things like that. I had a case in the old days where they used to have a truck that had a boom that would hang over the edge of a bridge so that they could go and inspect it underneath. And we it still had to do be, that. Yeah, but, they don't, but they don't do it nearly as much as they used to. A lot of that's been replaced by I, doing drugs. I used to know a guy, actually a girl, whose dad owned a company where they would scuba dive yes. bridges to ch- to check the structure on how, you know the the, uh, the under the water structure and I don't know do they have underwater drones that they can do that that's interesting I do, bet you they Ty, do do they, they have are like, underwater drones but I'm not familiar with that technology I mean like you like you, they could you know like like little submarines almost yeah, right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That, yeah. And it, you could, you could, so, I mean, that guy. Put it is, this way. If you can think about it, it's out there. <laughs> for sure. What's the fastest drone? True. Uh, I would say FPV, but they can't go over 100 miles an hour. They can't? No, not no legally. drone. Not legally, correct. Like, Blitz, what about when Lucas Oil uh, has the late models and they put it like above a guy and it can pretty much kind of stay with the cars? So those things are probably only going about 100, 120. It, well, I mean, yeah, legally, they're not allowed to go over 100. They still use helicopters, though, for big races and things like that. I mean, you know, the drone technology is definitely yeah. there for races, but not not in replacement so, of So, you're saying even in a controlled atmosphere like a racetrack, a drone couldn't be built to go over 100? No. Even, even, it can be built to, just not allowed to. Right. Well, and you got pedestrians there also. Right, oh, exactly. That's what, that's what they're worried about. One going rogue and hitting grandma in the face? Yeah, right. Yeah. Now, have you... now? Ty J, have you being big on the drone game? Blitz, you too. Have you guys seen any of that instance where people have been hurt by drones? No, but I saw this guy post a video the other day uh, with his dog trying to jump on a drone. Yeah. And uh, that one slight move and that drone would have knocked his nose off. And mm-hmm. that, that, that operator was not, you weren't the operator, but it was your dog. Yeah, yeah, my dog got a piece of the drone. <laughs> yeah, man, that was very dangerous. I was hoping that, that, that Bella got the drone. That but one, that, that, that's, that's 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 dangerous, man. Now, you shouldn't play like that. Yeah, because they're not toys, especially the one that that guy had. That's not a toy. Was that a decent drone? Uh, it looks like a DJI. I, I think can't it really is. tell. Boy, I thought it was pretty fun. I thought it was fun. I thought it was entertaining the dog. And yeah, made, I made until a good she's video. leaking from her mouth. Mm. <laughs> so, am I, are you mad at me for that? No, no, not at all. Should I take it's it a down? No harm, no situ- No harm, no Should foul. I take but it don't down? do it again. Is what? Yeah, I probably would. He's, take it down and not yeah, do it again? Yeah. Okay. Are you looking at me like a, the mean look like you used to give me? That's why he's here. He was here, looking right? at yeah. me for you. I didn't like <laughs> it. Hey, t- 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 Ty J used you. to be, I used to be able to like gauge uh, up Ty J just by how mean he looked at me. <clears throat> like, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Bro. Yeah, yeah, deep down though, you're still. Don't it's get, all a persona, man. You, you got to play the role. I gotta go into but you're com- also a killer. I got I to go in commercials, but I'm going to leave you with this and I hope it don't make you mad. You're a lover. But at any times, you could really mess some people. You could be the thug from Detroit in just a second. It's a controlled anger. (laughs) (laughs) The Bubba Radio Network will return after this. Good to see you. How are you? you? Good, how are you? I'm still mad at you. You didn't come to my party. That's Lum Lum. What a jerk. I know, right? Yeah. I had the Bubba Army shot glasses ready for some Patron. Me, I just said I should. Your wife took one. Enjoy the video. Beat so, the shit out so of me. So is this all just bullshit? What's that? Is this all just bullshit? Yeah, I know. Yeah, you have to stay home babysit. I get it. I know. I hear it's where, getting where, worse. What city? We were talking about we have. Well, you know fucking Ty J would wreck it. Hey, did, uh, did, did, oh, did she put, give you the footage? Put your hand up. I said it. Still editing? Waiting. Just miles from the bar. Da-da-da. 
Are these are just like right? uh, these are random. I mean, yeah. And How are you doing? Good man. But I hear it's like a transit man, point between Colombia and Mexico, day, man, so they like meet there. And sixty-five to a hundred dollars a job. That's probably make really. me six, seven hundred dollars a day. I'm okay. done this time. I mean, I was just there last weekend. Yeah, that way you ain't got a tower. Yeah, you know, but you don't want to leave like your purse on your seat when you go to the beach. Your car's gonna be broken into, and cars tires may be slashed. Oh, that's so cute. You use your tower contacts to do your drone call, Rick. Yes, sir. Yep. Oh my God, Bubba, you have to see kind of this. Double dip. Oh yeah, I've been climbing God, years, man. Good. But uh, you know, I, I run cruise, but I'm just over it, man. Traveling and you know, just never Bubba, really you have off. To see this. So well, I'm plus, just do my own thing. Now. I mean, plus, I mean, at the end of the day, it, it the fucking tower game a little bit fucking. Uh, I'm gonna post this on Instagram. Like, a little bit dangerous. Is it? Uh, well, yeah. 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 Okay. He's not. so just cute. You have to be well, he was the intimate. It's all kind of training. You just don't hire guys because they're not scared of heights and they climb towers. You have to have all kinds of certifications. But, um... Yeah, but you're getting older, brother. You don't need to be fucking slapping ass towers. Well, I, Actually, let me reel it out. It's, it's good money. It's going to be a great... It's good money climbing the tower, yeah, isn't it? That's money, good man. money. I've, I've done this longer yeah, than I've Yeah, but if you can make as much money droning as you were tower dog and what you're droning... I don't think I'm, I'm going to be a millionaire being a drone operator, but I'm, I'm by myself. I take motherfucking drone service. And it, it's fun. And you ain't got Mexicans talking bad about your job site trying to fuck again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Some dude tried to try Ty J at the fucking job site. Right. Ty J had to go put himself in timeout. Can you call your <laughs> wife to talk you down? That's pretty funny. Yeah, because he came in drunk and he didn't want to weld. And we had a final CWI, you know, and uh, he wasn't ready for it. So we had to push it back, which cost us money. Right. He got up in Ty J's face. Ty J had to go put himself in timeout or he was going to kill the dude. <laughs> you can't fire him because I don't have those powers. Right. Yeah. And you can't kill him. Yeah. And, even though he does have those powers, <laughs> he's you know, got to hold those mean, back. But listen, even though I still don't play, <coughs> just because I'm in the public eye, or I wasn't public eye. Anything that I do is going to be public eye. Sure. Be the paper. Former public eye. That's, that's what I was trying anything. to tell. That's what I was trying to tell anything. Danny today. It could be ten anything. years from now. Yeah, former public eye. And they're going to put the stats on there and all that. Yeah, and all that. Even the day I die. And then they're going to bring all the bullshit Everything. you got, all the old so, shit you got into. That's why I chill out, man. Sounds good, Holyoke Joe. You guys have to check out this video of Walking Dead. So yeah, he can say it. We can't. See, look at this. He's there. He's getting autographs out here now. Yeah, man. Why is that? You don't never see me. You don't. I don't say it. Can't say that. Yeah, he is real otter guy. That's a job or otter guy. Uh, uh, like I'm gonna he's change gonna it actually. Ooh. I'm gonna do right it. This is back. That was at Ole Miss. Let's it gets see. all of it. Delete, 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 delete. That's so uh, cool. What number are you were then? 81. Uh, and you're 86 over there? Who was 81 when you Just went? I hated it. Uh, it no, Jackie was with Ring at the time. Let's uh, see if this is better. I don't think we have a receiver. Oh, man. What do you think what, what Dion's doing in Colorado? I don't know, man. It's a lot of hype. I hope he can live up to it. I know it. You know, I don't know anything about that. Uh, he's even making them fucking earn their number. How about the guy that came in with the white socks? We could have used the tie day this year. Let me tell you what. We could have okay. used the tie day. Let's tie it in, man. We they got rid of them. Getting it up there, guys. Though. What's up, Big Red? I'll and my guy, nice. Aaron Rodgers, he's fucked. I thought, I thought the best tie day was a uh, break. I mean, he's not a great blocker, but he's a Ooh, great man. receiver. Yeah, but he got rid of They didn't use him enough. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, good. Yeah, we don't need this shit. The, well, there's, there's some good, big cut tight end class there. Well, they like Otten, though. I don't think, I think so. No, no, I think they, so. no, but they like Otten. I wait until we, we have a team, and then I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't tell you 10 people on this one. Wait, you don't like Otten? They love Otten. Yeah, he's, he's for Otten. Yeah, that, they, that's, that's, that's who he's yeah, he, How big are these tight ends now? Bitch. Bigger than me. Six, 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 five, six, six. six. At your they're big, not, they're not, at, you know, two, seven, two, eight. At, at your biggest, what were you? Shit, 300. <laughs> no, really. I got the Dallas, oh, I was 295. We had the biggest there we go. in the league. Super cute. Six, oh, my God. What are you, six, five, six, four? Six, four. Check it out. Six, five, 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 five. Oh, you were? Yeah. Well, when I left here, so what, what, what year was you the fucking bat, best shape? 92. Your first year. <laughs> 92 coming out. Yeah, it's hungry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Checking It's like, all right, all right. It's 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 real 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 Who was the number one guy uh, uh, coming to camp? <laughs> Roar. I figured it would be Ron Hall. Oh, Ron Hall. Ron Hall. Ron Hall. Oh, hungry. Yeah. 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 The depth chart opening day. Yeah. Ron Hall. You? You beat Ron Hall? No, I beat Jesse Anderson. And, and, and. But being a rookie, you know. Was that Sam Weich? Yes. 
Yeah. Well, that's that's both of them, so they both passed. But, hey, wasn't Sam White pretty cool, though? <laughs> yes, he was. Yep. But then, you know, we used to do the hand thing because the fans started making fun of him. This was one of our calls for sitting in different, uh, different, uh, how's the brain fart? So, when they had two tight ends, they would go tiger, tiger, tiger. Right. They go regular, regular, regular. That's one tight end, two uh, wide receivers, and yeah. two backs, you know? So, when a tight end come out, you're replacing a, a receiver or a back. Yeah. What? Right. My dad said so he was a nice guy. Yeah. A my, daddy, my dad said he was a yeah, super yeah. nice guy, but one time after the game at One Bucks Place, he yeah, was talking like, about a fan who was ha- harassing him. It was my dad's best friend, Bill, mm-hmm. who motherfucked him the whole game. And he's like, you know, Bill is talking about you. And he's like, because back when you could see who was heckling you, you know? You could see exactly who was. The good old days, right? I don't know why, because he's, I don't know, because he's so aloof, but you need to come in and we just need to do a, a Ty J soap show one day, just a back in the day Ty J show, like on an after show where we could use a little bit more colorful language. Hey, hey like remember that time up in, uh, what's that club you had down in Ybor City? And you uh, were, Planet Bubba. You and no, the- I'm sorry, Bubba's Beach Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we, had, we were up there in VIP, and I brought these girls up in there, and they were hammered. And it, one of them just threw up in your in your deal. You're like, "Hey, you got to get out of here." <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not. Did I make you leave, or did no, I make? No, they, they, uh, yeah. they I, we, I just left with them. Oh, I, but I wasn't kicking you out. No, no, no. I mean, that's but, where people use that VIP room as the coolest. Remember, it overlooked the dance yeah, floor. Yeah, yeah. Free drinks, a lot of girls. Yeah, man. That was some really. I mean, there were some good stories in that VIP room. But I'd love <laughs> to have you in here. Just talking old school football, just, you know, just the stuff that you went through. Like you said, you came to camp and, you know, beat out Ron Hall for the starting position. Sam Weich was your coach. A lot of people didn't, you know, really, a lot of people didn't appreciate. Sam Weich was very much a player's coach, was he not? Correct. You know, and Sam Weich had a, a, a great uh, career prior to getting here. You know, I mean, he oh, yeah. went he to the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah, he took Cincinnati, yeah. the Bengals, to the Super yeah, Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he had some cred, but, again, we were the Bucks in the 90s. You know what I mean? So no one really cared about us. They were giving tickets away. You couldn't give tickets away. You couldn't. No. You literally couldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you, no, but you played in the new You played in the new stadium. No, you, no, you I never was gone, did. yeah. Tony Dungy gave me the ax. He did? Yeah. Did, did he give it to you personally? Uh, no. Actually, you know what? My agent uh, sent me a, 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 I guess it was a text on my beeper. Man, we didn't have texting. Yeah, on call me. Yeah, hit me on my beeper. It's like, <laughs> uh, you've number. been released. Like, you know, nine, nine, so then, listen, one. listen, this is really bad. He did me like, I, I thought this was horrible. So I, I thought I was pretty good, you know, I had a pretty good reputation with the team, but I show up and all my belongings were in a box on the outside of the door. I couldn't even go in You're the facility. Kidding me. That yep. is brutal. Same way they did Tony Dungy. You saw when they locked yeah. him out. Yeah, man, it's, it's For horrible. For real? Yeah. And, and who would make would the GM make that decision? I don't know who made the decision. My agent said, "Hey, go pick up your stuff." And when I got there, you thought your locker would be there, and you go yeah, get I go Bob get my shoes and, and say hi, hi to bye like to people. Staff. Yeah, but it was say, at night. It was at night. Say hi to Darren Kearns and all the boys, right? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. nope. They said you go get take, it. Take your box and get the step in. Now what? Now what happens? <laughs> now did you get? Now did you get picked up immediately? Yeah, the next day I was with Dallas. Yep, on a plane <laughs> that same day. And now was the way the Dallas? I mean, their their facilities were far far nicer. Ridiculous! And, I was I, I actually felt like I time. made it to the pros. Especially at that time, right? yeah, I mean, man. We were yeah. back at one buck place with those like double wide trailers. Mm-hmm. It was pretty bad back then. Man, the yeah, Bucks. and then going to a mansion, right? yeah, yeah, and they were just off the Super Bowl. Bucks it was couldn't crazy. even Bucks Jerry couldn't Jones even lift weights. Mm-hmm. Bucks couldn't even lift weights because the rates would what rust from the because they were outside. Am I right? We had Jay? weights in the inside. They had them on the outside, like the squat benches it, and things like that. It used to be across the street from Ocean Prime and. It was literally mm-hmm. double wide trailers yeah. in a facility with a couple of open fields. They didn't have any shade. There was, there one, was no shade, let there alone was one a covered th- field. There was one theory that the Bucks sucked so bad because they had to breathe in de- uh, jet fuel all well, day. Well, we would have to we would have to call time out, you know, and, and, and rest for a second. But when the planes would take off, we couldn't hear. You couldn't hear. No. Uh, <laughs> I mean, remember that, Jay? They were right behind. Yeah, that. right behind the third field. No, they, they literally are saying the reason why the Bucks can't win is because they, they instead of oxygen, they in, they inhale jet fuel all. <laughs> Day. Yeah. All boy, that was a hoopty ass facility, wasn't it? Terrible. That was just Terrible. a beginner, you know, man. But I mean, when you start now, that's the best thing ever. I it didn't was, know any different. It was a different Miss, world. Exactly. Old, old Miss probably had better facilities. For sure. They, for yeah. sure. Just had some incredible facilities back yeah. then. Yeah, you should see it now. With Florida Lane State. Kiffin is crazy. I can imagine. Yeah. Oh yeah. If hey, if I ever went to uh, Colorado, would you go with me uh, to uh, to go watch a Dion game? Yeah, yeah, I'd go. I know oh, this is not this not going to happen, fun. but yeah, I'd go. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you don't think you, you don't think that you I, wouldn't invite me? No, you okay, wouldn't. Okay, okay. 
But I'll go, yeah. If you if you send me an invitation, I'll go. I invited you to my party and you didn't come. So I was I had a one of the, my biggest events at my when, racetrack that next weekend. year. I want you guys to sponsor me. You and Dan, Jay, please come out. You mean see plan, it you is, mean plan, is, is, is a really Dan? good facility. Planet Dan? Dan. Yeah, we got a great facility. We're doing really big things, and uh, I'm very proud of my wife, man. She's why doing don't a good you job. Why awesome. don't you give me more information so that I can promote it, like you know, a couple times a week? I will, I will. But you no. know, she's doing so well, man. She she really doesn't even need it. It's just all word of mouth and social media. I, th- I don't think anybody. So you don't think really that she anymore. really uh, that she doesn't even really need the business because she's she can't it. really she can't really accommodate the influx. If of She an can extra- accommodate it. She has six teachers under her. That's awesome. And uh, she has a, a small little building, you know, on our property, and she's killing it. It's yeah, busy yeah. every day. I actually said it was really fun. <laughs> yeah, it's unbelievable. It sounds if like you both are man. doing things you enjoy, which yep. is something to be And that's said what for it's that. all about at the end of the day, bro. For that. And yep. you know why I love the woman? Because she's the only per- human being that can get this, this nut job under control. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, for real. Yep, He's only that. afraid of one person. Her. Her. Yeah. Me too. For real. And my daughter. And without them, oh, my God, watch out. Your daughter's pretty kick-ass, is <laughs> yeah, she not? Yeah, they keep me under, they keep me under control, and I don't want to let them down. Because there so were some times you were – I mean, I'm not trying to be a dick, but there were some times that you were out of control, Ty J. Yeah, but you know, you have to know the person. You have to know what I was going through. There's some, I look certain ways on the outside, but you don't know how I was feeling in the inside. You know what I mean? I know. That's what scares me. <laughs> <laughs> those those years, man, the early 90s, I was hurting, man. After my mom passed, yeah. I was a whole different person. You know? Yeah, no, and mental health wasn't yeah. taken the Yeah, way you were just crazy now. back then. You know, they didn't, mm-hmm. they didn't hey, say, hey, you, mm-hmm. know, you know, your mom just died. You want some counseling, and let's talk about it, and it's okay to talk nope. about it. And they wanted me back the next week. Michael Phelps out there saying, I got depression, and mm-hmm. it's okay. Now, you know, I, I could have been, I could have did the Brett Favre thing and came back and played, but I didn't want to. Right. I set out. I set out that whole week. Right. Yeah, man, I was crushed. Well, I mean, it I took me it. a long time, time to get over that. I lost my father. Believe me, I get it, man. There's days I just, like, wake up, and I just think about it, hear a song, or I'll see something on television. It happened to me this morning, so I told my dad it never goes away. Yeah, man. Mother's Day, Father's Day, never goes away. Mom, Christmas, Thanksgiving, tough. Your mom tough. was your entire. She was your mom and your number dad. one fan, you buddy. Yeah. Number one fan. You yeah, twenty one. Oh man, I'm fifty two years old, and it hurts. It still hurts. I know, hurts. man. It hurt you me because can't even imagine. Your dad was part of my family, also. You right. Know, I spent six years with him. How right. tough was your mom? Could she whip that ass? <clears throat> man, when I grew up, it was me and my other two brothers, and you know, neither one. They had the same father and the same mom, and I had the same mother, same separate father. And uh, I just remember when she used to go off with my brother, she would actually fight them, you know, swing on them. And I just knew I didn't want no part of that. I was more scared of my mother than the police. <laughs> I did. But me too. Yeah, I man. didn't. I didn't cross my mom. Yep. Like my brother. You should write did. a book of that about that. Are you Because you know, there's yes. probably a lot. I was the of, there's mm-hmm. probably a lot of African American men that were raised by real strong moms. <laughs> you know were, what's funny absolutely. about what Dion said? That's a true statement, man. Because <laughs> when you grow up with a, a single mom who's a strong woman, y- yeah, you want to do everything you can to get her out of that situation. And, and, yep. and, and he said that's what his defensive mm-hmm. linemen are. And that's why I fought so hard and I practiced right. my tail off. And then when I finally made it and she passed, I really didn't care anymore. Right. Honestly, I didn't care. Did you kind of lose your drive a little bit? Not the first couple years, but as it went on, like I said, I I got to 295 pounds. You know, I was 250, 245 when I came out and ripped, right? What are you right now? Superman. Probably about 225. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you look a little light. I might be able to take you. I don't know about that. I'd like, I'd like, I'd like to look know. Don't let the smooth taste fool you, bro. That'd be all right. <laughs> don't let the smooth taste fool you, bro. <laughs> anyway, Taj, one of these days, we can you come back and we yeah, actually man. have an extended amount I of time? I got a lot more time on my hand. I'm droning, droning, droning. <laughs> Taj Armstrong. Thank you, Taj. Thank you, buddy. And uh, we'll have Taj back on an after show where we can just, you know, talk about the old days and yep. all that. Now, do you keep in touch with your brothers? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, my middle brother, he passed the next year after my mom. Oh. My dad passed the year be- that same year before I got drafted. So it was just crazy, man. It was like one after another. But you, and won- you got re- paid. And yep. it all happened within like a two-year yep. period. All the people who were helping me get to that point were gone. to protect you yeah. from making bad decisions Correct. and all yep. that stuff. Oh, man. Yep. Uh, I love you, bro. I love you, too, buddy. Blummel next. Yep. And then tonight at 8 o'clock. 199. Uh, Bubba 199, our, Wiki first Wiki. One, our first one on Rumble. Our first one on Rumble. Woo-hoo. I'll see you tonight. Anna and Blitz will be next. See you later. <laughs> Thanks for
let me finish. You've been listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show, starring me, Bubba the Love Sponge, operations manager and co-host Blitz K, co-host and show historian Lummox, co-host Anna Hummel, co-host Dr. Dan Diaco Esquire of Council, co-host J. Diaco Esquire, the Spitting Cobra of Council, the BRN agent Thomas Buttoned Up B, and for everything else, go to thebubbaarmy.com. Now, time for the legal disclaimer. Exactly. The Bubba the Love Sponge Show is intended solely for the enjoyment of our listening audience. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or other use of this show without express written consent of the Bubba Radio Network is prohibited. We must dissuade him of this delusion. Until next time, always remember. Oh, we're